That's metal, bro. Come on! You can do it. Come on! That's metal, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Come on! That's metal, bro. You can do it. Come on! Not quite, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Her underwear Cloud reigns as the invisible man Then something went wrong For Fay Ray and King Kong They got caught in Then at a deadly pace It came from outer space And this is how the message ran
Yo, pull up your fist, yo, monetize this Ain't no way, motherfucking handle this For over ten years, if a hundred shows Fuck around and find out, get your boom and nose Those pussies are loud, not for the weak of heart Sex line calls in the bombs don't stop In the wheel of fun, yeah, the wheel of fun He ain't fucked your mom, he gon' fucking come Tommy is dead and JB fucked off Doesn't mean we can't get this party to start So you can pray right now to the ghost from the coast But we know Megan drops the most For all the ones we lost That includes real talk for a drink right now If you got a big car An offensive show, just so you know No pussies allowed on Joe Cronin's show Fourth is my birthday. Can I take Tommy's thought on monetized hits for that? Justin Bailey and all your other friends can dish it out. I can dish it right back. Oh, yeah. I like this guy. All right. Well, guess what? I raped your mother. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. I'm probably going to be next, guys. I'll just tell you right now. Joe Cronin dropping dead is in the cards in the year 2023 and 24. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel, ter- I feel terrible right now. I've got, like, this rash of poison ivy everywhere. I've had shortness of breath. I got lower back pain. Could be the kidneys. I don't know. You never really do know. And so with all that being said, and then making fun of Matthew Perry being dead at, at 54... It would serve me right to be dead at 39. I mean, let's be honest. Wouldn't that be funny? Shock jock YouTuber thinks it's funny Matthew Perry's dead, so he makes a joke and then he dies that same night. Serves him right. Leaving behind three kids and a wife and an audience that hates him. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, boy. But I only got vaxxed one. I only got one poke. They said, come back for a second, and I said no. So I got one poke. I hope that gives me buys me a few more years. You know, only one poke. So other people are going to drop in three years. I'm hoping I get six, seven. You know, that's the way I see it. Now, here's a real New Yorker. Everybody, let's cut to a real New Yorker. When these people come around trying to burn American flags and rip down pictures of missing people. A real New Yorker. All right, I'm a veteran. I took 
telling you. Right, don't do it. And he's not fucking Jewish. He's not Jewish. I don't know if he is or not. It doesn't fucking matter. This is fucking the U.S. That's New York City. You don't have a fucking right to touch that shit. This is a free country. You can wave your Palestine flag and say death to the Jews or America, whatever you want. But we can put a fucking sign, okay? We then don't rip that down. You are doing something. You're offending us, motherfucker. Yeah, you are. When you throw that on the floor, you're littering the city. In a minute, I'm gonna litter the fucking floor with you. You have the proof. So move the fuck on. You have proof that not kidnapped? No. So shut the fuck up. I know that's what you want. I'm dying to fucking put you in the hospital. Come on, piece of All right, I'm a veteran. I'm telling you. Don't do it. I'm not fucking Jewish. He's not Jewish. I don't know if he is or not. It doesn't fucking matter. This is fucking the U.S. That's New York City. You don't have a fucking right to touch that shit. This is a free country. You can wave your Palestine flag and say death to the Jews or America whenever you want. But we can put a fucking sign. Okay? We, then don't rip that no, down. No, you are doing something. You're offending us. Yeah, you are. When you throw that on the floor, you're littering the That's the funniest part right there. Yeah, you are, motherfucker. You're offending us. Bro, that was crazy. That guy is Conan, bro. That guy is legit like the New York Conan, bro. Let me tell you something, man. You're fucking offending us. That's what you're doing. Like, bro, he was Con he went full Conan right there, and I love it. I love every minute of that. I love it, man. There's going to be a world war anyway, so let's just bring it on, guys. Bring it on now because there's going to be a fucking world war, and it doesn't matter anymore. Nothing matters anymore. You're going to school right now to learn something. Doesn't matter. There's going to be a fucking world war. You're trying to get rich or do something crazy. Doesn't matter. There's going to be a world war. It doesn't matter. We are going to war, motherfuckers. It is coming, and we said it was going to happen under Joe Biden, and it is going to happen most likely. Um, and it, it, my God, it's going to happen. I mean, we said it, but I, you know, sometimes I think, well, I'm kind of retarded though. So, you know, it might not happen, but oh my God, it's going to happen, bro. We are going to war. We already are at war. I mean, Joe Biden just said we can afford two wars. So that means we're at war with two, two, two wars. So they're already saying that we're in, in two wars essentially. So we're in two wars. So we'll be attacked at some point next probably. So yeah, we're in two wars, bro. And here we go. We called it. We called it for years. For years. Oh, Trump's going to nuke America. Trump's going to get us in a war. Uh-uh. I think, I think uh, Joe Biden would, would do that. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Here we go, bro. We're there. It's on now, motherfucker. Matthew Perry died. He had a cardiac arrest in a jacuzzi. In a jacuzzi. And, um, man, that's just fucking crazy, bro. Died in a jacuzzi. Unreal. Cardiac arrest. Now, I don't understand because these people, everybody's saying he drowned, but like he had a cardiac arrest in the jacuzzi. But somebody found him because it was reported that he had a cardiac arrest. So how do you how do you have a cardiac arrest and somebody reports that, but then the guy drowned? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that's possible unless, you know, I don't know. Unless he was like in the jacuzzi and he was unable to get out and he was having the cardiac arrest, so he reached for his phone and called someone he knew or said, or maybe he said, call 911, I'm having a cardiac arrest, something's wrong. I, I don't know, because if you knew he was having a cardiac arrest, you'd pull him out of the pool, out of the jacuzzi, wouldn't you? So I'm not really sure what exactly is going on there. But uh, we are going to be going to Discord in a few minutes and everyone hopefully will be partying over there. So once we get a few heads over there, we'll head up Discord and see what's up, man. We'll check in on everybody. A fucking crazy night. We we got um, you know, Tyson Fury barely getting out of that fight with with uh Nagano Bambudu. Uh and uh Tyson Fury and, and uh versus N word or whatever. And N word didn't win, you know what I mean? So but he came, but he really got robbed. It looked like Nagano got robbed, bro. I'm sorry, I know what his real name is. I couldn't think of it, so I just called him that. But no, he got um no, it just seemed like he got robbed, robbed, robbed you know, um, or I don't know. It was really close either way. And we'll talk about what, what that means because they're, I mean, they're going to have to fight again or they're going to have another boxing match again. Vince McMahon was there with The Undertaker. Eminem was with Vince McMahon and Undertaker and none of them vote the same way. So that must have been interesting. You know what I mean? Eminem, a big Biden guy, Undertaker and Vince, big Trump guys sitting next to Tyson. I think even Tyson is a Trump guy. So you got Tyson McMahon and uh, Tyson McMahon, 
and Undertaker sitting next to Eminem. I mean, that could have been a brawl with those guys because none of their political beliefs stand up very well. But, yeah, bro, it's crazy. I mean, I'm telling you, bro, I might be having a cardiac arrest tonight. I haven't felt good the last couple of days since I've been on these steroids. I feel like these steroids are fucking killing me. All because of poison ivy? Why would you give someone steroids because of poison ivy? I don't know, but everybody told me to take them, so I did. So if I'm dead, it's on the fam. There's Vince. Showing up with the cane, baby. Taker, Vince, and a cane. Maybe I got trapped gas. Maybe that's all it is. Imagine that. That's all it is. So no one told you that. I mean, this is really fucking sad, bro. I This guy was a sweetheart of a guy from everything. I loved I loved listening to him talk. I liked his interviews. I just thought he was a sweet guy. We, You know, Matthew Perry should have lived to be... I, I feel like Matthew Perry's a guy that should have lived to see about 78 at least. Um, I mean, especially after getting over the drug stuff. And it's always heartbreaking when someone defeats something or at least is hurtling something that sucks. Um, and all jokes aside, like, I joke about things because it just, I try to distract myself, but, and to make a joke and make it funny and, and do something with something terrible that happened. We don't really know Matthew personally, but, um, you know, he fought through all that drug addiction. He entertained all of us and he just seemed like a sweetheart of a, of a guy. I mean, he is a Hollywood guy who knows what anything is, but seemed like a sweet guy was happy that he beat everything and you like to see somebody make it to 78 or something at least like that for him and so this is very sad um he was uh people are gonna say it was all because the vax um i mean maybe it's another cardiac arrest at 54 my father died of a cardiac arrest at 48 you know so um i don't know but uh could i be could i be any more vaccinated get your shot and then get your shirt I mean, Matthew Perry uh, profiting off the deadly needle. I mean, like, I don't know. But uh, so we can maybe take back. Maybe some people don't like him for that. But uh, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. He was a great entertainer and uh, sucks. That fucking sucks, bro. He was. Uh, that's some shitty news to hear. But let's listen to. Uh, we're going to play Vince McMahon and The Undertaker. Busting his chops. He said, he said you tried to F him on multiple occasions. Just Please, I don't do business that way. I don't bust anybody's chops unless they get in the way. But Pena and I do get along very, very well. He's really a good guy. And Sorry, please. I just, do you think it's a case of two alpha males in the same spot and they're going to have to try and take each other out or eventually realize they can coincide and build it even bigger? How dare you interrupt Vince McMahon, whoever this is. Yeah, we're, we're good partners and good businessmen. You're a good businessman, you get along. Is it true you stuck him in the cheap seats for WrestleMania? Is it true that you stuck him in the cheap seats for WrestleMania? No, 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 not at all. What are your thoughts on the dynamic between Vince and Dana now that they're working together? I think it's hilarious. They're so similar, the both of them. So it's too, well, I'll do respect. He's a tough guy. Come on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're very similar. They say what's uh, on their minds, and they're, uh, they're both really good businessmen. Uh, and they, and they both they they definitely want the best for each of their brands. I'm a better businessman. Oh, right? by far. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Love it. Taker showing up with Vince McMahon, courtesy of MMA Wrestling News, with the retweet. Uh, talking about Dana White, I think uh, there. I think these is that talking about Dana White. I thought I had who they were talking about, but then I started realizing I don't know. But they were at the fight, Tyson Fury, tonight, and then of course. Don't make no mistake about it. Tonight we got the World Series. And the World Series, right now the Diamondbacks are coming back. Last night I picked the Rangers to win game one. Tonight I picked the Diamondbacks to win game two. And then I got the Diamondbacks. Um, I got the Diamondbacks winning the World Series in six. That was my prediction. World Series in six for the Diamondbacks. So I think it's going to be Texas, D-backs, D-backs, Texas, D-backs, uh, D-backs? I don't know, something like that. I had something like that. That was my prediction. We'll see if it comes true. Where are they in game six? Because that's a big deal. Aren't they? Uh, but they're in Texas for two, right? And then, oh, so they'll be in Texas if the Diamondbacks were to win. Well, I think. I, I, don't, I don't remember how the 
it breaks down. I think it's two, three, and two, right? Or two, three, one, one. I don't, I don't know. I forget. But either way, so it looks like Dimebacks could win in Texas Rangers uh, for Game Six. That was my prediction. We'll see what happens if that's what goes down. I don't know. Sorry, Texas fans. You know, I don't know. Diamondbacks haven't won since two thousand one against the Yankees. Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, and there was somebody else. Do they have Byung Hyun Kim at that point too? Was it Byung Hyun Kim? And uh, Randy Johnson and Kurt Schilling and somebody else. They had somebody else, too. Who's the other one they had? I forget. Anyway, it's monetized this. Guys, girls, everybody, tonight is the night for you to shine. Bring your energy to daddy. Bring your energy to Cronin. Bring it to me because I got something for you tonight. I got something naughty for you tonight. So when you are donating tonight, if you are donating, and by God, I'll put the fucking donation link up because I need to eat and you can feed me. I got the donation link pinned to the top of the chat right now. Ow! Eric Bischoff, you're a liar. You're a coward and you're old as hell, Eric Bischoff, and you know it. But it's okay, man, because I'm ready to go. Tonight, I got a belt for somebody. Here it is. Oh, no, what's this? No, it's not. not th What the hell is this? I swear to God. what? That is not somebody gobbling me. Oh, my God. Who is? Why is? What is? Oh, my God. What's going on? Stop showing this. That's uh, that's nothing. That's not That's not somebody gobbling my cock. I mean, like, what? I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, we'll get the right image on the picture any minute now. Hold on. We'll, um, yummy. Yummy. Imagine coming all the way from like Bumblefuck, Kentucky or wherever he's from to see me only to be like, you know what I want to do? I want to suck on your balls and come up, come up from the bottom of them uh, at the beginning of the show. That'd be great. Yeah, you would want to do that, man. That's what happens, bro. That's how you lose your fucking family. Uh, but anyway... AJ Adams. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's see here. What do we got? We got text. We got so we got a lot to talk about anyway. Like I said, we got Tyson Fury. Somebody's gonna win this digital championship tonight. I don't know who's it gonna be, but we'll find out, man. We'll find out. And you want the wheel back? Maybe we'll bring the wheel back next week. Matthew Perry dead at fifty four, died of a cardiac arrest. They found him in a jacuzzi. I don't know, drown, but like there was a nine one one call that went out about him having a cardiac arrest, so don't really understand how that, like, how you find him. No, he's having a cardiac arrest, but then he's drowned. Like, I don't know. Like, if you found him drowned, you'd think he drowned. But, so I'm just a little confused how that played out or how that went down, but I guess we'll find out eventually. I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 years. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday, that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Joe, Jalen Ramsey is returning tomorrow against the Patriots. Good luck, trying to beat the Dolphins when they are having everyone back. And it's at Miami. Miami's defense will. is going to show up. Mac Jones is going to get murdered out there. And the defense. Yeah, I think so. I think, um, like I said last week, the Patriots played their best game of the season. And the Buffalo Bills had their little cloudy moment that the Buffalo Bills always have now. And they had it for the longest time against the Patriots than anybody else all season long, almost, the Buffalo Bills last week. But this week they got Miami. The Patriots struggle in Florida. The Patriots struggled against Miami the last time they played, although they kind of kept it close. But now Miami's got everybody coming back, and they're in Miami I just don't see the Patriots winning. I think I could see the Patriots putting up another pretty good effort, but I don't see the Patriots winning. I, I think um, I, I got Miami 28 uh, to the Patriots, uh, maybe maybe the Patriots 21-17 if they're lucky. I don't know. Um, I do think the Patriots lose by 10, and so that's it. I mean, we'll see. But if the Patriots were to somehow go down there and win in Miami, then all of a sudden – the Patriots are like I think three and one or four and one against division rivals, and that's kind of crazy. And then you really have something going on, like there's something to be said at that point. That's weird, you know what I mean? That's like, 
if the Patriots are able to beat Buffalo and Miami, you got something, which is would be kind of incredible because it's it just feels like you know Buffalo was a lucky thing and it was a fluke. But if they beat the Dolphins, it's not a fluke then maybe. So we'll find out. But I doubt that, and I've obviously. I would say Dolphins with at least ten points on the Patriots, no matter how good they played last week. It's just I don't I just can't see it. Can't get into that possibility. That's this point. Super chat party. Randy Viper. Rip Chandler and fake that doxer Welsh keep Luke Rojas name out yo fagging mouth. Whoa. The Springboks beat the all blacks in the World Cup final, yes. What? I don't even know what that means, but Randy Viper, thank you. A little beef going on between uh, D. Welsh and Rojas. Will they clean up their beef? I don't know. Where is the beef? Uh, Randy Viper, thank you for the donation. We continue to talk about everything tonight. Tyson Fury's fight with Naganu, it was pretty good. Naganu knocked Tyson Fury down. He rocked him. At one point, rocked him. And uh, it was very close. A lot of people thought Naganu won. Uh, a lot of people thought Tyson Fury won, but in the end, there's controversy, and I'm going to put up a poll right now. Fury, who won the fight? Who won the boxing fight, match, whatever you want to call it? Um, we're going to put up uh, Naganu, Fury, and we're going to start the poll now and find out what you guys think. Uh, so much to get to. We got Luke Rojas on tap with Mr. Pico Boulevard, Jay Menace, and Eric, <laughs> uh, right now on Discord. So get ready for them. They're going to be coming on board in just a few minutes, and that will certainly tickle everybody's little pickle. But while we're waiting, let's listen to Bill Why Burr. Why do you think Nazis get such a bad rap? Because it was on video. <laughs> That's why. No, because you can't deny it. You can't. You can't just pretend it didn't happen and not put it in the history books. They filmed the shit because right. they thought they were going to win. You know who else thought they were going to win? The Catholic Church. And they wanted them to win because they were going to take out a whole religion. That was good for their business. And then all of a sudden they fucking lost. And then they had to give back the gold and shit to the families. Like, oh, sorry about that. Oh, is that us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never read about that? Yeah, hey, I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna, they I'm, found fucking dead Jewish people's belongings and all of that, all of the good shit, not the clothes. They didn't give a fuck about much. that, but the, the the shit that was worth money, they found it in the Vatican. Some of it, not all of it. You gonna see the new Indiana Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think? Oh man. Anyway, I, dude, I, I'll tell you what, bro. I watched a throwback movie the other night. I loved this movie. It was so good, bro. So good. You know what I mean? I loved it. I loved it. Let's hear that Matthew Perry song one more time while I have a sip of coffee here. And I, I probably, uh, I'll, I'll probably die next, by the way. Trust me. Here it is. Here it is. No, here it is. Oh, here it is. No, here it is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. This goes out to you, sir. We love Matthew Perry. Everybody hit the like button and vote on Naganu versus Fury. Please, please hit that button. Thank you very much. We are starting. It's tonight. It's monetized this, man. You got to get hyped in the chat. You got to get fired up. It's a big night, okay? Don't be uh, sheepish. That's terrible. That's terrible. That is not funny. That's not funny. Too soon. It was a racist show anyway. Right? It was a racist show anyway. Who gives a fuck, right? 
these fucking white racist people. So, I mean, who cares? They're never going to do a reunion because people hate the show now. You know, who's a, the, this is the hero of the week, though, this New Yorker. Guys, I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand it. Israel abandoned uh, Ga- the Strip of Gaza. Hamas took over Palestine and Gaz- Gaza, and Hamas runs Gaza and Palestine, and Hamas butchered little kids and, and women and children and all that stuff. And now Israel is just taking out all of Palestine. It's awful no matter what is going on. It's awful. But Hamas has hostages, Jewish, or all kinds of hostages. So they're putting up signs in cities. Like Now, by the way, first of all, it's retarded to do that anyway. Because what do you? why are you putting up signs of missing people in America? You're not going to find them. They're over there. Why are we putting up pictures of missing people in another country that we'll never see? They're in the other fucking country. Put up missing posters of people that are actually missing around here. Doesn't make any sense that they're putting up posters of people in another country. But anyway, it's the thought that counts, right? It's the thought that counts. You're not going to you're going to put up missing posters of all the Jewish people missing and all the other people kidnapped by Hamas, but you're not going to find them because they're over there with Hamas. What the fuck is anyone here going to do about it? But anyway, it's just sort of a thing to say we, you know, we're hoping we we're hoping that y- you get saved. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that. Put up the missing persons thing and people are going around and ripping them down. The Palestine supporters? Why? I su- first of all, I support everyone. I feel horrible for the Palestine civilians, but they're run by Hamas and Hamas is the one doing all this stuff, so you're going to get fucked up, you know? I, I, I don't agree with either, any of it. But also, it, the Israel people didn't do anything either. They got fucking attacked and assaulted and carved up. Little kids got their fingers ripped off. Their eyeballs poked out in front of their parents. Their parents killed in front of them. I mean, it's fucking crazy. Um, it's all bad. None of it's good. It's terrible. It reminds me of, this is like the fucking Holocaust or something is going on. On both sides, though. Both sides are just killing each other terribly. So, but anyway, the bottom line is, okay, you know, if you want to protest that that's going on, go ahead. If you want to shout that it's going on, go ahead. But the people ripping down the missing people's posters, it's like, really? Somebody's abducted and in, in, in a hostage and you're ripping down the pictures of them? It's a little weird. Like, I mean, why? what did they do? I mean, if you're upset, put up the pictures of the dead Palestine people and Gaza people and say these people are innocent and they're dead. You know what I mean? But, I mean, do we at least agree it's Hamas's fault? But then some people support Hamas. Makes no fucking sense, but New Yorkers have had enough. Or real New Yorkers. All right. I'm a veteran. I'm telling you. All right. Don't do it. I'm not fucking Jewish. Jewish. He's not Jewish. Jewish. I don't know if he is or not. It doesn't fucking matter. This is fucking the U.S. That's New York City. You don't have a fucking right to touch that shit. It's a free country. You can wave your Palestine flag and say death to the Jews or America whenever you want. But we can put a fucking sign. Okay? We, then don't rip that down. You are doing something. You're offending us, motherfucker. That was the best part. He's like, you are doing something. You're offending us, motherfucker. Dude, this guy's Conan. Let me tell you something. You want to say death to pal- death to Jews, do whatever the fuck you want, but don't fucking rip up our signs. Man, you are you are doing something. You're offending us. Like, dude, that is so Conan. I can hear Conan yelling this. And Conan is a beast, okay? So anything that reminds me of Conan wins automatically in my book. Then don't rip that no, down. Rip you are doing something. You're offending us, motherfucker. Yes, Love this guy. Yeah, you are. When you throw that on the floor, no, you're littering the city. I did, I did. In a minute, I'm gonna. And then he brought up a legal point. Oh, you just littered the city. You fuck. You weird neckbeard, checker shirted tubbo. Litter the fucking floor with you. You have the proof. So move the fuck on. You have proof that not. Now, if Eddie Kingston was there, he'd probably cheer this guy on and then light the poster on fire. No, no. So Don't shut the fuck. Because he's a Nazi. Fuck up. I know that's what you want. I'm dying to fucking put you in the hospital. Come on, you piece of shit. All right. So bizarre. I love it. I love the realness. We need more real people again. People that just get nuts and say enough of this shit. Enough of this equity and immigration and ethnic cleansing. No, no, no. Fuck that. Fuck that, bro. Enough of that shit. Enough of that. Jungle Boy's dad died like three years ago, bro. That's a different Perry. That's a different druggie. I mean, a different Perry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? Anyway, uh, thank you, Pacharo, for the $3 donation. Thank you to Randy Viper for the $5 donation. And let's see if we have any more donations. 
Shit bomb. Steen versus Meekle. Retirement versus retardation match. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> this thing versus Mikel in a retardation match. That's fucking savage. That's fucking savage, bro. Let's jump over. Jerk off material. Jerk off material. That's the first thing I hear when I pop in here. We're live and we're in the Discord. It goes down in the Discord, dickheads. What's up? It does go down. Yeah? Your penis goes down? <laughs> well, you killed yeah, Matthew. I'll you, be you, there for you. You killed I'll Ma- be there for you. <laughs> you killed Matthew Perry, Rojas. What's wrong with you? Well, we're speculating. We were speculating. Do you think that maybe he was jacking it in the uh, in the hot tub and he just passed out from pleasure? Like, I could see it because I sometimes just, I feel like I'm gonna die doing that. So, yeah, I could see it. But and he's 54. You got to remember, he's probably hot. Now, like, do you long, do you like, think you know, middle aged drugs? Or maybe a chick was sitting on him in the tub. What What do you think about this? Because here's my theory. I'm trying to figure out how this happened. So here's what could have happened. She's banging him in the pool or in the in the jacuzzi, right? And then he has starts having palpitations and it goes crazy. And then she goes, oh, my God. And he goes, oh, so he starts going, oh, my God, something's wrong. Call 911. Call 911. And she's like, oh, my God. So then she gets up and runs away to call 911. Meanwhile, he fucking passes out and sinks in the pool. And then she goes, he's having a cardiac arrest. Please get here as soon as you can. And they're like, okay, well, what's he doing now? She goes, oh, yeah, that's right. And she goes back and he's a drown. I mean, how else, how else do you call for a cardiac arrest, but it turns out he drowned as well? Like, what? It, may, it probably was that. Right? I know. Don't get me wrong. These might, these might be like poor people questions, but like, how fucking deep was his hot tub? Well, I mean, I think the cardiac arrest is really what killed him, but I'm, I don't understand. Like, they're like, like oh, he arrest. drowned, but reason was cardiac arrest. Oh, okay. okay. But still, so, somebody called in a cardiac do you think, arrest. Do you think... Do you think there's a possibility that he felt like he was having palpitations and he called 911 and I guess, uh, I don't know, in his own mind to relax himself, he step, he got into the tub? No, I mean, okay, maybe. Cause, maybe. Because that's like the only other, that's the only other way that someone could call 911. Was it him who called or was no. it somebody else? Well, I don't think it was him that called, right? Because he's having a cardiac, well, I get, because you'd get out of the tub, wouldn't you, if you could? And I think well, like I somebody, somebody, yeah, earlier, he, his last Instagram post maybe, was Monday and he was in a hot tub. Oh my maybe God. Maybe he's been there for five days. Uh, maybe he cooked his fucking body being in the fucking jacuzzi every day. Yeah, he did a Whitney Houston, but, you know, warmer. Yeah. And I... maybe he farted. Maybe, maybe he had a really painful fart and he died. You know, I felt like that tonight. I was reading all kinds of shit. He had a colostomy bag for nine months. He was in the hospital. What? His pancre- pancreas exploded. He had all these problems. Well, like, I know he... he was in a jet ski accident well, I know that he, he got hit his... in for, and he was oh, all, all fucked up over the years. Well, I know he had a history of narcotics problems in the past, and that's yeah. what I assumed that this death, that his death Wait a minute. related to. I, I don't, he was I, in a coma I don't see for this, a long time. I don't see this hot tub post on Instagram. That's what I heard. Maybe they deleted it. Maybe they deleted it. Yeah. Why? It could have been. It could have helped, like, prove. Oh, wait. No, I see it. Never mind. I'm, I'm retarded. Oh, that it's is. Okay. Oh, man. I don't, what is, that's how, much, how many people are hoping that this is just like the little Tay situation where it's all fake and he didn't actually die? This is not a joke. But this is not fake. It's real. He died on growing pains too. To, to be fair, I think we all were okay yeah. with little Tay dying. This is him in the pool uh, <laughs> five days ago. Five days ago, Matthew right. Perry in his jacuzzi, and he wrote on Instagram. He wrote, "Oh, so warm, water swirling around makes you feel good." I'm Matt Man. Oh no! Well, I guess what? not. Oh well, I no! I guess not. I think he killed himself. He might have killed himself. No, Probably. how could you say that? <laughs> what are you talking about? He was, yeah. They said I no mean, foul come play. On, dude. If only he went ha- into a hot tub time machine. Yeah, and he's not in, a hot tub death that's some, no, machine. That's some creepy <laughs> ass shit, bro. Like, how do you how do you post how do you post like something so like I don't know foreshadowing? Like, I don't. Yeah, either, either someone in the fucking in the creative team is lazy. <laughs> even even somebody wrote, "Is everything okay at home, Matt Man?" 
I can tell you it's Sanjo because of how you misspelled his first name in the thumbnail. Oh, did I? I didn't even realize that. Oh, what did you spell it with you an piece A of shit. instead of any? I can't believe I yeah, spelled it. Yeah, you know, it. I actually, Joe, yes. Joe, originally I spelled his last name with an A, but yeah, then I yes. had, you know, I had the forethought to go on Google and look up his name, and I was like, oh, it's with an E. You know, maybe you should have done that when you did the thumbnail for no, a video. No, I mean, I did. Like I actually, I actually copied and pasted it off something, so... Cause I didn't even I I always spell things wrong, so I just copied and pasted his name. But I guess they, they, yeah, I know. I, maybe they spelled it wrong. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Joe, Do you, you think spell AEW things does wrong any possible? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, now the cast is the It's okay because it's on the thumbnail. As long as the title is right, it's okay. What were you saying, Harry, nope. that AEW pays tribute to Matthew Perry? Why is one of his sons a wrestler? Well, see, I was trying Jack to do. Perry. I do. A, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like math class, so I tried to make a joke. Math, ew, Perry, get it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Well, now the cast, the yeah. stars of Almost Heroes, are dead. Now him and Chris Farley are together again. Dude, that's, that's right. crazy. That's right. The best stars in the '90s were all on coke. Remember that. R.I.P. Bro. Long coke or some type of other drug. I can't Lucky's. believe he just his last post is in the tub five days ago. That's crazy. I wonder if he was in the tub all week long and it like fucked him up. Because they, I feel like there's been too Chris many pe- there's been now. too many people dying. There's been too many people dying of that type of situation. Like that's not the first time that's happened. I know with Whitney Houston, there was another situation. I feel like just recently where that happened. And I'm like, dude. How do you even Aaron fucking Carter. drown in a pot? Oh, yeah, Aaron Carter, yeah. Like, no, it's the fact like that Jim he had a cardiac been, arrest in it. Yeah. Well, I guess there's worse things to go probably, out. You know, at least you could say you made it to that to that point in your life where you had a hot tub, you know, and didn't live in an old hot tub that somebody put on the side yeah. of their road, you know. Wait a minute. Is he, like, obsessed with Batman? Because, like, all his posts are, like, Batman. Like, well, now... <laughs> I'm yeah, serious. No, look. Now can join Adam. No, look at this. Look at this. His last five. His last Instagram post. Look at this. This is crazy. I'll put my camera on. Look at this. Um. Okay. If only it, his best friend was Aquaman. He's in the pool. Yo. All right. He's in the pool. <laughs> he's in the pool, and it says Matt Man. Then there's a picture of the moon that looks kind of like Batmanish. Then there's a Halloween pumpkin with a Batman logo. Then before that, it's a yeah, scene from Batman. Batman. Then it's a wall poster thing of a keyboard with Batman. Then it's a bat symbol in his pool with a laser pointer. And then he was watching Batman. So, like, what the fuck? So he's Butch Batman. He's obsessed. I feel like any grown yeah, man with that much money yeah. would not be posting Batman that much if he did not have some sort of fat, uh, infatuation yeah. with him. Or something wrong. He was, on a, he, was on a talk, he was on a talk show talking about it a few years ago saying that like he had a whole room in his house. Instead of a man cave, it was just bat cave. And it just had a bunch of Batman memorabilia. I yeah, mean, he calls it the Matt he what, called it I, the Matt Cave. Dude, that is so fucking lame. The Matt Cave. Well now now I'm glad he's dead. Oh. oh. No, I'm sorry. Jesus. Listen. Matthew Perry, uh Chandler was my favorite character on Friends, and I think Matthew Perry was actually really funny, and I was kind of upset that he didn't really show up in anything else besides Friends. You know, except for that uh Hi. What was that movie with Bruce Willis? Seventeen again with the uh, M&M. whole nine yards. No, not that movie. He was whole in a movie yards. with Bruce Willis. Nine, nine yards, yards. old nine yards. That was yeah. that was a good movie, and then it, and then the sequel was complete dog shit and awful. But he, he was, was in know, that, that movie was the only with other That's the pool. That's the that is a pool with the jacuzzi on the side. Dude, between Biden's or I'm sorry, Obama's like helper and like this dude and whatever other dumb Kennedy bitch died in pools. Bodies of water are really attacking people nowadays. We should really start a war against them. Yeah, keep don't get me. Wait a second, wait a second, Eric. Hmm? Was that just Eric who said that? Running mallet bags, drowning. Nerdy. Bumblefuck. There's way through that. I'm talking about Eric, who just randomly, like after my answer, my after my question was answered, like two minutes ago. Oh, that was very good. Wasn't he goes whole nine yards. Yeah. <laughs> Shaq Gaspar had a water yeah. accident. That's hilarious, dude. Well, actually, it's later. funny you mentioned that because we do have. I know this is kind of crazy. 
Um, um, but Bruce Willis is now, you know, he's got a lot of trouble. He doesn't speak and stuff like that. But ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. We got him on the show. I don't believe this. Uh, Bruce Willis, everybody. Go ahead, Bruce. How you doing? Good to have you on Monetize This. Get the car in, Oh, oh yeah. that's like oh. the line from Die Hard. That's the Die that's Hard the line. line. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Bruce. Bruce, uh, what do you think about, uh, you know, Demi Moore? It's good. You guys are kind of, she's really kind of been taking care of you, you know. Yippee. It's a beautiful Yippee. thing. Yippee ki <laughs> I was on. I'm, I need to say a important <laughs> thing. I saw Epstein Island. What? I'm so, wait, oh, what? Oh, wait wow. a minute, Bruce. Wait, That's did you cool. say? Wait a minute, Bruce. Did you just say you know the people that were on Epstein Island? Oh, yeah, uh, Bruce, before, you answer, they, before you answer, uh, give me a stabby. Make oh, me God. not talk. Wait a minute! What? Uh, they, Bruce, you're, they, you're, wait a uh, minute! They gave you a stabby. He's uh, suggesting you don't say anything. <laughs> no, I think he just said that they gave him some kind of shot that made him so he can't speak anymore. Is that true, Bruce? Is that why you're falling apart? You're gonna speak and be on that list, or you know the people on the list? Yippee! <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, just say yes, Bruce. It's it's way less syllables. So give us the first name. On that list right now, Bruce. Bill McLean. Now on the list is a oh Hans Gruber. Oh Bruce! Oh, Bruce! My oh my bro! Hello, Bruce! 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 Bruce. Oh, he no. fucking did. Oh my God! No. I was gonna, a- I was no, gonna Bruce. ask him if, if he. I was gonna ask him if Matthew Perry had any sort of information on this, and maybe that's why. Bruce, are you there? Yeah, the unfortunate thing, but. Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. He's down, bro. Oh, oh, my God. oh my God! He's not. I just called him back. His number's already disconnected. I told him get out wow. of the hood. I don't know. Oh Is there my God! Else? Is there anybody else that you're friends with that know, maybe would have? I don't know, but this would have been a huge bombshell to put it on the show, and now we don't know. And then who knows how many kid rapists that he was going to call out there. What? Man, uh, that really is the, that really is the worst tragedy of that so, whole situation. So this was, was that we didn't get an answer. Is Not Demi Moore working with the government to kill Bruce Willis to get help kill him? Like that's what this is. He's got to get out of that house. That bitch is trying to kill him. GI Jane's trying to fucking kill Willis. Well, from what it sounds like, he's already dead. dead. Yeah, what you talking about, Willis? Oh. You know what? It's it's really some bullshit. Bruce Willis just got fucking shot by Demi Moore. Matthew Perry's <laughs> dead, but fucking for Charles walking around alive and well, man. Sure. Just, yeah. huh? I know, I know. And he's around molesting and people. Under- oh my god, Pachar. Why <laughs> do you always? Why is it? Why is every time you put on FaceTime or like the camera, you're just sitting in like a void of darkness? Oh God, Pichardo! You look here? like you Jesus. look like you're in hell. <laughs> you should be. Yeah, you suck. And anyway, we got Wegman's dude, O forty four, and this man. If you don't know who that is, that's D Welsh, and he has said that he wants to bury the hatchet with me tonight. Crazy. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. Is that Same true? Is that, anything? is that what By you hatchet? Mean? He means penis. He wants to bury the hatchet with Rojas tonight. It's, it's going to be sexy. Only Father Nerdy can f- allow forgiveness like that. He might be back. Hmm. Hey, Father Nerdy. I, I have a question. Did you pray hard enough to win the title? What, like on children? What you just oh. said. Oh, Jesus. No, I I was praying for um, 
That was good. Gun okay. victims in Alabama, but it turns out the gun shooting happened in Maine, so I kind of missed the boat on Alabama. that one. Alabama. Yeah, I was all here in New England. They were freaking. They sent like mass state cops up there. It was crazy. Alabama. The guy was going to buy a gun. I think I'm going to get a gun, guys. We, you definitely should have a gun at this point. And by the way, they're they're stopping all the exporting of guns and bullets for the next 90 days out of the USA. So what does that tell you? I'm bowling anyway, instead of here. Alabama, instead of Alabama, because it's a gun state, Alabama. Or whatever, it should be called. It should be called Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. I can't believe that somebody in that someone in Maine in that bowling alley didn't have a gun. And that kid, the 14 year old or kid, right? Oh, no, no, the four, they killed a 14-year-old kid, and then, uh, like, somebody tried to kill the shooter with a, with a knife. Tried to butcher Jesus. him, and he got Go killed. Away, what? Get I would have just blood blood thrown the knife, you know what I mean? If, if I could have run up on him and stabbed him from behind or something, yes, I would have done that. But I would say next time, maybe just throw the knife. Like, throw a good yeah. throw. Right at his throat. Here's my anytime question. there's a situation where his back is turned, anytime there's a situation where his back is turned, run because you're not going to be fit faster than a bullet. Yeah, pole, like right? th there's there's probably like a sixty percent chance if you throw a knife at the guy, that the knife would have hit the wrong way and done nothing, or just kind of bashed like hit him the, with the butt or something like that. But like, can you imagine if that dude had been under the bowling alley, like under the fucking desk or something, and he stood up and he went. And he fucking threw the knife, dude, and it went right, right through the throat and killed the guy. And the guy was like, oh, oh, and he's bleeding out everywhere. Can you imagine what type of fucking hero? And, and if that was on video and stuff like that, how you'd be fucking legendary. Like yeah. you just get up Joe, and you go, and everybody would praise it. Everybody would celebrate for two seconds and then be like, oh, wait, there's a fourth. No, people. bro, I'd be watching that video a hundred thousand times. I'd be like, watch yeah. this fucking marksman. Fucking shot! This guy shoots, and there's like five people down, six people down, and then you're like, holy fuck! And you grab the knife and you get up and you go, and you fucking hit him, and he and he dies, dude. You would be that would be fucking amazing. Like you'd feel like you feel like shit, but you'd still feel pretty awesomely like shit. It was nobody thought to pick up a 16 pound ball and fucking chunk it at his head. That too. I mean, throw a fucking ball at his head. Yeah. That was the. Yeah. That was a bar owner. Do you guys think that, that was this was a... Oh, it was the bar owner that did it? Yeah, because I would have done that too. Cause... You hear bullets, though. You hear bullets immediately all your thoughts about, like, you know what? I should just take the bowling ball and, like, throw it at him yeah. and then do a ninja kick all those The reality is away. people... Like, oh, my God. The reality is people trampled each other to try to get out of there. So... Yeah, but, but how how does how do no police respond in time to either either events? Because it was at a bowling alley, then it was a bar. Because it's Maine. And cops. Is it, so is that is the excuse that their distance was too far to travel? Yeah, that dude, this guy could kill twenty people before they get there. I mean, there's, there's like twelve cops. Precinct. There's, there's like, not a police precinct everywhere. Yeah, there's like twelve. Their jurisdiction. There's like twelve uh, cops. There's twelve cops, and the closest cop was probably like five miles away, right? So the guy goes in, bup, 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 ah, and people start running, bup, 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 and then people start running, bup, 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 and then a few people get out, and then bup, 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 he goes down the rest of the people. I mean, dude, that's, this, that's a minute. This horrific <laughs> shooting sounds so like sounds so like nice. Like I mean, bro, you're out of, like, he's done in, like, two minutes. Like, it's over in two minutes. He's, you know what I mean? Like, so, it's like, how did I get there? I think people. It took him ten minutes to probably get there. People think it's like Grand Theft Auto, where, like, the cops just show up immediately. <laughs> yeah, like, in the game. Star. Yeah, there they <laughs> are. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, like, if you look at, Ultimately, like, the national. The rating was in at least three. <laughs> like, the Nashville school shooting, they took care of that in, like, I don't know, a couple, like, a minute or two. And then there was one that happened in downtown. I didn't realize this was in such an isolated place, though. That that makes sense. Yeah. Well, Maine. also, police, the reason why, like, school shootings have, like, faster police responses because they have oh. a police liaison literally sitting, like, outside of the school most of the time. So it's like, no, with a, with a bowling alley, you know, depending on however far that is, you know, there's not a, always a direct line. Is it fucked up that I would spend, like, I would probably pay five or ten bucks to see the security footage of no, the shooting? Is that fucked up? I wouldn't. Didn't happen at the bowling alley. What? 
You want to see the security footage? Literally, just it play Grand like, Theft Auto Four and walk into the bowling alley. It was at that restaurant. What? We you broke up there, Welsh, and I gotta. I got. I'll be listening. I'm just getting a, my coffee. Go ahead. What did you say? Wow. Hey, Welsh, talk. Hey, look, Pacharo's wearing a ghost face mask. Arizona's killing Texas. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, the Dimebacks, man. The immigrants yeah, are the, Im- the illegal Hell immigrants yeah, are killing Texas. They should have won last night. <laughs> Texas. Pacharo is actually like a serial killer, and uh, he's just showing us the mask that he uses. Serial yeah. eater. <laughs> his, man- his manager definitely did make it out. <laughs> did you guys watch the fight with uh, Naganu and, and uh, Fury? Yeah. Is there a fight today yeah, no. too? The boxing yeah. match. Between you and the trailer girl, they gave me clap. Uh, that was chlamydia. All right. Yeah, that's short for what a fight. Clap. Mm-hmm. Matt Perry's dead. Tyson Fury got like lucky. Uh, Diamondbacks Pichar are going to win. Pichar Pichar is a rapist. Pachar right. is a rapist. Lie. <laughs> well, ladies well, and you gentlemen. Know what? Oh, go ahead. No, you go. You go. Well, I'll go. We, Boxing is like phone booths. They're like fucking dead. It's no more. It's like boxing. Wait, like, why don't they call it like packaging or something? Yeah. Box with the UFC, dude, they signed back with uh, Budweiser or Bud Light. Yeah. And they signed a $100 million deal. And when after you know Dana White shit all over them for their Dylan Mulvaney thing, he gets paid a hundred million dollars, and all of a sudden he's saying, "Oh yeah, I I signed with Bud Light and Budweiser because of their morals and their principles." Didn't you guys see that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, multi-millionaire, rainbow multi-billionaire, tights, turns out to be a hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, it is shocking. It's almost like. Shocking. It's almost as shocking as like the Spider-Man developers um, banning people uh, from the like they ban them and say you're perma banned or whatever if you modified the rainbow flags in the game, but did the sa- very same thing to copies of the game that they sold in the Middle East to get rid of those gay flags because that stuff doesn't fly over there. They it doesn't see. It's not a bad thing unless you make money off of it, you know? <laughs> True. It's not a bad thing if you make money off of something. <laughs> Dude, 100%. And uh, what did shock me, really, uh, Disney is going back and making their dwarves now dwarves. They've taken the normal people out and replaced them with CGI dwarves. Did you guys hear this? Uh, yeah, it's is a bastard. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, so uh, it'll be Snow White and the Seven Bullfrogs on the newest Disney release. <laughs> Should be pretty exciting. Uh, so wow, wow Matthew Perry's in the chat. Holy shit. Matthew Perry, can you tell us what death is like? Is it warm? Wait, is, this, is, it, is it his ghost or is it really him? Eric, what did you just say, dude? Never mind, I hate you, Eric. <laughs> All right, yeah, true. Eric, dude, you got to be more confident in what you're saying, dude. We got to get you out on the he street. He's haunting the chat, bro. Matthew Perry's haunting the chat. Eric, gentlemen, that was Eric. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I have created a new rendition <laughs> of. <laughs> Alpha beta, we're just gonna move on from my head. <laughs> what what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, let's see how it works. Eric, here's the thing it's not that, like, we're not like what you said isn't the most completely idiotic thing. It's not that, it's the fact that you deliver it as if, like, that's all you said. You're like, that's all you said. Like, such a, such a simple joke that anybody, literally anybody, can make. And then you didn't add on a and on anything to it, so it's just like, <laughs> hey, why did the ch- why did the chicken yeah, cross the road? It was a random thing. I shouldn't have said that, but dude, you're good, man. It's funny, dude. We yeah, just we're, now, now, now I feel bad for you. Yeah, please, please don't you kill me. yourself. Yeah, don't kill yourself, All right, dude. You're Nine funny, one man. Hey, yeah. okay, at least you're making a res- like when you honestly though, I have laughed <laughs> the hardest. 
I've been laughing so hard at the clips that all of us just deadpanning you so much. There's people who call into the show and get nothing, like absolutely nothing. At least, at least your awkwardness makes us laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now, please don't um, put a bullet in your head because I would feel really. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, D. Welsh, I think it's time we just apologize and get this over with. Because I'm fucking tired and I want to go to sleep later on tonight. And not 4 o'clock in the morning. At the beach in the morning, right? No, I just don't. I just want to jack off in the morning, you know? Well, Luke, we have to play Alpha or Beta. We have oh, we have some things we need to do. That. Anything is, with that. Is it showing up uh, on the Discord, Alpha or Beta? No. I guess we'll see that. Okay. Well, that's cool. Fuck it. Anyways. I, tr- I tried to plug Alpha or Beta, but Joe hung up on me. <laughs> that's the only <laughs> reason I, I don't want you to be champ nerdy is because the Alpha Beta shit <laughs> look, would take here's... over the whole stream. Look, well, okay. Let's. Let, well, what content did you produce, Mr. Pico Boulevard? What would you like to produce for the stream? No, I was just going to say, I, I noticed D. Welsh, his picture, he kind of looks like a slow, just incredible. Kind of. Is that, is that what you wanted to, to take over no. the stream with? I'm confused. No. I just noticed that. I, no. just to me. I speak what like comes up just you know, for the moment, you know. Yeah, and we can only understand about like 45% of what you're saying because your mic sucks. Fuck you, Mr. Boy. Pico yeah. isn't trying. Mr. Pico isn't campaigning to win the title. Let's be fair. No, like, he not. doesn't really... He knows he knows he would never be able to win it in a hundred years. Have a life. Yeah, no, Mr. Pico just interrupts with negative bullshit. Um, so Alpha or Beta, obviously. This is uh my fridge is cleaner than your fucking asshole, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you gotta hear the ass. So Alpha or Beta, it's pretty simple. Google's dumb definition, we'll go through the intro here, is that an alpha male is defined as somebody who takes the lead in most situations, and has a high level of self-respect. I think that's bullshit. Uh, so we're going to look at some things that alpha that could be alpha or beta one at a time here. Now, the first alpha or beta thing we're going to have is driving a Tesla. If you see somebody driving a Tesla, is that alpha or is that beta? This is content. Mr. Pico, I'm sorry. Uh, do you, you want to leave, Pico? Because what? you don't have to be questions? here. You don't have to be here, faggot. So why don't you leave if you don't want to host a show or you don't want to fucking contribute to the content. You're just going to shit on it. You fucking loser. Last year. You fucking loser. All you have to do, because you have nothing else, all you have to do is shit on what other people create for the show, right? That's what you do, Pico. Because you can't Someone. even fucking, you can't even get a joke off without having to interrupt somebody. Because you have no patience either. So you are no good as a co-host. You are no good as a co-host because you don't produce. And you're no good as a co-host because you don't make jokes on time. Even if they are funny, you don't say them without interrupting somebody so they get lost in the sauce. You fucking retard. So go ahead, tell me how bad this content is again. I just want to say that having a Tesla doesn't necessarily mean you're a beta. But um, if your whole thing about doing it is like, I want to do better to the environment, you know, maybe that's a little gay. You know, maybe that's a little beta. I don't know. Um, I wasn't really necessarily paying attention to the whole question that you asked, but I'm assuming that's the answer that you were looking for. What's the next question on alpha or beta? (laughs) By the way, I like like that – Nerdy, <laughs> he added now. Now he's because it's a segment that he's done for a while. He added like a little like intro script, like the Google <laughs> definition of alpha or beta. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to add some time filler. I, you know, and Luke, that was a great answer. I'm curious awesome. what Eric would say about driving a Tesla or even Jay Menace too. Oh, Eric, I am waiting with bated breath to hear what you're gonna say. You got it, gangster. <laughs> I I have no words. Figures. So, first thing I wanted to say before I answer Nerdy's question is I think we all can agree that that upset Nerdy, pissed off Nerdy, <laughs> defensive Nerdy. No, that's what it is. Defensive Nerdy is the best fucking Nerdy. There is no contest. It's not even fucking close. Dude, yeah, when that's you... That's scary, Nerdy. 
scary nerdy. When scary nerdy gets his shit going and he starts talking that shit, popping off at the lip. Oh man, bro, you are you are golden pony boy. Um, Look, I, but to, to go kind of with Luke's point, I don't think owning the Tesla is is, is beta. I actually kind of want one, but mm-hmm. I do also agree that like if you're on some extremely faggoty fucking save the world type shit, then yeah, maybe you should go drive it off a bridge. I don't know. Yeah, like you think you're, but when you're just using it as a way to virtue signal and to fucking like prove that you're better than people, like. Yeah, the emissions rate is so low. Like, just shut the fuck up. Nobody yeah. cares. Yeah, I think if somebody is bragging, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, you're doing one good thing for with the car, but then you're probably you're doing more, the yeah. same amount of damage with everything else that you fucking consume in life. So, <laughs> D Welch, you strike me as somebody that drives a Tesla. Do you drive a Tesla? Tesla. Yeah. Tesla. Tesla. Here you That's go, like Mr. Words again. <laughs> That's like when they have to use fake brand names for uh for like movies. Like, oh, I'm driving my Mercedes. So I think I think driving a Tesla could be beta, but because it takes a lot of money to get one, it's kind of alpha. I see. Yeah. Like if if you I know, just you beta? like if if you're so like you have so much money, you want to drive an empty looking car with a tablet in it. Like that's pretty fucking. That's pretty. That's a power. Damn, move. Joe. Shots fired, dude. D Welsh, did you say beta or alpha? I feel like I heard you say something. Jesus. <laughs> dude. So, D- hey, quick question. If you're sitting quick on the call right now, if you're sitting on the call right now and you're not intending to say like anything, I please do not. Think- Please do not call up anymore because it's about it's. We're all hosting a show, right? And when you're not like saying anything or responding to questions that are asked to you, you're not doing your job properly, and oh, it yeah. makes for like a weird awkwardness. Like I don't even I didn't even want to say anything. I don't want to be that type of guy. To be like, oh, this is not how the show should be. But it's really fucking annoying that there's 20 people in Discord and only like a few people want to talk. So well, I'm you sad. better. You're the goddamn champion. You better say it. Yeah, you I say monetize this champion. But, but, but nerdy, I think it's a beta because they yeah. Teslas are like too expensive. Like nowadays, I don't know. Like if you if you get a Tesla and yeah, if you get a Tesla and you, you can't you can't drive with it. it you can put <laughs> you can put a steering wheel. You can you can drive with it, but if nerdy. you if you're on your phone and uh, you can uh, it, it can go automatically. So I think it's a beta. Hey, Patron, I my previous, does anybody I know what, my what the fuck did Eric just say? Wait. Does anybody know? <laughs> yeah, Someone tell me what he just said. Did he leave? Did he leave? No, never mind. Don't say anything. He just <laughs> left. I didn't. He left on his own. I didn't, I didn't tell him to leave. I don't know why he left. I think you. Uh, yeah, okay, listen, Eric. Eric, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no <laughs> fucking clue what you're saying. Ninety five percent of the time, that you say things. What happened, to Eric? He just le- he said that and then he left. I don't know. I didn't kick him out. He's been failing. He's been failing all show. Like he's been trying to say stuff and just none of it landed. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. Eric. Really quick, really quick, Pacharo, stop stealing my fucking gimmick. You wasteless piece of sperm in an egg. You, uh, you, I do, fuck I do it better than you, though. I do, I do, I do. You do dick in your ass. That's what you do. <laughs> I do it better. <laughs> I do it better, he said. Do better. He do, do, do. Dude, you, you look, look like you make a good dick, man. I thought I had pretty hair. At least I have hey, hair other than you. Hey, guys, what, why, I why put... won't Rey Mysterio just, just fuck Dominic? Like, why won't he just <laughs> do it? I want to put makeup on Pacharo and rape him. <laughs> well, speaking of putting makeup on, uh, the next uh, alpha or beta thing I want... Blink-182 is coming out with a new tour. Now, they're old. Is being a fan of Blink-182 alpha or beta in 2023? Beta. Yeah. I don't think I know anybody who's a fan. Like, I think oh, everybody no. just knows songs it's from there, but isn't, like, a fan. Hmm. Yeah, can some can some I know I've heard of them, but can somebody give me like a song that I would probably know? Like what? What, what, what are they like? Oh no, his blackness is coming out. No, Fuck. Name, it's Jack Black. Hell no. Um, um, all the small things. 
Truth care. Truth please. Hey, nerdy, is that is that what she said when she I saw you? I have a new buffer. What's my age? Oh my God! Check out. Check out this chick. This chick. These guys are covering Blink 182, and this chick looks like she could have sex. Look at her. Oh. Oh, dude. That looks like my ex who got married. Fuck her. Yeah. I love your video as a porn star. You mean the blonde chick, not this chick, right? Look at her. What is happening? Do you go straight to the butthole on that one, or do you work, work around the mouth first? No, bring back, bring back the chick. Bring back the chick. Uh, hey, Beavis. What would happen if we got on, like, go-karts and we went, like, driving in the street? Um, I would run over babies. Die, babies, die. What the hell? It's Beavis and Butthead watching this video. Um... Oh, I gotta argue oh. that it's alpha because at this point in time, Blink One Eighty Two. If you're a fan of them, you're sticking your neck out. I mean, that's a little not bit. that's not Blink One Eighty Two. We probably should have put the real band on. But hey, I was answering questions. Yeah, Just another one of those bands that does that. That stink One Eighty Two. They, no, they. I would say oh, that they were more. They were more like the silly pop punk, the pop like, you know, like around this time, you know, every yeah. everything had an answer for the popness that was going on. Like, you know, Eminem. It was so weird, dude. Ni- that's too. the thing, dude. 1998, 99, 98. Those times were kind of amazing because it's funny because back then we all thought that like the cool kid stuff was still the pop and everything, but in reality, dude. Everything was bleeding over into mainstream, Mu- all music, and it's something that doesn't happen anymore, but it's like, bro, it, from 1998 yeah. to like 2001, it was like lots of, like, you could, you'd have, you could have punk, pop punk, you'd have corn, and like, you'd have death metal, you'd have hardcore, you had Slipknot, you had like, like Britney Spears and fucking Macy right. Gray, and you had like all these, just keep naming bands of just everything, bro. All kinds well, of different you music. Do reason why I said Bader? Bader? Why'd you say yeah, Bader? what's up? Why'd you say Bader? What the hell is that? Why'd you say Bader? Oh, my fucking God. Bro. B. Welsh, please answer questions. Like, you just, D. Welsh, bro, we love you, man. Help us, please. This is devolved Welsh right now. <laughs> D-bag, Welsh. See, Luke put himself on mute. Well, okay. Luke, Luke getting sick of the shit. I don't know what to tell you right now. I'm so confused. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, D-Welsh. Uh, yeah, Blink-182, I'll accept that they're beta at this point. That's fine. They were cool. It was like fun music, fun pop punk that was out. It, I didn't really love. I didn't love Blink One Eighty Two, but like you know, some so- the songs come on and they're like fun sometimes. But I, I wasn't into them that much. Uh, some people were really into That's them. Fair. That's all. That's good. Well, good why stuff. do you um? Why did you uh? Say this was beta. I want to know because I was kind of yeah. Like, we asked him that and then he didn't really say interested. anything. <laughs> so no, I know, but maybe now me asking him will uh the world demonetize this world champion. Maybe that will. Trigger a response. That song, damn it, is good. Jesus. Okay. Um, okay. So why there you are go. you here? If you're not going to say anything, I mean, this is really getting ridiculous. But whatever. Well, the the crazy What's thing the next is question. The crazy thing is he just said he was going to say wh- like we want to know what I think, and then we we're like, yeah, and then he didn't say anything. <laughs> It's like he's on a delay. I I swear he's no, it's it. like he's trolling us. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to donate tonight. I'm going to go on the call and fucking ruin the show. That's what I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> he just muted it. Uh, unmuted. Uh, he's probably having mic troubles. Probably I guess because it. Yeah. Mm. I think well, him and Aaron you have mic troubles. You, use your, you use your phone mic or you find another way. I mean, it's really not mm-hmm. that hard. I don't have the best setup, and I'm able to I'm able to get my voice on the show. Whether it sounds like shit or not is uh, is not a part of the you know equation. But still, mm-hmm. like, I don't understand this. Why why are you like this? <laughs> uh, audience, if you um, can tell, what is the next question? 
No, that's uh, Luke is wearing his great grandmother's glasses. Uh, if you aren't able to see those, Dude, what year did, did they, were those made, man? They look so old. I just got new glasses. I thought I like I like them. So cool. I got these glasses yeah, because um, like my dad, me. my dad had glasses like these when he was in his twenties. So I was like, oh, pale mod. Did, you know? did your dad also oh. look like he was? Well, never mind. Uh, here's a donation. <laughs> I've seen pictures of your dad, and he didn't he have the same thing. Looks like a pedophile. I'm your friend. Chocolate blend. I love supporting T Show. I have cervical stenosis that needs surgery oh. and dealing with diverticulitis at the same time. Jesus. This show gets me through the tough times. Long live Rojas and Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua Gaffney. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry. That sucks to deal with. Yeah, you got it. That, I so, said alpha, but... That's alpha. That's beta. Joe was asking me. I said alpha. That's alpha. Because... I said alpha because it's such a popular... Oh, my God. The connection is beta. Oh, my Your, uh, D. Welsh's connection is beta. Indeed. D. Welsh. Didn't you say you make so much more money than me? How come you can't afford a better mic or connection? I mean, this is Cause he's cheap. a little sad. Listen, bud, we're supposed to bury the hatchet tonight, so you better get your shit together because we got to do that. You know, I kind of already promised everybody that that was happening, and if that doesn't happen, we, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. All right? And you don't make the champion of monetize this look like an idiot. So next question, nerdy, because I really want to hear – yeah. What is the next topic on top of all data? Thank you. Uh, so you're at the bar. You yep. hear your friend get offered a beer, and he says, "Actually, no. I'll have a hard seltzer." Is, is that alpha or is that beta? Preferring that's hard fine. seltzer um, that's over a no. Beer. That's that's f is what that is. <laughs> oh. that, that's beta, and that guy wants to fuck you. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. <laughs> either that, either that, and, or he's um. You know what's, Unless you're interested in that, you and, know. <laughs> and just for the fun of it, while he's while he's actually at the bar thinking about having sex with you, this is the song playing in his head the whole time. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, I'll have a cider. I'll have a a seltzer. Can I have a seltzer? Also, I want to fuck that guy lemonade. next to me right now. Can I have lemonade? Uh, Suck what, my uh, piss. Suck my piss. I'm fat. Can I have a uh, Zima? We don't actually do. Zima, yeah. I do you guys Zima. have any, like, Because I see that you guys have burgers and cheesecakes on your um on your menu. Do you guys have any, like, avocado toast? Because it's like <laughs> something I'm kind of on a diet right now. Um, I don't see any kale-related stuff on the menu. A wine cooler. <laughs> yeah, Joe's making fun about how you're eating your cell phone, dude. Don't confuse it for a fucking... Like every time I uh, cut to Luke, oh, he's like... Oh, 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 oh. Like, that's what you look like on the stream. Normally, I don't have the camera on me. <laughs> Jesus normally, Christ, bro. Me, so it's like a fucking <laughs> gynecological fucking meeting that's happening every time you're speaking. Is that a pap smear, Joe? Yeah, it looks like a fucking pap smear. It looks like I'm like at one of Leah's pussy pap smears, yes. but it's Luke's face. Like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Shave her fucking what? twat. Pussy pap smears. Uh. Uh, Jay Menace, Keep what this do up, you, have you ever, has any of your friends ever ordered a hard seltzer? Is that in your friend group? No, he, just, he doesn't have Absolutely girlfriends. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> no, you, uh, get I shot, answered you get shot in the black community if you do that. Yeah, I'll I'll be sure to remember that. Don't ask if the hair is natural and or for a hard seltzer. Um, Absolutely. That is, don't come we'll label that as beta. Um, don't come next, with, and don't say. <laughs> depending on what neighborhood neighborhood you're in, don't wear a blue oh shirt my god. or a red shirt. Oh my god, neighborhood! I th oh Jesus. Oh nah, they, Joe, what? I heard it. You heard that I heard too? It too? I heard. I dude, I heard. What more. did you hear? Oh! Oh, you thought I said no? Oh my God, no! Yeah, it's dude. I'm. I don't know why the way you said that. It sounded like. Yeah, I don't know. So you better be careful. You better be careful of me because if you thought I said that, I was about to say. Uh, mm. oh. 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 Can I? Well, speaking of um, people. Wait, 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 I, I can do the crystal. I can like, do the crystal. Let's, let's go back. Wait a minute. Let's go back. Already drowned. Let's go back to it. I want you to hear it again. I want yeah, let's let's dude, listen so to it. Let's listen to it again. I don't know why the way you said. Oh, you thought I said no. Oh, oh no, my God! Eating that's happening every time. 
Here it is. Keep what this you, up. I'll have be you there. ever? Has any of your friends ever ordered a hard seltzer? Is that in your friend group? No, he does. He doesn't have girlfriends. Absolutely friends. not. No, <laughs> no you uh, shot, I answered for him. You get shot in the black community if you do that. Yeah, I'll I'll be sure to remember that. Don't ask if the hair is natural and or for a hard seltzer. Um, Absolutely. That is, don't come over label that as beta. Um, don't come next, with, and don't say it's long as us. Depending on what neighborhood neighborhood you're in, don't. Oh, wear. oh right <laughs> there, oh, dude. Right yeah, there. Not that, that second one was. Yo. Huh? <laughs> depending on what neighborhood neighborhood you're in. What the oh, fuck did you say, dude? That was like the least. It did Antonio sound that like I said, Nate. It did sound like I said it, but I, I said nay girl. But it sounded like neighborhood. Well, you're up like Matthew neighborhood Perry, man. I mean, like it sound. I, it, I know you said neighborhood, but I don't know. Neighborhood, you're pretty close. Oh I, I like God, that we spent dude. 47 minutes. I like that we spent 47 minutes having to go back. All the way in the stream, and then you went. Of course, <laughs> the wrong timestamp as you usually yeah, do. Yeah, okay, oh, I got man. close. Neighborhood, you're, neighborhood, you're, neighborhood, you're, neighborhood. You're. I don't know. That's <laughs> very <laughs> weird. And and also, that's really bad. Like that neighborhood, like hood, like white. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, and what we were yeah. talking about. Yep. Um, is anime what? now in 2023? Is anime beta or alpha? Because it used to be pretty beta. I still it's think like it's beta, name. but yeah, everyone's in. Dude, Leah and Gavin were literally. So I, I'm texting my son to see if he's okay. He's at a friend's sleepover, and I'm like, "Yo, how you doing?" He doesn't answer me, and I go, "Okay, I guess he's having fun and he's busy and whatever <laughs> else." And then, um, like, he freaks. He like, I, I, what the fuck, dude? Something is flying around in my room, and I swear to God, if it's a bee, I'm gonna freak out. Hang on a second, I gotta go find uh, this okay. bee. Yeah, he went inside the edge of our toes, you know, with that story about his son at a. Hey, nerdy, I, I have a good piggyback to that. Is jerking off to anime alpha or beta? That's yeah. a very oh, good people. question. I do that every day, so I think it's alpha. <laughs> oh, a god day. <laughs> Wait, so pictures of, an pictures of Android 18. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yes. Okay, I was going to ask. It's, it's either Android 18, it's either Android 18. Um, or maybe like Videl, you know, Ooh, Videl. I don't like her short hair, man. She looks too much like a boy. No, with the short hair, she looks like a dyke, but with the fucking, oh, with the <laughs> ponytails, bro. She was just perfect. I hate it that they got rid of the ponytails. They also made her character completely useless, but you know, that's another thing. They taught her how to fly and then she was useless. The, no, there was no reason to spend all that time on her and like everything in, in, you know, prior to the world tournament, if literally she does like nothing and she just goes straight to like sitting around on the lookout with everybody else and her like t-shirt, it's like that shit really pissed me off. Like there are things that I think people talk about with the, um, like why the boo saga is bad. I don't think it's bad, but I do think there is a lot of like mishandled things. Like you don't spend so much time on like Gohan in high school and all of his friends only for all of it to be inconsequential for like the entire rest of the season like, or, or arc. It's really yeah, stupid. if anything, a hundred percent, the kids should have been blasted by Vegeta when he went Majin. You know how he blasted the stands? They should have just cut yeah. to those being like the student section and have all those guys die. Yeah. And like now in super, she's not even the same character at all. She's just a completely different person. She, cause she, she used to have like an attitude and she used to like be like spunky. Now she's just like, hello, Gohan. I'm so happy to be here with you and our baby. Like that's all, that's the only types of dialogue that she is given now. It's the same, it's the same with every female character. Like I love Dragon Ball Z and, but they, they, Dragon Ball does not know how to write female characters unless it's Bulma. Yeah. And God bless her titties, dude. I love. I love. I, that's who I would dra jack off to most if you know it came down to jerking off to anime. Of course, it'd be Bulma. So See, jerking off to anime. Oh, dude, Depends of course. On what jag to the world, dude. Jag the Panzer shows up when we start talking about jerking off. Depends on which saga of her of Bulma. You know, if we're talking, we're talking first like Sand Saga Bulma, like when you're first introduced to her, definite jerk off material. You're talking. I didn't like her Namek look. Like I kind of thought that she. I don't know. She was dressed up in that weird like outfit, and like I didn't like her hair. Yeah, the short hair. What was she sexiest in? 
Oh, yeah, the sure. Garlic Jr. Saga. Garlic Jr. Saga. She's got a fucking sexy ass haircut. Yeah, for you sure. Younger people have so much more to have so many more jack off options. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, I grew means, up with Harry Bush mags from the seventies. You know, moving pictures. Like, you would have to corn. That, and, there were two channels to jack off to. Yeah. Cinemax. Ran, is, random in the random in the chat goes. Of course, Luke jerks off to Dragon Ball Z. Guy works at Wawa. Just look at him. <laughs> I don't know if Fuck working at Wawa. Bro. Yeah. Consider me a full-time manager at Wawa, if that's what it means to work at Wawa. They have clean bathrooms for jerk so that's nice. I do appreciate that. That's disgusting. If you jerk off, if you jerk off to anime, you have issues. E-Man, I feel like I've seen you like say stuff about, I want the bra and panties matches back, bro. So it's like, oh, mm-hmm. because it's a because it's a cartoon and you're jerking off to it, you have issues. But if you jerk off to like regular porn, that's fine. You know, despite the fact that what they're doing is just is just as obscene as the photos of hentai. But oh yeah. Yeah, dude, that anime porn is disgusting and deplorable. So, anyways, I was watching this woman get raped, and it was really hot. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, he said, yeah. he say, hey, look, tentacles, not for me, but like a 12-inch white veiny throbbing cock, that's all his feet. <laughs> yeah, look, you know what I think is weird is watching other guys fuck girls. I don't like that. Like, I don't like seeing a dude's dick go into a girl. Like, I just, I would, that's not something that I imagine. Not, like, maybe my dick, maybe my, yeah, I know that's how it works, but I don't want to see another guy fuck a girl. That's not how, it, like, I don't know. To me, like, what's attractive is the girl. She's the, the one I want to fuck, you know? And then, like, yeah. you're trying to pay attention to the girl. You're trying to pay attention to the girl, and then you're too busy seeing this guy, like, <laughs> Oh. And you want to talk to a, a dead woman, like yeah, what if he's like, die, like China or, or you know Savannah? If you remember her from this, anybody remember Savannah from the nineties, the blonde girl? Yeah, she but was like, what if she was really hot though? Like, do you still do it, or what do you mean? I don't know. I just nerd. I cut the line off at, at dead chicks. I think. Don't <laughs> <laughs> answer that seriously, you dumbass. I wasn't serious. Mr. Pico seems like he's still annoyed about the whole fight that you guys just had. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you guys need to. No, what do you guys think? You think? If we see him on the road think... one day, I might run him off. That's okay. Do you think burying the hatchet is alpha or beta? G menace. Good question. What well, hatchet are we gonna be burying? Was that was that was that uh Patrol? Shut your bitch ass! Don't talk. Who's one's honor? J menace. How many chromosomes you got, menace? <laughs> oh my god, bullfrog! Yeah, just watch on, bro. Oh, well, Excuse hey, me, hey there, wrong. Luke. Uh, how many chromosomes you got? I can't even count. G minus. Probably less than you. G minus. Have a question. Do you think having more chromosomes is a good thing? I think. <laughs> Jesus. You all right there? Paul? All right. Well, anyway, oh, what is here. the last question on alpha or beta so I can kill myself finally? This um, ain't going. Very good question, dude. Uh, the next I'll one, maybe the last one. Yeah, okay. Bringing your laptop to a coffee shop and uh, sitting down and quote unquote doing work at a coffee shop is that alpha or beta? Depends if you Pretty buy alpha. something. Wait, wait, wait. Fish. Repeat the question. So, like, you you ever go to like Starbucks or some coffee shop? You get a coffee and then you leave, right? Because you're not gonna drink it there. But, but there's dudes there that have laptops and they post up for hours and hours. Is that is that an alpha move or a beta move? Beta. That's a beta fish. I see them at the pet store all the time. I think that's pretty alpha, bro. You using somebody else's Wi-Fi to make your money? Hey, look, I'm for down. hours. Yeah, that's yep. true. And a lot of the times, those dudes hit on other chicks there. Like that's got to be why they're there, I imagine. Other than the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I can say that's alpha move. So you can use they, you can use their Wi-Fi with people. Okay, mm. nerdy. What about using your the Wi-Fi at Starbucks to look up your anime Money. porn? Now, I'm gonna use Wi-Fi to look up some froggy one because I don't want to get froggy a bit. 
<laughs> now, what do you think is alpha or beta? Do you think being into getting dominated is alpha or beta? So you're like the like the chick or whatever, or the dude in D. Walsh's case is like the dom, and you get slapped by him or whatever. I mean, that would have to be beta, right? Because that's like the whole point of it. I right. want to get like, dominated by Joe. Do you find it sexy, like if you're like JMS? Do you find it sexy if your girl is like? Like says something to you, like kind of der- like demeaning to you, but you're like, oh my god, that's so hot. Do you ever nah, get like it, that? Look, when when she does, it, it works. It works for your boy. Mm-hmm. That's like so she's that's demeaning. Like, you gotta say it to me, Luke. Jay Menace. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, no Vanix. I'm hey, sorry. <laughs> Wait, I, I think I heard D Welsh like in the back. Like, did, does anybody else hear D Welsh talking like he's did, kidnapping somebody? Banners. Do you, do you apologize uh, to me, Luke? Oh, D Welsh, we can hear you. <laughs> no, did I'm joking. Listen, D Welsh. Do yes, you apologize I, we can hear to me? Oh, well, I'm going to get to that, D. Welsh, if you'd let me finish the fucking sentence. God damn it, I'm the champion. You talk, anyway. you talk, you talk smack about you my... Know what I will fuck you, D. Welsh. Fuck you. No, fuck you, you. Yeah. No, you fuck you. Talk. Fuck you, no, you piece no. of shit. No, fuck you don't you. tell me what to do. I tell you... All right. I'm going to donate and kick you off the show. Okay, I think I think who I'm talking to is not actually D Welsh. I apologize to the to Weg to Wegman's Wegman's tail, whatever his name is. My name's not D Welsh. D Welsh. Why is Yogi Bear here? No, listen, no Vanix. This is funny, Mm. and I want to laugh, but I am trying to actually bury the hatchet with the real. D. Welsh, and he's been asking me if I can hear him, and I can hey, barely. D. Welsh. What? Is this the real one? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Almost. I, I almost yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, D. Welsh. Me and you have had our what problems the over the past. <laughs> We've had our problems over the past year. And I kind of want to say, like, hey, listen, let's bury the hatchet. Let's settle it. And, you know, I think you owe me an apology first because I'm the champion. I apologize, Luke. Wow. Okay. That's pretty okay. hard. I, but what are you apologizing for? For being a little ass and being rude. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Holy shit. Okay. You should suck okay. And, his and do you all right, and do you apologize for for basically tattling on me to Joe? That was a while ago, but yeah, I'll apologize for that too. Why not? Okay, wow, what a okay. big dude. And yeah. I apologize for saying "fuck your faggot family" and saying that you would rather kill your kill your son than have a conversation with me. <laughs> you know that was not right of me. Despite the fact that you did kind of change my words around and make it seem like I said something I didn't when I said you, you made it seem like I said you should kill your son when I said you would rather kill your son. So it's a big difference. Um, but yeah, I accept your apology mm-hmm. and I'm sorry too. But I do feel like I was in the right. Why don't you two just get well, froggy with each other? Jesus. Nah, that's all right. No, thanks now it's Nerdy's turn. Look, I'm sorry to anybody who had to listen to that sausage fest suck off there for the last 30 seconds. I like sausage. I'm sorry. It's okay. I accept your apology. I'm sorry. You. I wasn't apologizing to you, Pico, but okay. <laughs> Look, that that was now. Now that you two have settled the beef, what's What's for the future? Are you guys now friends, or are you taking it slow? When's the first date? The future loves. They're gonna be oh fuck buddies. Oh, oh. Hey, nerdy, nerdy. How does it feel though, like that the girl that you love is fucking some guy right now, and then playing with their with his kids? Oh, Damn. Look, Luke, I would insult any of the girls that you recently hooked up with, but they just don't exist. <laughs> So I don't know. You, you caught me. True. You caught me at a loss. I don't know what to say. 
these nuts. I mean, what's I don't know what's worse, being a virgin in, like at twenty years old, or like obsessing over a clearly horrible <laughs> person who used you, and still thinking about that person to this day, despite the I fact you've been one. broken up for a year, and then getting angry. I found out that she moved on with her life. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Right. You know, it's time for me to move on. Uh, a hundred percent. Question for the group. Huh? Okay. Yesterday. Oh. Yesterday, Bull Watch from Night Court died. NBC sitcom. Today, Matthew Perry died. NBC sitcom. Who dies tomorrow from an NBC sitcom? Jason no, Alexander. Probably me. That's a good one. <clears throat> Jason uh, Alexander. Nerdy. Nerdy. Your pick. I'm going to say Ross Geller. Roscoe? No, Ross Geller. Ross. From yeah, France? Did you know that that's not an actual, that's not a real person? That's his name in the show? Not, Wait. not a real actual name. Wait, you, you're telling me he doesn't have a sister either? It's bullshit. Like Bull from Night Court wasn't his real name. Ross Geller is a real person. Prove me wrong. Is he? NBC what? sitcom? No, he's not. I couldn't remember the guy's real name. You guys are right. I just was defensive. Failure. It's what you are. <laughs> hey, Jay, you know what? It's good to hear from you, man. How are you doing? I'm trying to see the clip that you sent me. Welsh about somebody getting a, a, ejected for something. Let me see. Yeah, for for a hit. Yeah. Was this during the baseball game? No football. No football. Oh, I did. I know what you're talking about. I see. Okay, I see what the guy did. Yeah, yeah, he deserved it because what it. Although it doesn't seem like he did anything from a certain angle, when you see that close up, he literally just drives his helmet straight into the guy's face. So and and chest. So yeah, he deserved. I have chest. a helmet. All right. And did did they ever work. catch that guy that's on the loose? Wait, who? who no, I'm Luke? serious. I'm not joking. Luke, I'm oh, gonna go with somebody no. from Cheers. Somebody from Cheers will die. Eric, I'm gonna say check your backyard. Oh, okay. Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Mm. He'll be dancing his way to the grave. Why is everybody put him for a few uh, bottles? Norm. Oh, wow. Norm from Cheers. Oh, yes. Hey, and uh, mm. Pico, to answer your question, I'm going to go with Alfonso Ribeiro. Oh. I thought you were going to say him. Alpha or Beta. <laughs> that would have been funny. Jada Pinkett. Yeah. Luke. Hey, Joe. While Maybe somebody I, from Frazier. While I do enjoy Fraser. your... Uh, yeah, I know. All right. I guess we just not gonna Wait. let each other. Fuck it. I'm going back to the ghost. I want to get froggy, Joe. Where, where's Joe at? Uh, I need to get a Halloween costume, bro. I'm serious. Where the fuck is Joe? Well, I love to. I would love to move this topic of discussion to something that everybody loves talking about, especially nerdy. You know, nerdy is a big fan, and that's professional wrestling. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, we can talk about it. To... That's okay. Well, um, I gotta say, fuck wrestling, okay? Oh, God. Something That's right. That oh, it's Donald Trump. It's, Donald... it's way oh, too Luke. liberal and PC now. Back really? in the attitude, Trump, it was amazing. I was a part of it. I... <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's called uh, my Hillary mask, okay? That's terrifying. Okay. Okay. Luke. Now, do you, now, I was swore there was a B in here, and I can't find it. Oh wow! Dude, check underneath your asshole. He's probably stuck. Dude, it. Trump, there was a B. I swear there was a B in here, Trump. It was. I mean, dude, listen. It was this massive thing. It was floating around. I was like, you know what? I don't think that's a stink bug. I think that's a B. So I got up, and plus, dude, it was eighty degrees today. <laughs> You sound like a schizophrenic there uh, bro, a little bit. Uh, bro, <laughs> there was 80 degrees. And it was 80, degrees. On these 80 degrees. Now, listen, I am terrified of bees. It's like one of my biggest things. Like, I can't deal with bees. But it would be funny if I'm, like, talking like this, and I'm like, I swear there was a bee. I couldn't find it. And, like, I'm still talking. And, like, 10 minutes later, and it just flew right into my fucking face and landed on my face. And I went, you know, and I was like, oh! Like, like it would just be great. 
But it'd be terrible. <laughs> it'd be terrible, but it'd be great. Sorry. You ever get stung by a bee, Joe? Uh, when I was little, I'd probably I'd probably die. I bet. I bet you I would have an allergic reaction and die. I bet. Maybe not though. I don't know. My, no, mo- my mother just shoved the bee's needle up your ass. I need, the, bu- yeah, I need the bullfrog. Get froggy to eat. with the bee. Bullfrog, can you eat the bees for me? That's what I think we need you to do. Hey, bullfrog, oh, there you are, a moron! Send <laughs> <laughs> <Sing to> me, Joe. <laughs> My donation, Joe. Joe. What is the origin of the Joe Cronin name? Thanks, Vince HB eighty nine, halfback eighty nine. Vince, thank you, sir. Um. Well, Joe was my, f- so I had a bunch of, when I had my other YouTube channels and stuff like that, I didn't want to confuse everything. So I named it uh Joe Cronin show because I don't know. My father's name was Joe and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And I was like, I'll do something different than my real name, but it's pretty much my real name. So what the fuck was the point anyway? I should have called it backwards hat can't grow a beard guy channel, but Oh well, I didn't Honestly, do that. Honestly, you, you do look more like a Joe than a Dan, to be quite honest. With you. I think like, that's I don't what, see you. Hey, I thought Joe was your real name. No, that's what you think now because you're used to me looking like that. But like, I feel like Dan all the time. Like I'm Dan. I mean, I've been doing no. no even you, even I'm starting. Of course, you even feel even like Dan. But even I'm I know, but even I'm starting to think I'm more Joe now because I've been this for so long. It's weird. It's kind of you're bizarre. You're becoming the character. You're becoming the character. I'm becoming the character. I'm guy. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, like Dan Kennedy. What are that? Yeah, me and Dan oh get the God, same name. Enough. Listen, Dan um, Cronin. Oh. Sorry, Joe. Joe is like, you know, how he's like all anti PC. What if Dan is actually like the complete opposite and he's just like a huge, like, I don't like when they make racist jokes, you know, like he's just an SJW. (laughs) I don't think, uh, I'm not like that, but I definitely am. Those fucking liberals. I'm definitely more of a hippie. We have to talk about South Park and the Panderverse uh, episode too. Have any of you guys heard of that? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen seen that, but I'm assuming. Yeah, that was pretty Dude. awesome. I saw, I've seen clips. I haven't still watched the whole thing, but it looks really without, good. Without, without spoiling anything, like uh, Cartman, you know how they're doing these multiverses and Marvel and all this shit. Yeah. Uh, Cartman has dreams that all of his friends and he have been replaced by fat black lesbians. I love uh, it. for diversity, and so uh, his dreams create a rift in the space time whatever and he gets sent into their universe and the fat black Cartman gets sent into the South Park universe and uh, it's really funny I I won't give any spoils but it's really good I can't wait to watch it Nerdy looks like he was about to do an amazing ballad about LSD right there he looks like he finna (laughs) sing his fucking heart out Joe black lesbian don't you come Bro, I think the bee. I, I now it it could have been a stink bug, but I really I do because it was eighty degrees out today. I think the bees came out like, holy fuck, it's warm, let's go, and then they're like, oh, I'm dead, because it's gonna be now. For, it's now forty degrees tomorrow, right, or fifty. So like the bees got confused. Why don't you eat the bee? Be- I don't hey, know. Joe eat the bee. Joe. I'm Luke, afraid to eat the bee. Joe is officially so paranoid about this bird, he can't do the show anymore. It's he a just, bee. It ain't a bird. It ain't a fucking bird. It's a bee. It's not. He's not a bird. He's a human being. No, but I think I think I might have just I think I might have just witnessed it die, right? Because it flew out Yo, and it flew around and then it just went. It fell down and is gone now. It's probably crawling around like. <gasps> Why don't you watch the bee movie with the bee, Joe? Because I'm doing the show right now, uh, Bullfrog. That's why Bullfrog. You know why aren't you sleeping with your niece right now? Because I already did it earlier, Joe. Because he can't That's bury it away. Can't find it. All right. Well, listen, the top donator tonight winning that digital JCS title. And right now it's Joshua Gaffney who's dealing with all kinds of medical shit. So, uh, Josh, I uh, hope you're okay. He loved, and... he loved me and Joe. He said, long live Joe and Luke. Okay. I love it. Hey, and I want to... him to donate to my playlist live, Joe. Oh, Tommy, come Tommy. on, man. I told you if you come on here, you can't just be plugging all your shit, Tommy. What the fuck, bro? Well, obviously, hey, I got to plug it in, Joe. But hey, Tommy, I, I'd like to, um, i just like to ask you something real quick. Um, uh-huh. hold on one sec. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, listen, let by the way, quick. listen to me and Luke's podcast on Patreon. It's for a dollar. It's great, Tommy. Tommy, could you give it a listen on Patreon? 
Uh, yeah, Joe. Uh, could you get could you get it for me for free, please? Uh, well, I mean, it's a dollar, Tom. He wouldn't think... even do that. He wouldn't even do that for me. Uh, <laughs> he well, he's gonna do all right, you? listen, Tommy. I'll send you the. I forgot, Luke. Actually, I'm sorry. I'll send you the five bucks, Tommy, and then you get five months. How about that? That sounds like a deal, Joe. But um, since it was a good show because I was on it, maybe like like buy me some Denny's. You want me? Oh okay, God. so you'll come on the show if I buy you breakfast. Is that what you're telling me? It's a llama. Hey, Tommy, what's a Mayo Clinic? I'm just wondering. <laughs> Tommy just Tom, left. Tommy so has left. He died. Tommy just had a heart attack. But yeah, maybe the bee smells my poison ivy. That's what someone said. What do you think? Do you, what do you think he meant by that Mayo Clinic? The Mayo Clinic, you know, like oh, the, that, that's where. That's where all the white people go to, you know, get better when they go see. Yeah, dude. It's like the white people <laughs> get the hospital. mayonnaise clinic. It's where Brody Lee died in Jacksonville. I, Mayo Clinic. Like, I read that and I was like, "What?" <laughs> it's it's, Mayo like, clinic. It, it's the name of the clinic. It's the na- it's like saying going to St. Jude's. <laughs> Somebody kicked me off the call and they said for me to jump off a bridge. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hey, oh, hey, hey by the way, did you listen to him? Has Hamza injured any of his kids at, at all again? Yeah, he's been holding, playing with a bunch of knives. But keep oh. his name out of your mouth, you crony. Keep his motherfucking name out your motherfucking mouth. Let me tell you something. That guy needs to stop having sex with whores and having bastard children. Okay, Tommy? Oh, uh, well, uh, fuck you, Joe. Tommy, Tommy. Yeah, hey, he man, needs to have sex with women that will leave him for another dude and then marry them Tommy, and raise their actually, children. Yeah. We're actually getting a caller right now. We don't usually get these because we use Discord, but we are getting a caller right now. He has something to say to you. Tommy, I think she's James Worley. <laughs> oh, I'm not Tommy. this fucking asshole. Oh, no. no. I'm going Quit to fucking call school. my phone. Your barber's dead. <laughs> Your barber's dead. <laughs> Fuck you, D. Welsh. Oh, come on, man. Why would you do that to him? Uh, hey, hey, Joe. Yeah. Uh, D. Welsh keeps telling me to fucking, uh, like, leave the call. He well, listen, he can't do that. He can't do that. He can donate to boot you off the call, maybe, but he didn't donate, so... I appreciate you, Welsh, but fuck my mother, Joe. Well, your mother's which one? The fat one or the one that raised you horribly? Oh, fuck you, asshole! Yeah, the hot <laughs> one or the linebacker? What? Which one? The nice? Oh. Which one? The, the the one that abandoned oh, you or the cunt? <laughs> oh my uh, yeah, God, yeah, Joe. Uh, Jesus, he's telling me to go so bad. Guys. Are... <laughs> he's telling me to go so bad. bad. He says something. What do you I'm say, sorry, Tommy? Get your go joke go off, ahead, Tommy. No I'm panics. sorry. Go ahead, Tommy. I'm sorry. I mean, Tommy. Yeah, get your joke off, Tommy. Jesus. Go ahead, Tommy. Y'all yeah, broke his joke off. Go ahead, Tommy. This is all you, Tommy. Somebody muted him. That was probably yeah. D, D, yeah, D. Welsh is telling me to go fuck myself. That's terrible. Why well, would I fucked his mother. Oh. Hey, mother. Welsh. <laughs> Hey Welsh, I want to know: Is it true that you actually doxed Bullfrog? Because somebody told me you did, but I don't know for sure to believe you or believe. Yeah, you. that motherfucker you... doxed me. He did. He did it on the show. Random... Bullfrog. He did it on the show, okay. right? On my show, unfortunately, I deleted that video. I right. I should never. I'm for one hundred percent now. I'm always going to believe what Randy Viper tells me. Okay. Because he's the one who told me that, and now you don't I, remember now that. I definitely do. Oh, you weren't around for that. I might. I might have not seen that. No. Well, well, technically, Bullfrog doxed himself first, but then, yeah, D. Welsh on the show did say his location, and we had most to... I think that was late three hundreds, around three eighty. Yeah. Stupid motherfucker! Yeah, they was... showed up to his house with a gun. He probably apologized for weeks, but it also it didn't help, though. You know that. Uh, yeah. You know. And then, I keep making it fun of my accident. brother, Joe. If it was an accident, then I don't. Then I don't hold. No, it, it was not an accident. Like... It was. Not... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it wasn't an it was accident. Not a fucking accident. It was an accident. No, it's like copied and pasted. Yeah, when Bullfrog, uh, when Bullfrog doxed himself, that was probably an accident. But you know, he was yeah, trying to uh, order some food and put his location, little, in, but he put it in the chat. That is a little weird. That Imagine doxing yourself weird. accidentally like that. Like it's like the time times. Like how far? Um, I'm gonna go to. Uh, how far is it to get to the sports store? You are 0.1 miles away from Wendy's. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck you. No, no. 
Wasn't he saying Chick-fil-A, but it said Wendy's anyway? <laughs> uh, there's an active shooting in, in uh, Chula Vista. Tommy, there's an active shooting in Chula Vista, California right now. Well, I'm not from California. I know, I, I, I know, Tommy, but like, what you know, maybe it's one of your family members that's shooting up California right now. North Carolina. Yeah, but what if <laughs> what if your family is doing it in California, Tommy? Joe, you know you what? Think? You know what? I'm gonna fucking come in a bowl and I'm gonna shove it all up your face. Okay, <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> come on. Dude. I really think. I really think that Joe at first thought that California was Ca- Carolina. No, I didn't <laughs> and think then he that. Had to, no, and he had to make it up and be like, eh, I just wanted to know Tommy's opinion. <laughs> no, Tommy's family, they're out there in California and they're, they're shooting people up and Tommy, and I think they're, I swear to God, they said, I, they said their name is uh, Finton. So are you sure? Oh, fuck you, asshole. Fuck I'm you, sorry. Joe. All right. You, your trolls and your yuppie heaters, they keep sending me hate. I fucking yep, hate it. Really. I'm yep, sorry, Tommy. I'm sorry, Tommy. Um, there's an update, though. Tommy, this is breaking news real quick, everybody. This is amazing stuff. We have Tommy on the call. We have Bullfrog. It's like old times right now. It's unbelievable. But also, TMZ breaking news. We're told Matthew came home sometime in the morning after a two, two-hour round of pickleball, and then he, Ooh. the most white shit ever, he sent I his assistant people. out to an errand. Shortly thereafter, we're told that the Drugs. assistant returned. About two hours later, he discovered Matthew unresponsive and called nine one one. So, oh, he definitely killed himself, a hundred percent. It has to be. It feels like because this definitely doesn't feel it. You talk about the fucking uh, tub all vaguely five days prior, then you tell the guy, "Oh, get me something," so you have an excuse to be out of the house while I kill myself. That's so weird too. Isn't that so weird? Just like like you have to before you kill yourself or before you commit a killing, you have to kind of like do mundane things. Like okay, I've got to go walk to the bathtub. I've got to take my clothes off. I got to make it like I just I don't know like that type of thought process. Like you would think if you really wanted to kill yourself, you just do it. Like right. take a knife and then just jam it in your face. You know. Yeah. But like people like actually have these like processes first. <laughs> It's yeah, just he, he, like, know, he Whitney Houston himself. That, yeah, yeah, it's almost yeah. that like detachment from reality too. Like where like what I'm doing isn't as crazy, you know. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm just walking upstairs to go kill myself. It's the same with like that guy who shot up that school on Valentine's Day or whatever, and then just like literally went across the street to Walmart to pick up a slushy. Just like, oh yeah, it's nothing. Dude, killing kids can be a thirsty kind of adventure. Thing. Yeah, he was I didn't kill just like seventeen people. He went to people. school with uh, Justin Trudeau. Oh, that adds up. That adds up. Well, yeah. it, it looks like D. Wells. Fuck is... Trudeau. Fuck that motherfucker. See, we even got Trump. We got Trump, Bullfrog, Tommy. This is the best ever. But listen, uh, D. Wells with yeah, an update. Matt, um, yeah. It's a fight outside of a brewery that led to two people getting injured. It's not an active shooter situation. So, Jesus. All, all the all, all these sites. Anytime anything happens now, how, you know if that's. But notice Chicago people are getting shot all night, all the time, and they don't start saying active shooter in Chicago. Yeah. Why is that? How many people have died this weekend in Chicago? Probably double digits already. Yeah, but they don't say active shooter in Chicago. There's like seven active shooters in Chicago. It's my birthday. It's a war zone Some out there in Chicago, Joe. Up. Nobody cares about it. I know that's because. A member. Whoa. Yeah, our system has failed them. A. O'Donnell, Mr. A. O'Donnell, thank you for becoming a member. That is literally crazy. 46 friggin' months. 46 friggin' months. Did somebody ban Pacharo on Discord? Jesus. I wish no. I could. I would have yeah, done it. I... No, did somebody do you that? He, he says might... he got banned on he Discord. Might... Good. Um. Well, I'm, I haven't, so... Any of the team leaders? So who's the team leaders? Me, you, ADTR, Jag Depenzer. So wow, weird flex. No, but this can, is I'm weird. Saying, Somebody anybody, took out. Can anybody? Can anybody under that? Like, can anybody under that? Like the VIP area? Can they take off people? 
I mean, like, but could, to be fair, like, does anybody really want that? Like, I mean, bro, did y'all not hear this mumble fucking mashed potato no, mouth I, motherfucker I, all night? I, like, I, I want to make it under true. If I boot him off, though, it's I want to make it big. I want to be like, I'm booting this fucker off. And it's a big thing, you know? I don't want someone yeah. else to do it out of nowhere behind my back, you know? I, I, didn't, I mean, I, I didn't block with that part. I get that part. I, I think he's just a retard and he doesn't know how to do anything. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look. Maybe he is retarded. It could be him. Let's see. I'm gonna go look now. But Where I is he? Sure. Pachara. You know what? I don't see him banned on Discord. Yeah, because he's a fucking idiot. And this I, is mustache. Sure, right? it's like I think you banned yourself, crumbs. uh Pachara. Or he maybe Mary, you were right though. You were so right though. I did weirdly flex. I was like, you know, Four team leaders. I'm one of them. <laughs> Let me read off every single one. Um, are any of them here? Is this what's his name? Pacharo? Is that his name on here? Pacharo, right? Yeah. 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 What the fuck? I don't see him. He probably just He's probably oh. stupid. Pacharo, you're a target. Every, every time he messages me on Discord, it says Child Predator Six. So. Uh, oh. Know. <laughs> that means there's five prior to him that have that have been in the community. <laughs> no, there's just yeah, five it's other it's accounts it's that got banned. I know one of them's a barber. Oh damn! Oh, I was a stink bug the one. whole time. Eat a joke. Oh, smell guys. Stink. So breaking news: uh, we don't actually know what happened with Matthew Perry or the active shooter. But we do know that this was a stink bug in Joe's house, not a bumblebee. So everybody, you don't have to lose sleep tonight because we now know that it was a stink bug. Hold on a second. Very important. It's a me. stink bug. It is a stink bug. Hold on a minute. Does it smell? My mother, Joe. Is that a, is that a, need a poison yeah. ivy update, Joe? We don't have that yet. Come on. Oh! Joe. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to you live from the Joe Cronin household. Oh, I... Now, what? Well, what we thought appeared to be a bee turns out to be a stink bug. We have an active bug shootout right now. <laughs> I, got him. Him. I got him! Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Cronin house, we see the white man in his element hunting <laughs> down his nemesis. I the smashed stink him. bug. I smashed Crikey. him with a fucking Ninja Turtles fucking game. Boom! Uh, oh, oh yeah! Savage. Right in the Yo, fucking Irwin. head! I'm the shit. We're now getting word from the yeah. FBI that the that the suspect has been neutralized. Right in the fucking head. The sting bug hunter. Also Dean breaking Davis. news. Also breaking news: the New England Patriots just it's signed Joe to a ten day contract. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Joe, how do you feel to be signed with the New England Patriots, a team that you've grown up with your entire life? Let me tell you something. They would be making the greatest, the best fucking uh, mistake of their lives if they hired me. It'd be unbelievable. You'd have to step down from the Trailblazers. Dude, I'm Isn't ready to go. Isn't it crazy that we're going against the Dolphins? We're 2-5 and five and they're 5-2. and two. That's just, like, so perfect. And, we're, and it's going to be, uh, it's probably going to be 2-6 and six for us after tomorrow. We're definitely not winning that. Hey, one. Pacharo, why did you think you got? Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna lose by ten. Pacharo, uh, why? Joe, I just got. Kicked we up. gotta just say we're gonna lose every one of these games, and yes. then we win. It's like I, a reverse sure psychology we thing. We were losing last week. Yep, like, we <laughs> suck. Oh my god. No, dude. If they won though, that'd be so weird because we'd be like winning the division or something like on the division well, games. Funny. Like it's very I bizarre. Really turn this around for over and we years. actually go to the Never Super Bowl in all that time. <laughs> no, I no. Felt no, until last Sunday. That oh. my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. How did I just get randomly banned on the Discord server? I just got kicked out without any mention. It happens. You're back, though, Pacharo, you dipshit. But thanks for the $3. No, maybe someone booted you out of the call and, and whatever. But to use the word banned is not right. I just think you got booted out I of I really this. do me sometimes, too. I wish I had the power so you could properly blame somebody because I would have done it. I'm telling yeah. you. To your face or ear or whatever fucking sorry sack of shit you want to put on the camera. Ooh. I would have done it. I just don't have the capability. <laughs> I would have yeah, done it. Oh, Tommy! Oh. Tommy! Your donation! It's your donation, Tommy! The ghost from the ghost! 
a mask. Buy me 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 a mask.
You know, these Jesus people, Christ, shooter star. why do they do this? Hey, why don't you just kill yourself and get it? Like, why? Why do they? And by the way, oh, I heard voices. Okay, give them a gun. That's a good idea. Yeah. What the Dude, f- I guess. I, these no, terrorists you really think he legally obtained that gun. <laughs> no, I think, that, dude. Do you think the FBI made like sent this guy out to do this like every other time? And then, oh, he's found dead. What if they don't even have his body? What if that's why he's oh, always yeah, found dead? They got him out I to mean, the other country. Yeah, do this, and then you'll that's be okay. What I think I think the FBI and the CIA said, "Hey, we need you to take care of this bowling alley." Like, oh, what? Yeah, they, they <laughs> definitely, they definitely MK ultraed him, man. That no, no, Insurance no way around money. it, Joe. Tommy, um, Tommy, what would you do, Tommy? You're face to face with a shooter, Tommy. What would you do, Tommy? Uh, I I don't know, Joe. It's getting kind of late. I'm gonna have to call it night, buddy. Oh, come, on. <laughs> Tommy. What the fuck? You wouldn't do anything. You, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. You would get shot. You let everybody die, and you get shot because you'd be sitting there stuffing your fucking face. Eating shit. That's what you'd be doing, Tommy. Okay. No, I don't like that. I don't like that photo you've chosen of Tommy. And you why? know why? Because, <laughs> because he's got the belt and you belt. don't. Oh. Well, yeah, that one. Well, I mean, at least, at least when I got, you know, when I get the belt, it's not going to be me crying like a bitch. Because <laughs> you, fuck you, you asshole. Oh, fuck you, Luke. Oh, fuck you, Tommy. Tom, you're going to make Tommy oh, leave. You. Don't do that. You're going to make Tommy fuck upset. Fuck you, you're asshole, leave. dickhead. Oh. There's, no, Shit, there's no reason why that picture should be up because guess what? You're not the champion. I'm the champion. So acknowledge I'm me more as of champion. A champion than you ever you will be. <laughs> You're the oh, champion yeah? of being a fat piece of shit. That's who you are. Oh. Hey, what, about, what about Crystal? Joe, huh? Being a dick. She don't you're a I don't even have a belt for that. Does Crystal think you're a champion? Is that why she's revolted by you? Don't you mention her fucking her? name. She doesn't want to fuck you, Tommy. She's never gonna do it. Not even out of her name out your fucking mouth, asshole. You gonna get angry? You gonna scream, huh? Hecho, I gotta go. Okay. I'm not supposed to. Yeah, I, really- I, I believe Tommy. Tommy is saying to leave her fucking name out your fucking mouth. I believe is what. I would fuck Crystal so hard. Oof. How does it feel that I, that me, the virgin, has a better chance of getting with her than you do? Luke, Tommy left the door. He gave me the phone. Homeless guy. Is Tommy still a virgin? Did he lose that? Did we become in or what's going on? Yeah, fuck him. You know what? No, I did say that. Uh, that Crystal probably has given him like a pity blowjob or something. Like while she was drunk one time. Yeah. Because they hang out all the time. Tommy. They hang out all the time, and like he's like really touchy feely with her. <laughs> I don't know. I think she probably would just like to make him feel happy. Like, please don't. <laughs> he did one of those crying fits. He made her. He, he guilt tripped her into fucking him. <laughs> like, to be fair, you were just a blowjob. He's still. Luke, give me a dollar, Luke. That's all I ask. It's called the streets. No matter what, though, if Tommy ends, if Tommy's ended that relationship, let's say he ends that today. If he got a blowjob out of Crystal, all of that work that he put in, I would argue is worth it. Because at least he got to come once, you know? And I'll tell you what, Crystal, like, really, legitimately, I was, like, I thought she was sexy. Like, I really wanted to, like, see her without her clothes on. (laughs) And uh, there was one stream where she basically came in with, like, no top on at all. Like, her tits were just hanging out. She looked nice. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give Tom... Tell me this, if he did, and if he actually got that, if he was able to tap even a little bit of that, then he, he got something. He got something over me. Yeah. You know, I just have the whole, I just have the whole thing of like being a functional, you know, adult in society. Dude, because a pity BJ is still a BJ. And, you know, as much as, you know, you get looked down on it or whatever, I, if he got his dick sucked. That's pretty impressive, regardless of how how the uh, diamond she was has made. A husband. Is Everybody has a price. J- Drew Bar, I don't think I don't think it's Crystal who had a husband. I think that was Ashley. Ashley's the big, big fucking behemoth that stole his fucking suits and beat him up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's who you're thinking of. I believe because... Ashley's all. Off... Yeah, I believe Ashley is also uh, the. She's also the third Pokemon used by the gym leader, uh, 
easily confused for Miltank, who always used rollout, is also Ashley. Uh, I thought you were going to say she's the third rock from the sun. <laughs> I'm fucking... Well, she does uh, have gravity. I'm a better draw than him. Okay. Uh, listen, I while I do like having like a variety of characters, it is like, oh, we're talking. I'm the bullfrog now. Oh, okay, hey, bull. I'm President Trump now. Oh, okay, I'm Tommy now. Oh, okay, I, I'm I'm Jake the Snake now. It's like, okay, <laughs> you can do different characters, but within a one minute span, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Yo, he just keep getting me because he getting like all the uh, and he using them like in one conversation, which is just like I'm cool. yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. He he gonna get me every time, dog. It's yeah, not that he, that's, no, you're good. That I, that's true. I'm not a, it's not that I'm not impressed with the voice work. It's the like let's try to stay focused on one <laughs> on one retard it's to make even, fun of, you know? There's Ain't too no many one. retards in your league. Can we can we get oh, you to Jesus. go on location and do these voices? Maybe to the mall, maybe to the Kona store. Like get get you out in front of some people, get you in front of some bad oh, bitches. Go. What does the man behind the voices look like? I'm curious. Are you a stunner or are you uh, a bummer? Nerdy. Big bummer. The Snova no. guy is a big bum. I'm coming down for cold. No, Nova or Novix? I think you guys. I, think I got Novix. Right. Tommy killed Trump. This is all Tommy's fault that now Trump has the goddamn cold. Jesus. Trump has the cold. Yeah. yeah, Tommy accidentally got some of his yeast under die. his neck on, on Trump's nose. Oh God, you don't know you don't know who Debe Ew. is. You don't know who Debe is, Ghost. You don't know who. Oh Debe my is? God! Do you guys remember Wait. that time that Debe was over Tommy's house, and he was like nervous around her, and he like buried himself like crazy. Ta oh my god. He buried her too. He shit on her. her. He shit on her and he shit on himself. We gotta play some of this. We gotta play some of this for Dude, Ghost. Oh yeah, he says, uh, okay, before, oh. before you play the clip, before you play the clip, let me explain to Ghost Ghost from the Coast, who by the way, huge one hundred fifty dollar bomb. Whoop. Great job. Love you, dude. You're awesome. You were the reason why I won the title. Anyway, uh Debe was was a <laughs> fan, I guess, of Tommy. Yes, a fan of Tommy. Something. A Why? fan of Tommy, I don't know how he could be a fan, exactly. I don't know how because his channel sucks. But um, she was a fan of Tommy, and she drove all the way to North Carolina with her with her son child, yeah, to go to go see Tommy. Um, and she also was making a comic book for him. I don't know if she ever finished that comic book because she had. Because um, unfortunately, when we got word of who ta of who Debe was and why she and apparently that she drove all the way to North Carolina to see him, um, you could just say that we had some less than um nice words for her. Check this out. Well, this like, is to give you uh, no, this an idea to about like background of this girl. Yeah. So the bottom line she's is she's a professional. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, nerdy. She's a professional Xena impersonator ghost, so she'll do like cr like the Xena cry, just yeah. randomly. It's pretty funny. Yeah. So l l watch this clip, ghost. This is uh, so she went to visit Tommy, and it is just. I think it was me. I think <clears throat> I think this is me and Troy. I was doing an episode of Throwdown, which I used to do Thursday night Throwdown or whatever, and it was on my Corrupted Nation channel, um, and we were reacting to this interaction with him and her and it was very bizarre listen to this he just fucked it up i, I, I garnished myself on my pillows you know you know he just said i garnished <laughs> myself on my pillows Dude, i forgot about that because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you, you, you thing is you have to garnish yourself on your pillows because if you don't have pillows honestly you're just a, you're, you're just a loser you know <laughs> you don't have pillows. what does he think mm. that means i don't know but he apparently he thinks he's gonna serve pillows as food. You have to garnish yourself on the pillows, and they need garnishing or something. And that's I don't know. I think he's nervous. I think he's, he's getting horny right now. Is that me or is that? Oh, that's Tom. You know, 
You you you're a goofball. <laughs> okay. Well, no, you're not a loser, most definitely, but. You know, you you yourself are very interesting and nuts. <laughs> I, I've, as I've gotten to. Oh. So basically, oh. the, the, they they just started the show. And he starts explaining about how you need to garnish yourself on your pillows, which makes no sense at all. Then for no reason whatsoever, no one brought up that she was a loser. Nobody brought up that she was anything. And he just goes, well, anyway, but you're you're definitely not a loser. It's like, okay. Wasn't what? she like a Nazi or Isn't something it? like that? Or did she yes. Like, we, like, no, she used to dress up like Xena and stuff like that. I don't know about the Nazi stuff. I forget that. That was No, that's Ooh. a different girl. That's a different girl, Mustafa. That's not her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. He did We're do an interview with her. I can't believe it. Yeah, he got hey, Tommy got his voice like, oh, dude. Anyway, let's continue this because we're only one minute into this four-minute clip. Let's see some more of this burial. Oh, oh, learned about you and gotten to hang out with you and your son. Nuts in a good way. In oh, a good way. Like a can of spoiled tuna. See, now, because he could be burying, now he's burying his guests like she's nuts to come visit him. That's what she's like, oh, in a good way. Son. Nuts in a good way. Oh, in a good son. way. Like a can of spoiled tuna. Tuna. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this their like love thing? Why would you stop? Oh my god! You're not like a total loser. You're more like a can of expired tuna. Oh Panties just dropping left and right. What is wrong? She drove across the country to see you. Like a can of spoiled. Dude. Later on, he Dude. makes fun of her art. She's like, I drew this picture of Hamza, like, for you guys. And he's like, oh, wow. He goes, well, this really just, this doesn't look like Hamza. And he stares Tommy's, at her. Tommy's the potion of hitting on women. It's like, just shut up. I can't believe you're digging a hole so deep. This is unbelievable. Say nothing and you'll be better off. So, um. Spoiled what, tuna? What got you on YouTube? What now? And <laughs> she what, knows. She goes, spoiled tuna. And, how did you, what inspired you and what puts you, um, a woman of your age. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> your age? He really is. <laughs> All right, we need to play the same game. Pause this little by little, I guess, the next stupid thing he says. I'm gonna go with he suggests so she should use some sort of plastic surgery <laughs> for liposuction. He's like, well, if you fix this a little, like nose job is lipo. He's gonna reference plastic. I can't wow. believe this. I can't believe that he that he talked to this girl like like, like it wasn't just one thing. Like a woman of your age normally wouldn't be doing Twitter and doing musicallys and stuff like that. It would be like in the garden doing stuff. And garden? No offense. I'm not trying to genuize women or anything like that, but I'm just saying. I'm trying to genuize women. Plenty of women doing Twitter and doing. Yeah, uh, well, uh, you know, no offense. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> well, no offense. I'm not trying to denualize women. No offense. You're on Twitter. That's weird. I just haven't met many of them. No, but there's plenty of women out there doing that. It is not a man's world. Not I a man's world. I wasn't generalizing. I was on YouTube way before you. Oh, well, my yeah, God. See, this is what he does. He were. turns his Well, fans. I talked to Debbie way before him, too. See that? Fami actually had sex with Debbie. I did. That's yeah. You told me this, right? Yeah, like, oh, you're lucky to be on YouTube. <laughs> but she was on YouTube before him. Actually, I was on YouTube before him. Like, everybody was. See, now she's getting defensive and has to tell him that and show him that, put him in his place. But this girl, like, loves him and shit, so it's really weird. Like, he's forcing her to, like, fight back. Like, how, that's how fucked up this is. Been around a lot longer than you on the uh, medium. Media. Media. Media? Yeah. Uh, so I understand that you, that <laughs> you have a trait that you do all the time, and what is that? Trait? Great job defending yourself, by the way, to be like, fuck you. What do you do? What, does Zena yell? Yeah, yeah. what you <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Oh 
<laughs> oh my god, bro. Barbie call. That's the Barbie call. That's the Barbie call. This might be in the like. I'm just gonna say this. This might be, like, in the top five most awkward interactions on like on the internet. Like, this is yeah. literally every single every <laughs> single point in this conversation is awkward. Like, it yeah. divulges and in, diverges into more awkwardness every every conversation topic so so hey i heard that you suck dick and you're a horrible piece of Bro, shit into the matrix to say that one i just think that uh um, lovely travelers well thank you Tom. Well, good really to have you back tommy on the show say hi to rostafa fuck you well <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, like this is so painful to listen to. Like it's hilarious, mm. but oh my god, bro! Like how? How do you fuck? Like I don't even Troy... care. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous around women. Like yeah, so I'm nervous him. around some. I'm nervous around women too. You know what I don't say is I don't say that they're like a can of spoiled tuna and say what that I'm gonna hell, garnish dude. myself. I'm gonna it's garnish like myself. It it was like he was so. What did you say, Tommy? I'm sorry. Are you mad at me, Tommy? Because I played that. It smelled like tuna. Too, Joe. Oh, wait a minute. Are you saying she did smell like tuna? Yes, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh like my tuna. god. After dude. all these years, so you were you were kind of just commenting on the obvious, and once you saw her get offended, that's when you were like, "Oh, wait, I did something wrong." I just wanted to try her samples, Joe. Oh my god. Jesus I'm, Christ, Tommy. I'm, I'm what did, nervous what did he as hell say right the now. Other day? <laughs> oh my what did God. he say the other day that was hilarious? He was like, there's three of us, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That was, no, that was Bullfrog that said that, right? It seems yeah, like no, Tommy. Yeah, we got to find that sorry. clip because that was funny the other day. He's like, there's three of us. <laughs> there's three of us. Jenny <laughs> said it all it ominous. It seems like Tommy what read episode a, was that? a book, like now how I, to pick up women. Uh-huh. I don't read. Yeah. No, you don't. Can we can we can we all agree? No disrespect, but actually, you know what? No. We can all agree. We can all agree that this is more cringe than the the Joker deal that was going on. What about? Well, yeah, that's true. Wait a minute, Tommy. Let's go back to when you said this. I want to fuck Debbie until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. <laughs> I want to fuck Debbie until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. You still no. want to? You still want to do that? I'm sorry, you said it. I don't want to fuck that bay until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. Who, I don't who the fuck, fuck is copying me? Mother. No, I'm just playing a clip of you. She's a mother. Play your fucking now, clips. Play your fucking clips. Play your fucking clips. Wow. You know what she has to do? She has to take care of a, of a child all by herself. You kind of sound like me, Lou. Yeah. You know what? That, the... When Tommy talks to Debe, uh, it seems like he read or saw a movie where you have to like neg the chick, where whoa. you like kind of whoa, make whoa, a, whoa. a gate there. N e g n e g. It's a word. It's a word. N-E-G. I don't like those people, nerdy. Oh, those people! Oh my god! What the no, hell? It's where you like you diss a chick, and you do it once or twice because it like kind of puts them in their place. It makes. So they don't feel all like hot and shit. So yeah. you make fun of them for something. And Tommy did it like eight times and just didn't lay off the gas. And if he did it once, if he just made one of those comments, he w- it would have been fine. But he really he did going. seem like he was attacking her. I think he probably, I don't know. You can't just uh, say, oh, well, I'm awkward. Like, I think he really did try to like kind of go after her a little bit, you know, or maybe not go after her, but. I, and I don't like using this phrase at all. Like, I think it's a douchey liberal phrase, but the way he's talking to her and like how she has to be like, I was on YouTube longer than you. It did seem like she, he was kind of mansplaining to her. <laughs> like, mansplaining. Uh, you know, and I hate saying that too. I really hate saying that, but like, I think literally this is like the case. This is an example where it actually works because Tommy tries to mansplain to her. Like, yeah, YouTube gigs really hard. You're lucky that you're able to do it you know yeah. you're lucky that you're in the presence of a of a great one like me mm. <laughs> it's so fucking terrible the fucking what did he say oh my god what, what was the other one that he said oh he brought up her age like literally 
from like as a youngster, like even as a little on kid. Camera. On camera, a, by the way. As a little kid, I learned like, yeah, it's ridiculous that you can't ask women their age. But I learned it's probably not best to go up to a woman and say, oh, you're an older woman. Yeah. Like, yeah, a woman that's I'm like your age. Uh, now, Tommy, let's... Tommy was keeping it a bean. He say he ain't want that stank pussy old bitch in his house. That's uh, what he Tommy, that's Tommy, what is it okay if I play? Can Tommy, can I play the clip since uh, the ghost from the coast dropped one hundred and fifty dollars? Can I play the clip of you, uh, Tommy, when you ask for the mask? Can I play that, Tommy? Play your is that play your fucking clip, Stro? Okay, I will. Is that, is that Would a you ever donate one hundred and fifty dollars because I want? Would you ever donate $150? Because I want to get this <laughs> new segment for my channel. I was wondering if you would help me out with this. What is this thing you wanted? It's a, it's like a clown mask. It's like a, a oh frightening clown <laughs> <laughs> mask. Here's the song. This is my version of monetize, monetize, monetize that. I'm kind of fat. Monetize that. You can monetize that. I'm kind of fat. Tommy and C. Buy me a mask. Tommy and C. I'm kind of fat. Monetize that. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Do you have 150 bucks? Buy me a mask. Would you please buy me a mask? Buy me a mask. I can ask. I can ask. Buy me a mask. I'm Tommy and C. And I'm kind of fat. Buy me a mask. Monetize that. Buy me a mask. 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 I'm power has to flow. I don't like blacks. So there you go. Um, you're welcome. Ghost from the coast yeah, and ghost, Tommy. Ghost Thank from you. the coast. You don't even realize. Like, you've only barely scraped the iceberg when it comes to uh, the Tommy lore on the show. I mean, yeah, yeah. there's so much. There's so the much. I mean, literally. Gone. The mask is gone. Oh know. my God! The ma Tommy, the mask is gone after all all that money. Yeah, Joe. I had a part ways with it. Obviously, it was getting old, and right. uh, I could see it a better mask. Wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Because my question probably, for you, Tommy, probably because, is why didn't you take better care of it? Why yeah. was it not in at least mint condition? Well, Tommy, well, is, it because, is it because Relic changed his mask and you had to uh, rip him off again and get a new one? Obviously, Luke, but uh, Safa, I, I had it obviously change it to, for, for newer videos. Okay, so you just got old. It got old, like, you know. Could you convince your... Yeah, your, nobody your, likes Tesla. Now, could you convince your birth mother to put it over her face so nobody has to see that? <laughs> Tom? My mother, my mother, I, I thought you weren't going to bring up my, my mother. I make her at least fuckable. Yeah, I could make Keep her. Keep the name out of your mouth, Joe. I'm just saying, if, as long as she doesn't smell it really bad. Now there's an active shooter in South Bend, Mishawaka. Mishawaka? In, in South Bend, Indiana. There's a, there's a shooting in South Bend, Indiana, an active shooting right now. I mean, what the fuck yeah. you just called me, Joe? What the fuck? We all know who South that Bend, is. Indiana. Bailey's on the loose again. Joe, yeah. quick sports note. <laughs> Damn it. What? Go ahead, Nerdy. Go ahead with your yeah, sports update. Queers and Mexicans. Again. Well, Nerdy wants to do Alpha or Beta. Nerdy wants to do Alpha Beta again. No, no, you no. Just, we just did that. I mean, we do it again. Yeah, but... well, he wants to do it again. So... No, no. I was just going to say. No, the, I didn't uh... say that. Oh, okay. The Colorado State ben, uh, fans got their team penalized tonight for, uh, for the fans were throwing snowballs at the opposing team, and the referee came out and there, penalized them 15 there, yards. For, there's snowballs? So would you please stop throwing snowballs? Well, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't you know. Yeah. Let me know when someone yeah, gets hurt, I though. Agree. I want to know someone gets Pretty hurt. Pretty funny. Well, in my I mean, later, it was later found out. Wait, do we know how many snowballs in Indiana? Would come. Oh, I see the video now, Pico. No. What a bunch of pussies. There's barely any snow out there. What a fucking bunch of losers. This is why I don't watch college football. He made the, the referee made the crowd um, scoot back to the road. Please, 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 football please, 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 now important to during a tie game, they didn't. Did they give him a warning like twice, once, twice? College football is only beneficial just to play fantasy sports. Like, there's no, like, wait, you can bet on it. Who win? Most, 
even people who win multiple titles in college football, they can go into the NFL and like have a nothing career. Like to me, I just I don't I don't care care for it, and who gives a shit? And none of the players are getting paid, so mm. you I, just, I don't. Well, ex- except for all, sta- if you're like all state, they'll give you like benefits to a degree, but not like yeah, they obviously can, like yeah. NFL they, they, can, they can pay you now. They can pay you now. Yep. They pay yeah, you they now? get paid a lot of money yeah. now. If you're good, really? yeah, it five, just came into effect was it this season or last year. No, yeah, yeah, like if you're Division pay, One, if you're Division One, you, you definitely get something. Yeah. Nerdy, we know Arizona State gets paid. Now, yeah, up. they they have they have what they call NIL deals now, where all the alumni kind of have built up like uh, they built up funds to give the athletes. So every summer, the athletes can go into what they call now a transfer pool, which is the equivalent to like the NFL free agency, oh. and they can straight up just go wherever the hell they want to go. Like then go if trans. UFC want to pay. Or you go to the Canadian Football they League. Can go whatever. Trans. Yeah. They can go trans. You heard it from Jay Menace. Sounds like a really complicated process yeah, and- of getting money. I almost said something really bad. I to no, say no, no, no. <laughs> now you got Look, them- it's the <laughs> NIL does not stand for what you think it does. It stands for name, image, and likeness. Hmm. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Nothing on that. Okay. Cool. No. Nope. Anyway, um. Ha- <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, who who is excited for the, <laughs> the W the WWE branded fucking belts for NFL? Because I swear, if I have to see another advertisement for it, I'm gonna rip my skin off. This one, the la- the one last night or uh, two nights ago was so bad. It was so blatant. Like they're backstage, and literally the first shot we get of Roman, he's next to this Packers title. And like Paul Heyman's like, I wanted to gift this customizable WWE shop NFL Packers championship to you. And he's like, why? And then he comes up with some like, because this is the only title that LA Knight and the Packers will ever see. Oh. And it's like, oh, wow. It's so forced with the advertising now in WWE and it's really bad. Like it's not even just with the title. Like that was so stupid to have there. Like you could have that segment anywhere else, but yeah. you put it in literally the most important segment, like you know, storyline of the show. But then it's like I don't know what's worse, that or putting a pizza a Pizza Hut logo and you know a fucking cinnamon toast crunch logo, like during a fucking match at WrestleMania. Like That's something between Vince would have done. If, if Vince was running the book, he absolutely would have ran that segment and said, Do that, this made again. My, that made my skin crawl. Like, it was really bad. And, yeah. <laughs> like, to have save that segment for, like, uh, who who are the gay guys that are wrestling now as the tag team? <laughs> Pretty done. deadly. Sa- yeah, save that for Pretty Deadly. Don't fucking do that with Roman, who's supposed to be, like, the serious badass, and then, like, oh, so we can get our cheap plug for a fucking WWE shop belt. Which they're uh, only going to get, what, like a 5% increase in sales, which is not much. And, and also all those belts look like shit, too. Like, I wouldn't want one. I don't want one either. That's because the NFL put a big ass down payment down to, to make sure that they was a part of the goddamn deal. Don't get it twisted. Well, yeah, the, yeah, you can make a down payment, but, it doesn't, but like, artistically, artistically, you're still not doing a disservice a service for your audience that wants to buy these replica belts, especially when they look like crap. It's another reason why I wish that Rich Park was still around. It's a wrestling mm-hmm. business, and don't forget yeah. they're pretty expensive. They gotta promote too. something, yeah. It is funny though that um that it's like you know only a few years ago. WWE were like trying to start, were again trying to start up the XFL, uh, which was trying to be like kind of a rival to the NFL. But now, Dude, but now they're just um now they're just cutting another deal with them. The XFL Dude. at this point is like playing hot potato with garbage and just not well, wanting to carry it. They and merged with one- the USFL. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, they gave it to Dwayne Johnson. All due respect. Yeah, he tried to. He's trying his best, but honestly, it's just not. Dude, let it go. Let it die. It six, uh, I don't know. Really, hold on. Hold on. Really what are they gonna? Good. What are they gonna call it now? The X. It was. It was successful. USF. USXFL. No, it's rumored to be it a buyout. Success. I don't know why. Why do? Where's up? Why wasn't it successful before COVID? Well. Obviously, when Vince had had it and he was trying to get it out there, 
basically COVID happened and there was just nothing he can do. And then next thing you know, he's like, Hey Dwayne, you want it? Yeah, I'll buy it. Sure. Done. And their stadium yeah, like former, rolling out. Yeah, he basically him and his former wife, Danny Garcia, pretty much bought it and yeah, they run it. So there you go. COVID I don't know. I just think the world doesn't want NX or uh, NXL. Doesn't want XFL to work. You know, it didn't work in two thousand one. And then it didn't work because of COVID. I, I think it's just time to give up. This is the, this is the only thing that worked. Like the guy, like he hate me on the jersey. That was like the only. Yeah, thing that's the only thing anybody the remembers. That's the only <laughs> thing anyone remembers. He and hate I had me was that cool. jersey for a while. And Opie and, I, and, and Anthony did the uh, did the pre show. You're right. That's pretty cool. And they they, but, they said uh, that they uh, absolutely is, hated you know, it. There are rules that are in the NFL right now because of the XFL. And I, I like I, I believe rules is important, like the two point conversion. Um what? The uh yeah. Uh like uh video replay was brought into the NFL. It wasn't in the NFL you, before the XFL. Did you just say the two point conversion um, was added to the NFL because of the XFL? <laughs> He's incorrect on that part, but the no. second part he's right about. Yeah, I'm. I'm. No, I'm. That's I think not... I confused it for the video replay. Yeah, the replay. No, you're, you're right. You're right. right. With the replay, the you're wrong with the two point conversion. Yeah. Where did that come from? But it's something like the kickoff, the kickoff return conversion for, uh, like a. No, I, I listen, uh, let, let, let me help you, Nerdy. I'm going to help you. What, the biggest help was the production. The, the biggest thing, it wasn't the rules of the game. It was the production that changed. They started using the elevated camera shots, the end zone camera shots. They started using the video replay a certain way. So it was the production and the and like the filming and the rules that way that changed, I think. I don't think they actually changed a lot of like in-game rules. but like they, Correct me if I'm wrong. Filming was Correct different. Correct me if I'm wrong. This was added, I think, a little bit after the fact, but didn't like the XFL guys, like when they were on the field, like they had like the in, like the inner tube, like water spout. So, like, if they wanted to get a drink of water, it was already embedded into like their gear or something, like some type of device that they added onto their gear. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that That's either. Crazy. Yeah, beer helmet? In a beer helmet? I think those were around. No, 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 not a beer. No, no, not a beer helmet. Basically, like it was inserted with water. It was like some type of device. It was like, I don't know. I don't remember, but yeah. that's what I thought. Okay. Time. Yeah, go watch basketball. Yeah, okay. Go watch basketball. Thank you, Eric. Uh, no, I'm, Thank just, you I'm much, sorry, Eric. Ristava. What's, hey, Ristava, what's been up with you anyway? <laughs> Wasn't it amazing that... Dude, my, bir my birthday's in two days. I thought I was just coming down and just have like a freaking powwow with y'all, but apparently I'm the target, so... so no, you're not the target. We love you, Ristava. We love you. Everyone's Come the target. Do you hear what happened to Tommy a few minutes ago? Jesus. And Pacharo, he was <laughs> here earlier. Hey. Yeah, dude. By the, by the way, shout, shout out to my boy. That Tommy impression was so spot on. It was so good. Oh, that was that was really Tommy. What are you talking about? Oh, that was really Tommy. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, oh, Tommy. Yeah, my bad. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Don't break kayfabe. Do not break kayfabe. I'm pretty sure Mr. Pico is gonna. Don't Mr. break Pico's gonna shoot me up. Wait, wait, Donald Trump, are you there? I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> I we think need there's Trump. a legitimate. I think there's a legitimate beef going on between uh, Nerdy and Pico, and I don't think mm. they can resolve it like me and uh, yeah. me I and it's D Welsh. Did. It's all good. Apparently, D Welsh has beef with me now. I don't know why. I try to like make peace. How do you like it? Medium well, well done. Just chalk it up to like an always transy period. You know, it's always... Yeah, I get it. Nerdy, Nerdy, what's your yeah. problem with Mr. Hey. Pico? I I have no problem with Mr. I put a, I put two hours of work into that alpha or beta thing, and I got offended because it got shit on the first fifteen seconds. But it was good. So I'm no, sorry yeah, that no. I listen, he it. really did try to ruin your little segment. He wouldn't even let it get going or try it or anything. He did shut like, you down. Don't you want to say something to him? Don't you it was kind of bullshit, I, but I think you did a good job of you know shitting on him and then steamrolling it anyway. You know. Well, you think, though, Thank you. I think you did good. Pico does have this like this smug I'm still nature. You know this, right? He does have this <laughs> yeah. smug nature, and I bet it really makes your skin like your your skin just crawl thinking about it. Like your blood is boiling yeah, thinking it, about like how this guy no, does have this idiot. pompous attitude, but he sounds like he's a buck tooth retard. You know? Hey, TSS is here. <laughs> it makes me wish he had a hot daughter. I could have yeah. sex with. Uh... 
Oh, By the God. way, I hope, I, I hope Dork Knight's okay. He's, I think he's still in the hospital getting his what? hip. What the hell happened to Dork Knight? What happened to that motherfucker? I think he was getting a hip, uh, like a surgery on his hip or some shit. He said yeah, that. because I broke it. Oh, I kicked Jesus. his ass in the parking lot. He, he probably broke it riding his daughter, but uh, listen, he's probably going to be all right. <laughs> we'll figure it figure out. That. You did not just say that. That's all. It's you a sex trophy. Me. Keep in mind, it's a sex <laughs> trophy. Tell me. He did <laughs> not just say that. <laughs> I could have swore they were talking about uh, pig skin in the, the backyard. Game. Right. Get this trending, folks. Dickhead dog night. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that he did this, does not rape my daughter. Tell me duck it, duck he it, did quack, not quack. just rape duck that. It, duck it. I might have to go in the ring, and I might have to beat his ass. I'm going to tell me he did not just rape that. Oh, man. That's Book the thing D. about John Cena, man. You can boo the man all you want, but every time he come in, in the ring, he going to bring it. Let's <laughs> all Oh my God! Just, take it easy, God, Booker T. We don't here. want Booker T. to die on the show uh, tonight. We want to take it easy. You know, no dead Booker it's T. Not- By the way, thanks to Ghost from the Coast and everybody else. We did throw up the goal for everybody who wanted to see that three hundred dollar goal hit. We're at one eighty five. We're getting close. And uh, look at Nerdy Man, Nerdy. If you had to pick Jesus or Muhammad, which one are you going in a boxing match? Keep in mind, I will dox your house to radical terrorists. Look, um, <laughs> Muhammad is used to slapping up girls, while Jesus is used to slapping up a uh, hose on the street. Well, so I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus on this one. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to let Jesus uh, just give me the finger poke of doom, and I'll now just you're take double three dead. Count. Now you're double dead because you just insulted the prophet, and you said Jesus would, would win, which is a secondary insult. Like you will Not be, necessarily. you're going to be cut into pieces. <laughs> you will be cut into pieces Jesus. by the by the end of the week. <laughs> well, Jesus is also in other religions, but he's he's actually a prophet in the Jewish religion, right. not a uh, not. A but I'm not God. talking so about really, the Jewish so they religion. Acknowledge him. They acknowledge I'm him. Saying, but I'm, I think he's also a, I think he's also a prophet. A prophet. I think a, he was also a rapist and a time traveler. What about that? Oh, wow, what bro. if I told you guys yeah, Jesus that I knew put- I knew wow, that bro. Jesus Christ went back in time to rape women of the of the early century of life. How about Take that? Your medicine. Somewhere else, dog. Let me yeah. tell you something. And now, what if I told you Jesus is in the year 7,052 billion and he's cornholing a sex robot? How about that? Go to sleep, old man. Take a nap. Take your meds. <laughs> crazy. Trump, you better oh, not be that's, talking that's, to me, that's, son. No, that's hilarious. That's hilarious coming from you, Mr. Anti-Mexico. You want to know Mr. something? Else? I now. live there. I uh, live uh, there. Great. I'm dealing with two motherfuckers. Hate. They all hate you. <laughs> well, guess what? They can make me a queso de la while they're across the border, okay? I'll be eating the nacho cheese chip bowl while sitting across the border, <laughs> watching them try to get in while they get shot by my border police. Amazing. Hey guys, Tom DeLong here. Tom DeLong, we really need to address the aliens, dudes. Can we address the aliens? I feel like I'm having aliens. Aliens actually exist, nerdy. They do. Wow. I'm not nerdy. I'm Tom DeLong, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! I want to kill myself because Luke, of you. Hey, hey, Trump! I was curious. You're talking about uh, chips. What were you going with? Doritos and what flavor? I was going with the Mexican flavor. Right, uh, the illegal <laughs> flavor. Oh, it's also birthday, my favorite. It into your mind. They're gonna be selling microchips to put in your kids' skulls, like it's Lay's potato chips. <laughs> you sound like Elon Musk. Chill out, old man. Go take a sl- go take a nap, okay? Don't be like Sleepy Joe. Hey, I like the I like how you can get like two or three words in as an impression, and then say, "Oh yeah, I can do this person's voice." Oh yeah. Who the fuck are you supposed to be, okay? 
Oh, this is okay. not an impression. This is actually the president. You this is really mildly, Donald Trump, good, dude. A mildly good Donald Trump impression that he oh, does. It's a mildly good Donald Trump, Trump impression. Yes, I hear that many, many times. You stupid I, motherfucker. Oh, come yes. at me. Come on, come at me. <laughs> oh, I like the part. I like the part where you interrupt conversations to get your impression in. It's hilarious. Did you see his debate with Biden a couple years ago? You interrupt the whole fucking I, oh thing. Oh my god! I was just gonna say. I, I love steamrolling. <laughs> Ask Stormy that Daniels. Is true. That is very true. Hey guys, this is um, Tommy. I know what our conversation has nothing to do with this, but uh, Joe, can you send me one hundred fifty dollars? One hundred fifty dollars. Happened on the show. <laughs> Why does is that Luke hey. doing that? Yeah, that was Luke imitating. That was an imitation of an imitation. That sounded like that sounded man. like Yoda tr- like being or raped Peter. by Tommy. Now I'm talking like now I'm talking like Jake the Snake. Yeah. <laughs> Luke is so like he's so, <laughs> Luke is so. Let me tell you something. He's so jealous that this other guy can do all these things. Now he's trying to do more than he can do. That's what Luke's but doing. Wait, 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 wait. I got to interrupt you guys. I'm going to steamroll all over you guys. This Luke. Luke is an amazing guy, okay? He got plenty of impressions. He, he impersonated many years ago a Canadian fuck that lives in uh, Minnesota or some shit. He sounded exactly <laughs> like that. So wow. He's a pretty good guy, okay? Well, it's I like if, if, if impressions could have a pissing contest. It's like, exactly. It's like... If- it's like it's like if meaningless references to the past had a pissing contest because me and Novanix so- <laughs> both do this all the time, and you can add Omar to that list too. We we just it's hey, do you remember? Do you remember that time like Tommy said that thing that was a lot funnier when it actually happened then? Yeah, man, it was. It either, was really funny. And either nobody knows about it now, time? or they don't. They're not going to know it anyway. <laughs> Was, was my Tom the long question that really that bad? Was it that bad? Yeah. No, it was just weird. It was just, you know what it was? Everyone else was doing good impressions and then you had to do one too and it was like this too much. That's what it was. What, it was, what was his impression? You know, yeah. What was his impression? It was terrible. Tom De- from Blink one eighty two, my Tom DeLong. Oh, I thought that was thing. like a, I thought that was an original character of yours. Like well, no one knows what Tom now. DeLong really sounds like, so like you're just kind of doing this Valley Boy like noise. Spiders. What yeah. do you yeah. want? Yeah. Yeah. Like, hello there. The like I can yeah. do. I can. Yeah. Do, I'm trying to do I songs. swear to God, let me tell you guys, I was in the back with Damien, and Vince McMahon said, "If you're not in that ring in the next five minutes, you're fired." And I said, Vince, if you interrupt me from sucking this trainee's dick, I quit. So fuck you. Wait, 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 Jake. Wait, you sucked the snake? The snake I sucked a, suck you? I sucked a dick in front of Damien. I sucked another snake off in front of my snake. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. I wanted crack. And he was providing me with crack. Boiler. What if I told you my dad was my mother? Okay. Oh, my God. dad beat the shit out of me. My dad beat my the tongue. shit out of me, and I fucked my own daughter. Eat my shot, tongue slipped around it. his dick. Get it right. I'm Snake the Jake. They had a snake crawl on my ass. I, I took a bath. And I ejaculated in the bathtub, and my daughter got in the tub. She got pregnant. I didn't rape her. The fucking cum was in the tub. Okay, J- I don't, Jake. I don't remember hearing any of this. I don't think you have to defend it. I don't know where you're. They. That's what happened, and a lot of people don't know about it. But here's the thing: it wasn't me. It that fucking cum was in the tub. Okay, okay, Jake. I'm gonna hang up on you, man. This is yeah. weird. Yeah, Jake. That's, uh all right. We really can't be saying those types of things on the show. Yeah. You know? That's weird. I, it's a family show. I'm sorry. I didn't even know about that, Jake. I'd I'd call your lawyer. Yeah, that Blink song, uh, which is, I miss you. That's one of the worst songs I've ever heard. What's that go life. like? How's that sound? The one with the and the spiders. Nerdy was singing it. No. Nerdy had what? Hello there. Yeah. From my nightmare, the shadow oh. from darkness of the god. Yeah, that was probably the yeah, last thing know, that they that they came out with that went on the radio, probably, and it was terrible, right? Yeah, it's horrible. 
No, no. Gosh, the hate for Blink-182 here. Want to die or something? Why are we talking about him so much? I don't know. They're they're going on a retirement tour. It wasn't all for a beta question. Why are they going on retirement? Because that one guy has cancer? No, so, yeah, yes and no. They just released a new song. um, And they... They just in Las Vegas there was this big festival called the When We Were Young Festival that had like it had Blink One Eighty Two, um, The Killers, Panic at the Disco, Yellow Card, every every band that you could think of that sounds exactly what I look like. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, I thought Panic there. at the Disco just disbanded like not that long ago. Yeah, they might, dude. Uh. They might have, but I think they were at this tour. I, I hated them. I thought they were just like a big announcement about like it. Like that? one of the guys wanted to leave. I don't Let know. See here. I'm Nobody look cares. Okay. I'm going to um, look at Picard. Picard? Okay, Picard Green, season four. Picard? Green Day, Blink-182, 30 Seconds to Mars, The oh. Offspring, Good Charlotte. Okay, Panic at the Disco wasn't there. So this was basically like but like how they had the whole thing. Corporate rise again. How they had that whole Sun Forty One. So how they had that whole rock metal thing that they just did, where it was like the the nineties to like two thousand two. This was like the two thousand fours to two thousand tens, basically. So you know what I mean? That's what they did. Yeah. And thirty exactly. seconds to Mars, yeah. by the way. I mean, bro, I would that. That that they haven't played in a while. Jared Leto, like the kill. Yeah, it's a great song. The Offspring. I haven't seen them. Fuck the Offspring. They fired their drummer because he wouldn't get vaccinated. I hope they fucking go down in a car fire. Jared Leto. Jared Leto is such a great actor, man. I mean, who didn't love him in, in Morbius? No, well that movie sucks. Fight Club is great. It made him more billion dollars. Uh, if, like, what, what, was his role, what was his role in Fight Club? He says like two things and gets the shit. He gets, he gets the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. No. Um. How about uh uh, uh the uh, how about, uh, uh, a requiem for a dream? It's great. Alice Byers Club. Okay. Hey, let's go up and uh, like, I'm gonna more, go steal my mother's TV more, again. Um, I feel like that's more really like you know kind of attributed to the fact that like uh Aaron Dar- Aaron Aronofsky is that his last name? I, I don't know. He he directed The Wrestler. Yeah. He's a really good director. So, yes. uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you could probably fill anybody in that role. You think you the know? Joker just, the Joker basically like, killed his fucking shit. So like he was like, "All right, back to music." Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was, yeah. It was, it's the fact that every role he does sucks. Like he's either he either plays like I don't know, an annoying douche like the Joker, or he just plays a boring ass fucking character that's so like miserable to watch. Like it's like Morbius, like Morbius is like a horrible movie, and him in it. I wouldn't go see it. You like, don't. I don't even need to see it. Like as soon as I heard Morbius, I was like, that's fucking stupid. Well, it's hilarious because it's one of the, the biggest meme in the world. Is like you know, oh yeah. Made seven hundred quadrillion dollars. Quadrillion More billion dollars. dollars. <laughs> what was the what was the big thing that people were saying? Oh, it's one of the movies of all time. Like More nobody. Billion dollars. More yeah. billion dollars. <laughs> like my favorite okay. part in the movie is when Morbius goes, "It's Morbin time," and totally morbid all over that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna watch John Cena's new movie. Zero percent. <clears throat> Fucking bomb. That one I didn't even. What is that? Like where he plays like a body straight to video. I don't know. It looks like Romancing the Stone kind of type thing. It it did remind me of that. It also reminded me of that other movie that came out with Sandra Bullock and um yeah uh, Brad Pitt and what was the other one? This has got Christian Slater in it too. Another cast man. Hmm. I can see I don't it. know. I don't really care either. Like I thought it looked somewhat <clears throat> interesting, you know. I like I I like John Cena as an actor, you know. Him he made Peacemaker for me. He was the best part he was the best part of Peacemaker. He was one of the best parts of, of Suicide Squad, the uh the second one. The second one. The um, best Marine. Yeah, that's for sure. Dude, the, Miz yeah. had the Miz Randy does Orton. not have the look the Miz does not have the look for the Marine, dude. 
Like Nor was Ted DiBiase <laughs> Jr. Hmm. He was the best. Well, Ted DiBiase, guy too. though, like you could buy Ted DiBiase as like a Marine. The Miz has like a derp face, you know. You could buy he him. Looks, too, he looks honestly, like, honestly, when Ted DiBiase as a junior, I could, I didn't buy it at all. No disrespect. Actually, yeah, no, disrespect. I, he actually committed fraud. So. Yeah. Can you I heard that he was terrible in the movie. I heard his acting was awful, but as like Dude, a imagine face of Sergeant a... Slaughter as a Marine. Yeah. It's right from the same movie and same seriousness, but it's Sergeant Slaughter. I'll have sex with you, Maggot. Whoa, fucking lame. I'll have well, sex with you in the bathroom. I want my sex with the uh I don't want to spoil the Marine series for everybody, but um what was the one with Becky Lynch in it? Like be- it was Beck Becky and the um, whore. Shawn Michaels. Isn't it? I don't know if that was the fourth one or the fifth one or the seventeenth one, but <laughs> randomly, just randomly, in the middle of the movie, the main character, Miz, who's been in the movie for like three or four movies now, just dies. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> and it's like the most it's like literally the most anticlimactic it, like it was like the second it was, it was the second installment of the triple X, basically. It was basically Vin Diesel's character dying off and he just happened to have Ice Cube, but then he comes back later. Titular character, the Marine, and he just dies. And then, like right. the, rest, the rest of the movie, I don't even know who's who's the main character besides him. But that movie, oh my god, bro, that was that was a barrel of that was a barrel of laughs when I watched it, and I was pretty drunk too. So, it's funny the girl from the girl from Twelve Rounds is the same girl from Walking Tall with the Rock. Do you have nice tits? Okay. Yes. No. She was in Strange well, Wilderness I, with um. Wasn't she a little girl? All them guys. There was there was a period of time for WWE home releases where like twelve rounds had a trailer like in every DVD, no matter like even if the movie was made in like two thousand nine and the DVD you were watching was like from two thousand eleven, you would still get the, the twelve rounds trailer in the beginning. And I I always thought like wow that looks like a really interesting movie. And I never watched it ever. Did I, can anybody comment? Was it a good movie? And was the no. sequels with Randy Orton and Dean Ambrose in it at all good? <laughs> One saw them. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I was probably too busy jerking off to Paige's uh, leaked videos. What about? Did the- any of you guys see the Five Nights Nights at Freddy's? Oh hell yeah! Okay, now you're talking, nerdy. <laughs> Hey, by the way, ABC News what just a- ABC News just tweeted <laughs> ABC News just tweeted this out six hours ago. Funny enough, before Matthew Perry died, older adults who received last year's COVID booster and a high dose version of the flu vaccine in the same visit may have a potential increased risk of stroke, according to the new FDA funded study. Jesus. However, experts urge these results were preliminary. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, ain't that bottom bitch. Ain't that weird. <laughs> ain't that bitch. Go well, fuck around with your body some more. I'm I'm worried I'm on I, I just can't believe Matthew Perry's dead. Like it's fucking crazy. Cause you know what? He's he was the best character on, on Friends, dude. He was hilarious on that show, and I know he was all drugged up for most of it. Hmm. But man, he was so fucking That's why he was funny good. and what was yeah, what's the yeah, uh yeah, Chandler? What was the cause of death? Muppet face. Well, well, drowned in a, he drowned in a bathtub. A glitch. Due to a cardiac arrest, though. Glitch. Oh, okay. He had cardiac arrest <laughs> in a jacuzzi. Yeah, actually, Nerdy, Nerdy brings up a good point. One of the reasons, the speculated reasons of why he died was suicide, and we think the reason why he, he killed himself was because he wouldn't admit to just saying, hey, I, I didn't glitch, I actually just stuttered. <laughs> Mm. It was his last match. It was, it was his last match. But hey, you know what? That's just how the wrestling business goes. It is <laughs> my last match. Glad to see. Hey, this is this is show this is show business, kid. You know that's how it goes. Tommy, I'll give you if Tommy's still listening. Yeah. I don't know if he's here. No, I'll, Tommy, Tommy, if you're listening, I will give you a hundred dollars if you say if you say please rape me, Joe. I swear to God, I'll do it. Please rape me, Joe. Oh, wait, one more time. I, I need the money, Joe. I need a new mask. Halloween's coming up. Okay, Tommy. All right, you said it. Can you say it one more time, though? 
No. Oh, what? come on. I'm giving you $100, Tommy. You can't say it one more time. I'll give you 100 bucks. You're going to clip it, Joe. You're fucking clipped, I can already Joe. clip it now. I can clip it. Right now, I can already clip it, but I just think you can do it. Well, I'm going to clip your dick off, Joe. All right, I'll tell you what. You do, you do it again, Tommy. Tommy, you do it one more time, and I won't clip it. How about that? Fuck you, Fuck Joe. You, bro. Oh, come on. Like, I tried to. All right, well, whatever. Oh, well, you know what? I'm taking back the 100 bucks. How about that? Well, keep your prostitute money. I'm not your slut, Joe. <laughs> all right. Hey, sure, yeah, right. But then tomorrow you'll text me like, oh, please give me money, Joe. And I don't even have I, money. I mean, I do need breakfast. I, I do need breakfast, Joe. You need breakfast? How much is breakfast? When? Well, let, let, him talk. Breakfast? Let, let him talk. What? No, no, how much is breakfast? I'm curious. Where is breakfast? Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. What the fuck Jesus. are you talking about? Where are you eating fucking breakfast? Gold crown. Jeez. Joe, uh, you should see Ew, my tweet right. before I eat to find out, Joe. All right. Well, I'm that's, just that's right. He loves golden corral, right, slob? I... Oh, you love it, fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> what? I... I didn't say anything crazy, slob. Yeah. You're a blob. <laughs> On a line You're, a... Note, yeah, yeah. You're a blob. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what Tommy oh my would say, too. Tommy w- really would say that thinking he's got one above you. Like, yeah, yeah well, you're a... You're a blob. <laughs> You're a blob. I would like to mention <laughs> when Rostafa asked how Matthew Perry died, I immediately made the joke that he stuttered to death, and then I believe Pico said that he glitched to death. But also, two people in the chat, Mastodon and Luis Money, both typed out simultaneously, he stuttered to death. So it seems to be like that is the cause of death for Matthew Perry. He did not die of cardiac arrest. It was a stuttering event. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Talks and, and what he was like, what he was saying before he died was something about like AEW or something, <laughs> something about wrestling. That's the wrestling. Hot job business. Yeah, it's not the jungle. Big Jack Perry brings his ashes out to the wrestling match and does like a ashes on a pole match or something. Yeah, Luke is fighting Matt in your house. Look at Rostafa's camera. Could you could you send that money to me, please? I could use it. Will you stop asking my other co-hosts and friends for money, Tommy? What the fuck, bro? Why don't you go ask your mom for some of that fucking money from selling the cabin? I'll probably ask your mother, Joe. What? I'll ask your mother for money, mm. Joe. Why would you? Well, why would you ask? I bet you would. You'd ask anybody for money. You have no shame. This is crazy. Tommy, does it upset you that people like Bacharo more than you? Who's Bacharo? The oh my god, the retard guy that was on here earlier with the hair—he looked kind of, kind kind of, kind of good looking, but he's so retarded it could never work. You see the Mexican bullfrog? <laughs> I was thinking, dude, like Kinda. his manager, like man, because you know he says that his manager like flirted with him. She probably like was flirting with him before he opened his mouth, right? Like. Oh, hey, what's going on, handsome? And he's like, yeah. and, uh... <laughs> then the next thing you know, he doesn't know how to use a dick at all. He's like, what's this? Uh, I... Yeah, he just kept staring at it. <laughs> right. Said, fuck this. This guy don't know nothing. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for it to go up. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to go up. <laughs> Bro, that is too funny. I'm playing the uptown game. Yeah. The up, up, down, down game. Up, up, down, down, left, right. Speaking <laughs> up, up, of down, games, down. I do have the toucher teacher terrorist. What? So, anyway, um, Rostafa, what down. did you think of WWE SmackDown last night? <laughs> Honestly, there were just parts that was kind of cringe for me, but again, the ending with LA Knight was pretty good. Not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited mm-hmm. what they're doing with LA, but. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's too soon. You really. So like... here's the here's the million dollar question. Here's the million dollar question. L.A. Knight after the loss at Crown Jewel, does he stay hot or does he fizzle out? 
I think it's because everybody kind of knows he's going to lose that we still are going to, like, say, like, we're, we're still going to root for him. Like, I'm definitely going to cheer for him still. But I am still, like, I am thinking of those casual fans who don't, you know, those, although they are kind of scarce nowadays, there are fans who still think that this is real, you know, <laughs> like the little kids. It's so, still real um, to me, damn it. I'm just wondering what they're going to think, you know? And also, people have brought up the point of, well, they did this with Drew, they did this with Sammy, and they've done it with a few others where it's like, this guy's really, really hot. They don't they don't pull the, the trigger with him. They have him lose to Roman, and then they get squandered for months and months on end. And I really don't want to see that happen with LA Knight. You know, like, this guy right now is, without a doubt, the biggest baby face in the company, and I don't think he should win because I don't think story wise it makes any sense. But at the same time, it's like, does he really need to lose? Do we really need to have Roman have the same fucking match again? Because we all know how it's going to end. And maybe, maybe they, they are Look, planning on right, doing something 100%. different. Maybe they are planning on something, doing something different because we all think it's predictable. You know? But yeah, but they do this. Them, every, they do this. They did this with Sammy. I mean, the exact Basically. same thing did with Sammy in his hometown, by the way. And he was white hot. Could they put the belt on him? Yeah, but would you, that wasn't the story that was going in the mania that they wanted. We all knew that. But with L.A. Knight right now, and this is no disrespect to Sammy, I feel like L.A. Knight is hotter than Sammy was even when the initial run was going on. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy was, was really hot back in February because of the whole bloodline thing. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't LA Knight got super over pretty much as far away as possible from the from the fucking bloodline. And and that's the thing. Sammy was hot because of the bloodline. LA Knight did it all on his own. And that's the night and day difference. Yeah. Um, and I can tell everybody is loving this conversation. Why LA Knight? No, no, no. I want to ask one question. Um because LA Knight reminds me of Elias Sampson from 2018, where he was like 2019 maybe, where he was so over, he would come out, all it took was one strum of the guitar, and he and the crowd would go nuts. And uh, he got one opportunity, and then just after he failed, he was done. And he was I, never over as much. That's why I don't as... invest in Elias. Uh, yeah, Elias is never I over as much. Don't call Steve Austin. Yeah, but like, there's a difference between being a comedy character. Like Elias was always like a, was treated as the comedy character. Nobody viewed him as anything more than like a gag character or like a gimmick character. L.A. Knight comes off like he's an actual like star. You know what I mean? Also, the booking for L.A. Knight has been so much better than Elias. Like Elias. Like you said, he had that one opportunity and then he fizzled away, you know? I, I don't know, like, that, yeah, and that's not me trying to shit on Elias and be like, oh, Elias was never over, because he was very over, but I don't think you could even compare the two. Like, get see the reactions that LA Knight is getting every fucking week, and the reactions that Elias was getting, like, sometimes they would be amazing, and then other weeks they would be kind of whatever, you know, very middle, mixed bag, you know? Yeah. Also, when be- he was... Yeah. Sorry, I was just gonna say when he was doing that whole thing, that was probably wor- during one of the worst periods of Raw. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. I might just be thinking of his peak, like, cause there was like a solid three or four weeks. I feel like where he was like no guy as far as pop, but um, uh, but the lead up to that was very rough. And I'll I'll go back and try to see what I'm talking about, cause he had one feud that was pretty memorable but I, I you're right it, if la Knight's doing that every night as he's coming out and it has been a couple months that he's been hot so that is a lot less uh or a lot more than elias i mean he's over cody is obviously over jay is really over too like you know what as much as as people complain about the wwe there is a lot of big baby faces right now that you could make a legitimate argument of why that guy should be the next uh, WWE champion and why that guy should beat Roman. You know, and you know who isn't one of them? Seth Rollins. <laughs> yeah, dude. Burn Fuck it hard. down. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw passive aggressive shots at the fans. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude. Could you, you guys feel like Becky Lynch aged twenty years in the last year? She had a baby. In a good way or in a bad way? She had a baby. I think she's. I think she looks sexy. Yeah. You know, but I don't like her hair. I don't. When, I don't like the whole like her hair being like Native American woman hair, but it's red. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, she, like, well, I mean, Maria she is Irish. Canellis so. came back looking. Yeah. Somebody just uh, tweeted Maria out. Canellis they... came back looking pretty good. What were we going to say, Joe? Oh, somebody tweeted ben. out that uh, McDonald's uh, went from looking like a fun time or something to like an, I don't know, like a, I forget, a middle aged adult or something. Go look at McDonald's is now. They like just look so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'll go to Wendy's. Oh, I went. Well, McDonald's now looks like there's like Star Trek, you know. They used to look really like they used to look like a, like a fun house. Now they look like a corporate office or something. What do you think about this? Yeah, then, Watch this. No matter how corporate and nice it looks, you go to the bathroom and there's a big shit waiting for you in the toilet. Right or a hamburger. Right. <laughs> now, why are these people not arrested? Inaction on the emergency, which is the climate crisis, is literally going to destroy lives in the next 10 to 20 years. It's going to be mass crop failure, mass drought, mass starvation, and because they're doing nothing, we are forced to cause disruption to make them listen. I don't want to be here. This is, you know, not what I choose to do with my time. But I feel it like is I'm what you right choose to do with your time. Are they banging? They're like breaking the gas that. machines. Also, got your math wrong. Got a lot of years, but still. And I'm doing this because. The she incriminated herself. Like a plastic Lego hammer. Where are they, by the way? It sounds like I... somewhere in England. Oh, okay. If it's in England, then I don't give a fuck. You. All, all of you can go stab each other. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all going to be at war anyway. Because of, England, because of England that we have all these fucking snobby opinions on wrestling and people saying, you know, Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay really can go down as the greatest wrestlers of all time. Fuck you. So something Cunts. happened to Brian Danielson How the other day you... when we were watching uh, Dynamite. Did you guys see Dynamite. Brian Danielson get injured the other day? Again? Okay, so I, apparently maybe you guys missed it. I don't know, but he I was watching Dynamite, and out of nowhere he like grabbed his eye all weird or his face all crazy and rolled to the side. It wasn't working? Not that I know about. It looked like it was a, something real happened to him, and so I'm trying to figure it out. Um, Interesting. And um, like like I didn't know if it was a work or not. Extremely, You work an extremely dangerous style for no reason at all. Um, okay, you'll end up getting hurt. So I have the report here. During AEW collision this week, it was revealed that Daniel Bryan broke his orbital bone during Jesus. A dynamite. Oh, so they squashed the idea. One of those. Uh, so Daniel Bryan is injured. Those... He's really injured, and he broke his orbital bone, which is. He can wear an Undertaker mask now. Yeah, you that's... think it was during one of those spots where he hits somebody with like twenty five headbutts and and nobody sells? It might have been. I I couldn't. I was trying to figure out where he, where it happened. I couldn't figure it out. But I mean, no one really talked about it at all. And I don't know. They're gonna celebrate sixty nine next week. What was the name of the... been living under a rock. They are the acclaim. I am Daddy Ass, and we have been trios champions for. 62 days! That's right! And next week live on Collision, it's a very special day for us because it marks 69 days as AEW. Oh days my god. <laughs> but I got great news. I'm sorry. Well, you know they uh, planned that out when they won the titles. You know they were he's like, we have to align these states. <laughs> he's gonna. 60 Damn it, Bob! What? This is a catfish. What? It's 200 followers. I sent him pictures. Pictures of what? Me! Max! Stop sending pictures. Go. Go. To the back. Man, this. Moral of the story, live on Collision. It's 69 days of the acclaimed, and we're going to celebrate with you in Wichita because everyone loves the acclaimed. Boo! 
Okay, that was weird. Oh my! That was weird, what? dude. That was weird. Are you sure not all three of them? Fuck, dude. Your... <laughs> it's like seeing like Barry Sanders do like fucking Vi- Viagra commercials. I love it's them, that. but that was kind of weird. I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't watch AW frequently, but anytime I, I see the acclaim, for this. very, very hit or miss. I think you get horny. Huh. Ooh. Okay. I just don't watch any of that shit anymore. A lot of people There's no of... reason to. What do you do, Garguts? I don't know I'm talking. I know I smell the Mexican. I smell the Mexican. What do you mean what I do? I fucking just jack off. Exactly. That's what I, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. I got dick burns. Okay. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Scaly dick burns? You go dry or what? The dirty dick burn. Oh, dude, that's what happens when you run out of lotion or spit. Ugh. I can smell the beans sp- from the phone. Oh, now Trump. You brought out Trump, uh, Gargots. He needs to see your green card. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Oh, One fact, it's not actually green. Come on, pull it out, Gagax. Pull it out, my favorite. Come on, Mexican. come on. Pull it out. DNA sus papeles. Here it is. 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 Anyway, have a good night, everybody. To heaven. The monetize this champion is getting off tonight. Uh, oh. ways than one. Oh, what? Tommy, you're interrupting Luke's speech, Tommy. <laughs> Jesus. Of Black course, Tommy anyways. is all about himself. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, why do you always make everything like- about yourself when someone else is leaving, then you got to say something? Why do you do that? I got a bulldoze over them, Joe. Yeah, well, you were a bulldozer, I'll tell you that. I love bulldozers. What the fuck is that? You, love you know, Tommy, I'm the monetize this champion, and uh, you're not, and you need to accept that. I right? was, though, Luke. I was a ch- monetize this champion. Yeah, but you're like one of the worst champions in history. Oh, uh, like, I took knows, pictures and black you know, Everybody knows you no, as the guy who cried like a bitch. <laughs> everybody knows you as the guy who cried like a bitch. Oh, what, where's your pal that, Luke? What, where is it? Does Joe have it? You yuppie heater. I have my own. I have my <laughs> own custom belt, like you. I have my own custom belt, like you. Only mine is like, um, like a real belt, you know, like that has snaps and anything and everything, and not a plastic piece of shit with Velcro, no Velcro. on it. Well, no that Velcro. piece of shit, I ripped it apart. Yes, yeah, we you all did. know you did. And you had a hissy. It was fit. very you had a hissy fit immature. Someone, someone yeah, made a, a mild. You oh, you're just me. We didn't, but nobody bullied yeah. you, Tommy. You did. You got upset and you broke it on your own. You, Joe, no, your fu- your your cronies keep targeting me, Joe. No, oh, you were leaving, Tommy. No, they don't. They've been target. These people have been. You've been being targeted forever. You know, and that's your fault. Have a good night, Joe. All right, fine. Oh. You're gonna leave. Fine, fucking leave. Go ahead, leave. To- Bye, Tommy. Go to bed, <laughs> sleepy fat. All right. Anyway, Fuck Luke. Tommy. I want to tell fat. you something, Joe. Isn't it Stop Joe wants to say something? Joe, tell him what uh, you told me about your deal with James Worley. No. Oh, Don't do that. Okay. Don't no. do that. <laughs> Denied. Don't do that. All right, everybody have a good night. The monetize this champion will return at some point or whatever. Um, and no, I will... say... Before you go, I will reach out to you about uh, Dragon Ball stuff we talked about uh, tomorrow, yeah. maybe. Ugh. Don't forget about it, bud. You probably will. Though. Yeah, don't forget about um, it so you can wait, keep not having sex with women. Wait, y'all, y'all talked about dragon parts? God damn it. Dragon, dragon parts? parts. It's, dragon really hilarious parts that, it's really hilarious that this fucking faggot who went, oh. wake up, wake up, because he won a re- Yang's recurve and talks about like gay ass shit like avenging Westford or whatever the fuck is. Stupid <laughs> faggot band is. I have Clifford's no idea. Rising or whatever, whatever song he likes, whatever. The this band, my favorite band, me, Stabbing Westward, not Avenging Seven Word. <laughs> What's it called? Avenging Seven no. of Nails or whatever? Stabbing Avenging Westward? Horse-curd. You never heard Stabbing Westward? Avenging Horse Curd. Uh-huh. <laughs> Revenging Horse Curd. Horse Curd. <laughs> Rostafa like with. Hey, Rostafa, turn the gas off, brother. All right, I'm getting out.
Okay. We'll see you. Fuck. How do I how do I hang up on? Okay, I'm off the show. Good. Make you hear me. Jesus. Now I can now I can admit to myself yeah. that I'm a homosexual. Okay. Oh. The youngest one okay. I saw. Go ahead, admit to yourself you're a homosexual. Let's play Stabbing Western for Luke. Everybody, play Stabbing Western for Luke. Yes, Luke. You're going to play Stabbing Western for Luke all night. Goes out to Luke Rojas. Dick going in your ass. Oh, uh, Dark, did you see my message? Mm. No. November 17th next year. 17th next year? Oh. Yeah. What are we no, speaking no. in fucking code? What the fuck is this? I know, right? What's your message? I didn't see it. I was, I was at work all day. Yeah, Iron Maiden in your hometown. Oh. oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I thought it was this month. <laughs> Run for the hill. Run for the Dykes. Dude, <laughs> that, movie, that song's about them running from the white men because they're killing them. That's great. So it's funny. Uh, but I did fucking fall asleep to friends last night and I woke up to Matthew Perry dead. So you killed him. Yes. See what you did? You killed I, him. You killed fucking Matthew fucked- Perry. What's wrong with you? I had to watch Friends. I was like looking for a Halloween episode, and I ended up finding a Thanksgiving episode, which was fucking hilarious. And just left it at that, and I fell asleep. I woke up, and Matt Perry died. And he died watching. Netflix. And I was like, "Work." That is. It's actually kind of weird because I woke up the next day. Michael Jackson was dead, and we were playing like "Beat It" and "Thriller" like the night before, like in our basement, just to screw around. And all of a sudden, next thing you well, know, he's dead. Even crazier than that, Garguts. I got to show you this. His last post on Instagram was fucking five days ago. We talked about this earlier in the night, but five days ago he posted from the pool he just died in. Five days ago. It's his last post. And he wrote, and and we said this earlier on the show, but I know you guys weren't here. He said this in the Instagram post. Oh, so warm, water swirling around makes you feel good. I'm Matt Man. That's messed up. Matt Man? First of all, Matt Man? Yeah, he calls himself Matt Man. It's like a thing. Oh, he did. That was a Matt why, really why is it? Weird. Why is it Maddie Perry four? Are you sure that's not? A, I no, it's really him. It's I swear to God. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, no. Did it happen? I just died. I just died. Don't do this. I I just died in my pool tonight. It must have been that back shot. I just died in my pool tonight. Shatner can save me. I almost spit my beer out, bitch. Come looking at my neighbors. I gotta drink, love all the flavors. I don't believe this pool is where I drink and it makes me warm I sent my assistant out for something like porn I know I'll be floating to the top and I I just died in my pool tonight it must have been something I drank I just died in my pool tonight oh All right, that's that's terrible. But no, no really, yeah. he did five days ago. He posted this, and now he died so, in that pool. It's fucking awful. I'm assuming I'm assuming that that song is gonna be on Patreon, and then like shout out to Cutting Crew. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah don't you think it's don't you? Technically, it's the jacuzzi part of the pool, but whatever. Don't you think it's weird that a lot of a lot of celebrities die in the tubs or pools? Yeah, it's like it's like dogs that go out to. It's like they know it's coming, so they just get in the pool. Like, all right. I mean, Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston's daughter. You had Aaron Carter. You had fucking Matthew Perry. Uh, you had uh, William Chandler's wife. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the list keeps going on. Do yeah. not get in the pool. It's very weird. Do you, guys know you got Natalie Holloway. Don't get in the pool. 
Don't you get in the pool. pool. It's a song. Don't get in the pool. Right. By the way, um, no. we are. Oh, what we, up, Casey's raw. Casey is raw, baby. Listen, we are. We have a goal of three hundred. We're at one eighty-five. Uh, if you want to donate, the donation link is pinned to the top of the chat. Super chats are on. Become a member. Let's do it all if you want. Donation links down below. I don't know. Do something crazy, whatever. But I don't think anybody's <laughs> gonna beat the ghost from the coast dropping one hundred and fifty bucks to make me wet. Hell yeah! What is on your wrist, bro? Like a oh, pole? this is I. Yeah, it's the worst part of the poison ivy. I didn't want to keep scratching. Oh. Dude, that? were you just like gardening outside and you just randomly got into some poison ivy that you didn't know was poison ivy? Dude, it was like literally. I it, it, so there was. I showed it last. Do you do you see the pictures I showed last week? Did you did you fucking like Dude, roll around in it? Or what? God damn, bro! It's a tiny spot. <laughs> no, bro. It's a tiny <laughs> spot in my yard. Like. And I did not know. First of all, I didn't know there was poison ivy in my yard. I went and looked. I searched the whole backyard earlier, earlier in yesterday. I searched the whole front yard, and, and I found it. So the poison ivy that I got is gone because I threw it out, not knowing. I thought it was like... So basically what it is is there's a fuckload of vines and weeds. And then in the vines and weeds were like two tiny little leaves of poison ivy. And I oh. and and those were the things that caused the problem. And also, I mean, you have the picture in my in my yeah, front yeah. yard at my tree. There's also three little poison ivy plants sticking up. So I found those. And so that's it, though. I searched the whole rest of the house, and those were that was it. But so I walked in it because it started on my foot, and then it moved progressively onto my chest, then onto my hand, my sides mm-hmm. of my arms. How does so, it? Were you scratching and then you scratched everywhere yes, else? Yes. And then... It had to be that I got it all over got my, you. it was all over my feet. But the thing is, I uh, didn't know about it. So for five fucking days, five days, I'm like, my, I have a rash on my foot. This is weird. And then suddenly it starts popping up everywhere. And it's because yeah. I was scratching my foot and I spread it around all over the fucking place. Well, it was kind of weird. It looked like you were a, that's, yeah, it looked like you were a victim from like Left 4 Dead 2 or something. The pictures you were posting yeah. was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, dude. When I when I saw the picture of the foot, I thought it was like a cut or something. Well, yeah, it's it, no. Yeah, the the I, best one was his community post. He posted posted this like burnt black foot, and he goes, "My foot's getting worse." Yeah, it <laughs> see, that you remember? <laughs> well, the other picture that's was so was horrific funny. that I was like, oh, "I'm gonna now post this because that's funny." Because people were like, "Oh my god, go to the ER." But see that that's what it looked like. It was just this little spot. This took me an hour. I cleaned this in an hour and it was like, dude, it looked like shit before. It was all trash, leaves piled up, and I just quickly shoveled shit out and pulled stuff out and that was it. And but Is that your front? Oh, yeah. that's the front. Yeah, right in the front. Yeah. Um, but little did I know there was the fucking Yeah, first I'm like, what is that gangrene or like did you just get a rash? No, nah, bro, if I had gangrene, I'd been running like, to the you know, hospital. You know it's weird, like you don't have it on your hands though. You have it in your nails. Yes. You know, you know, like, yes, that's what happened. It probably got under my nails. So every time I scratch got, anything, it's like uh, it came off. There yeah. it is right there. That's it. So like right here. So this is it. 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 That's what say clusters of three, bro. Yep. You don't know is. that. Dude, I would I would have never guessed. Right? It just looks like shit. Would... Nothing like and, and it was under the scots and the the leaves and everything. And I'm just like, oh, oh some sure. shitty vines. I would have felt good about doing that work, so I would have went and masturbated, and then I would have oh. got it all over my head. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I know it for oh, sure. I know. Uh, I'm surprised you Talking about dick burns? God damn. Well, I can't believe that. Get, yeah, getting that on your dick, and that's the only spot it was on there. It was like, how do you go to <laughs> Yeah, dude. Luckily, it hasn't hit my dude. It's getting really, cl- it. it's getting really close. I'll tell you what. It's on my ass. I have a spot on my ass, spot on my oh, thigh, God. and I I have a little tiny part dick, right in in my crevice of my pub area. What was that, bullfrog? Spotted dick, yo. You got a spotted dick. No, it's not. I don't think it's spotted dick, but it's spotted you know. Dick. That's actually a funny <laughs> goddamn spotted hand food. What oh, is dude. spotted dick? It's like sponge cake. Look at my oh, foot. His brother Cronin get dude. jealous for spotted dick. Look at that. That thing looks like fucking. I don't even know. It looks Why like you wet, Joe. Mine looks my. It looks better now. It? it looks way better right now. It does. It looks better than this. It looks like you were in a this, road rash this incident. Wet, like out of the shower. Yeah, I was like out, you got warts that, on your foot. Yes, Joe. that was out of the shower right there. Oh, by the way, did I show you this this video of of uh, Gavin with the 
with his uh, Halloween costume when he runs. Did I show you this? Because I thought this was funny. He put, he put on the, the Halloween costume and he starts running at my daughter. <laughs> yeah, you did show us this, oh, didn't did, you? Okay. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Brenna thought this was hilarious. Oh. I don't know why, but that cracked me up. You know oh. the thing is, Hell yeah. the kids nowadays they don't know about back in the day where if you're gonna get a costume, you get that really crappy uh, mask with the like little eye hole cuts, and like you sucking through hey. that little hole. Hole cuts? <laughs> no, I, I think you started. Oh, eye hole hey, cuts, uh, Casey. Hey, yes. Hey, hey Brad, really know what you're talking cuts. about? What? No, I said uh, Casey's a grand wizard, so he needs his eye holes cut oh. better. Oh God. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. That's business talk. I can't talk about that. Oh, <laughs> business talk. Yep, that's uh, that's part of my party that I can't talk about. So my but body. Are you part of my party, Casey? Of SmackDown. My body, my choice. No, it's part <laughs> of my party that I'm part of that I can't uh, tell people I'm part of. Or you know, Casey, I've been, I've been waiting for you to uh, give me some ribs from your party. You're in my party, that. aren't you, Casey? What? You know, he's... <laughs> what? Dude, Casey is, like, literally, like, just, <laughs> like, on... Hey, did you... I thought you were cleaning up your fucking room and moving it. What the fuck happened? Well, the house is pretty much getting empty right now. I don't have to move out until... The knife to start moving. Wait, my you're shit you're moving stuff. all that shit? What the fuck? What happened? Yeah, I think that's what. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm we're selling this house and I'm getting an apartment. Oh so. wow, that's gonna be so different. That huge gate. People that don't know, Casey has this massive gaming room and shit. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and you you started packing away a few things and you still have a shitload oh, of stuff. Just downgrading. Yeah, but I mean, most of the house is already done. It's just this room and my bedroom I hadn't done because wow. I'm not I'm not uh, able to start sending stuff over to the new apartment yet. So yeah, so, so what, are you gonna miss your what are you gonna miss your bathroom more? I know your bathroom's right there. He's probably stinking it up as we speak. Don't go in there for 40, 45, one, what is it, 35, 45 minutes. 35, 45 minutes, yeah. No, but the, the fact that you have to move all that shit, I don't, I, everything's going to say for Geely all day. Dude, like, you're like, don't even fucking touch it, I got it. Dude, this question already went across the country twice already. Oh. It went from, went to Oklahoma to Pennsylvania and back. So... That's nothing. Oh, okay, so then you got it. Are you gonna chip it individually or what? <laughs> like you bought it? Uh, I'm probably gonna mostly load a lot of it in my car, and then my brother's gonna help me uh, load some of the oh bigger furniture. Later. Just imagine Casey getting in a car wreck with all this shit. That'd be it. I feel bad for the car. I feel bad for the car. <laughs> I'm oh. just kidding, dude. dude. I, uh, I, uh, that's pretty cool, though, man. Your change is always, you know, change is always good, man. It's yeah, different, and it's, it's different, and it sucks, but it's good. In well, the end. That's what the At least it doesn't uh, blow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. I'd love it to suck and blow. <laughs> Wait. Wait, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called a blow job when it should be a sub job? God damn it. You remember, you remember um, uh, what was it, uh, Beer Fest, where they're like, <laughs> $1 to look at it, $2 to touch it, $5 for a BJ, $12 for a HJ, $100 a ZJ. for a ZJ. <laughs> $12 for a ZJ, and he goes, what's a ZJ? What's a ZJ? <laughs> no, there's, so a ZJ is a zombie job. And you like 
fucking sit on the hand and it's Wait, numb. That's, That's a real what ZJ thing. Is. Yes, ZJ is real. Oh my god! If you look it up, they say they talk about a few things. I wasn't planning on to. So, god. I mean, you were curious. No, not at all. I thought I was like, just... Oh hey, god! Yeah, you sit on your hand and then you masturbate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you I sit mean. on your hand, if you sit on your hand, it's more like a fucking. Ugh. I want to lick Casey SmackDown's head, dude. At the, w, at the new WWE headquarters, they had, did you see it that I posted in the in the uh, Facebook group where basically it was like the Smack yeah the SmackDown Cafe or whatever it's called like the oh the SmackDown it's called SmackDown SmackDown oh, I thought that was gonna be at an airport but no it's it's at the headquarters now it's at the new HQ yeah I thought it was gonna be at an airport I was like hell yeah because it looked like an airport fucking. Uh, Dude, that no new reason. that new facility looks so good. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, and it's and Joe, how long has it taken? Eight years to probably. get. <laughs> and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Vince still owns his own building. So, going from one of his buildings that he owned since like the '80s, going to this one, holy yeah. god! I wonder what he's gonna do with that the old headquarters because I it's mean, wow. It's gonna be a whole yeah. house. I got Stacy Keebler. I got, I got them all over there. He's gonna collect. He's gonna collect all his fucking security fucking uh, or secretaries. I wonder, if he, I wonder if he'll still own the old building, just for like if somebody wanted to rent it out. But yet he's to rent it. Income. Yeah, to rent it'd be it'd be fucking. Yeah, I mean that's a good idea. He still makes yeah. money off that, uh, off the building. I mean, let's be honest. Dude, the guy's gonna, the guy's gonna fucking work to the days die, to the day he dies, just like Trump. You know what I'm like they're gonna fucking keep making money, no matter what. So yeah, I guarantee you, he's probably gonna fucking rent that building out if he's owned it, if he owns it. And then what it's gonna be? He's gonna rent it out to fucking uh, Dana White or what? Dana, I'm gonna give oh. you the keys to the castle. What about oh, Dana that's... Black? All right. Go- doesn't All right, guys. I'm actually gonna call it a. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night actually because I got stuff to do in the morning. But yo, <laughs> Godspeed. Love y'all, man. Make sure you drink Godspeed. one for my birthday on Monday. Godspeed. Oh, it's your birthday again? Fuck. You only have one every birthday. fucking five I'm years. <laughs> you I never tell us what it's your birthday night. I was born on mischief night. Birthday. Oh, oh my god. Happy okay, birthday, so uh, so it it's Halloween Eve. Yes. All right. That's what's up. No wonder you're a fucking Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> what He's a Scorpio. Mean? What does that mean? It means that uh, you're sexy and you know it. It's, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I want him to stay. You man. were LMAFO. That's what you are. Dude, honestly, you do look like a guy from LMAFO. I'm sexy nah, and you know it. Nah, nah, not even close. Shot, shot, shot. I mean... You're almost it's there. all good. Gar- 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 I-, I appreciate the thought, but it's all good. The ship sailed. It's cool. All right. Well, I hope you have a fucking great birthday. I mean, if you're not going to be here on Monday, I'm pretty sure you're out there well, doing Joe, something. Joe doesn't really do that many reviews on Monday. Even if he does, it's like 30 minutes and he goes straight to bed. Well, he's got to um, work. That's why. Yeah, he's, got, he's got to work. Um, to thing. Well, yeah. if, if you want, if you want to party and fucking hang out, let me know, dude. Like, you know, yeah. you know you're always welcome. <laughs> And me birthday, Mike Pence dropping out of the race. I mean, at this he point, deserves it. At this point, honestly, anybody on either side of the aisle that's running, I mean, it's literally just picking up where Trump pretty much left off, and just you know, exactly, it's exactly. All it it's all. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. It's basically picking off where he was just at. Because Biden, I mean, it was a chess match. I get it. In terms of you know jockey for position and getting him out, but at this point it's just like we're already dealing with high inflation. We're already dealing with two wars going on, or at least that are public that are dealing with the United States. And yeah, we're we're pretty much in deep crap right now for like at least the next twenty years, twenty five years, legit. So it is what it is. But nonetheless, y'all, peace, love, and hugs, all that jazz. Mwah. Peace, love, baby. Peace. Take it easy. Yeah. Love you, baby. Alpha. There goes the staffer. We'll staffer.
God bless America and no place else. Hey, um, Nerdy, what happened to your costume? Um, so I, uh, Father Nerdy was going to show up, but uh, he got distracted trying to find a replacement mic. This is a new mic because I broke my other one. I did not have when, time to get When it. last week? Yes. Uh, actually, when I was doing Father Nerdy for the first time is when I broke my my uh, official rock band mic. Oh, man. I wasn't here last week for fucking Father Nerdy. Fuck. Oh, no. This was like a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, I've been using my Xbox mic in the meantime, but I finally got a replacement one. No, I remember the rock band mic. You, you, you brought it over. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Mic sounds better than what? <laughs> Dude, do not sleep on the rock band mics, people. I know that's a stupid. We shouldn't shouldn't be talking production, but the rock band mics know ex- they're they're the shit. They're the shit. Yeah. Anyways, um, we did play a few rounds of alpha or beta. Some of you guys missed out on that, but uh, it's pretty fun. I guess. Um. I what, also, what do you mean, like alpha or beta? I've never played this. You, you haven't played alpha or beta with us before. No, I've been. I work. I'm surprised you guys are still on right now. What the fuck? By the time a I get typical home? Mexican working. That's why. <laughs> the, funny thing is that, the funny thing is, that I fucking forgot my wallet at home, and instead of going out, I fucking came straight home because I was like, "I'm not gonna do." Don't lose your car, well, dog. Yeah, exactly. Basically, I just bring up a topic like uh, earlier tonight. One of them was like bringing your laptop to a coffee shop. And we argue whether that's alpha or beta. And uh, we discuss that. It's um, that's, you know, you know, we, uh, honestly, it depends on what you're watching on your fucking laptop at a coffee shop. Porn True. would be, porn would be Sigma. <laughs> Sigma. Smegma. Mm. It would be Smegma. Smegma. Oh my God. I forgot about that word. What the fuck? Dude. It's that uh that dick butter, but, duck uh, butter. Yeah, dick what, the, the first segment included questions like uh, Amanda. peeing in the pool is that alpha or beta? Um, That's one hundred percent alpha. Answer. That is one hundred percent alpha. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. Even what if, it's, it's, what if it's not your pool? That makes is that it even more alpha. I, Makes it a thousand percent now. But if you're pissing in your, um, your I'm just, door neighbor, I'm just gonna say, have you guys ever owned a pool? Yes. I, you I, I a, yeah, I've rented in a place that had a pool. No, not no, not rented. Is it your own pool? Like, no. and you peed in it. I guarantee I you. Know that, I do it all the do time, not, guys. Do not, I, it, you, I do know the term. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got I, a question, like... Doug. Yes. I got a question. What is Bully Ray doing in the call? <laughs> I assume you're talking about oh me. Oh, my God. You I almost, dude, I almost spit my day out of my fire, fucking... President Trump. You didn't have to do that, bro. Oh, my God. Hey, dude, was... Yeah, bully Ray's only here because he's gonna fucking bully Joe again. Are you gonna bully Joe? Yeah, yeah, Casey is raw. Bully Joe. Has the bravery and courage. The bravery and courage. This motherfucker can't even fucking goddamn pack up his own goddamn systems. I thought his break. name was Casey of SmackDown. I got it wrong. My bad. He's a. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no bully Ray over here. It's just, it's Bubba fat ass Ray right oh. here. I like it. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. I couldn't hey, tell Bubba. if it was El Scoibarn or Bully Ray. Yo, know, this, this guy is the only person that I knew that fucking ate a pizza while he was taking a shower. <laughs> like, Look, the a, I do that all the time, dude. I bring food into the shower. I'm a psycho. <laughs> like you're eating right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving right now. Oh, dude, I oh, know that feeling. Oh, Garguts caught me like I was in bed and had pizza on my nightstand, so he calls it nightstand pizza now. 
Yeah, nightstand. So I had the pizza chair. He has a nightstand. He, and this, at least my pizza was in a box. This guy woke up and fucking had a pizza just on the nightstand. No plate. <laughs> no plate. Just pizza. I don't remember a plate, dude. I don't. His nice plate was his belly button. <laughs> My and you're like, yeah, little little you're like, yeah I have a late night snack. You wake up and you want a snack. I go, how long has that been sitting on your fucking nightstand? Not long. <coughs> I mean, I, I just put it, I just put it there. I went on your call, and then uh, when I was done with the call, then I ate that pizza later on. After that, neighborhood. There was one time. Neighborhood. There was one neighborhood. But. Neighborhood. What the fuck was that? Uh, it was Luke. Uh, Luke said uh, neighborhood. Did he? It didn't sound like it. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Uh-huh. He, he used a word to describe the blacks. Oh, no. No, no. 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 Oh. He said. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, damn. I didn't... Neighborhood. Did he fucking. Did he lag on that? Because that sounds like it. Was underwater, and it's not like he was going around the fucking dark side of the moon when he said that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, did I say it? <laughs> My son's Anyways. out at the Five Nights hey, at Garvey, Freddy's. You're uh, the only one of us. Movie, and I know it because his cat's down here harassing me. Here we go. Wait, what do you mean? Your Did cat you is down there. Yet? Because Gavin's at what? his friend's house because they went to see Five Nights at Freddy's and he slept over. So his cat he is losing its mind. Like it. Oh, so he's like, I miss somebody. Yeah. Well, I remember dude, that. It's also on, it's on Peacock, too. So I'm going to be watching that. So Yeah, I know. Oh. You got to check your cock, Casey. You got to check yeah. it more often, okay? I used to go out with this girl that fucking had a kid that was into that. I didn't know it was like I didn't know what the fuck it was, and I saw it. And I was like, I don't really care. Was it a cartoon or what? No, and no, no, no. Have, have, Nova could talk to you about it if you want him to talk to you about it. He knows a lot it's, about it. Trust it's me. a game, uh, Gargoyle. Oh, it's a game. Let me go get him for you, Gargi. Hang on, hey Nova, get your. Finding these people with Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff. Hey, what is that? Jake the Snake in the back? I tell you. I got a snake in my ass. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I, I didn't even know it was a, it was a, it was a game at all. I yeah, just... Gargots, it's a video game. It's an indie video game that came out in 2014. Yeah, I mean... Damn. Damn. Like, yeah, I made a fan film of it. It's a horror film. Oh, I know that you did. <laughs> What, what were you saying, uh, Casey? Sorry. I think they had like five sequels of that game. I think. Uh, there's actually eight of them. Oh, really? Like, yes. I was a big fan of the first three, and after that, it was just like. It was like just. Repeating. Oh, it reminds me of this. It reminds me of. Uh, you ever seen Goof Troop when they fucking uh, have those weird ass. Uh, the Yoko Jokos and they, they're like. Yo! And it's like those fucking uh, robots that are malfunctioning. That's what it reminds me of. You should see yeah, the Chuck E. Cheese. You should see the fucking Pete's plush figures I have, bro. They're creepy. That's basically what, what? it is. They're animatronics based off mm-hmm. of Chuck E. Cheese and like Rockefeller. Yeah, it's it's pretty much now, like a ripoff of Chuck E. Cheese. Not but really that, a ripoff, but it. Now, did you <laughs> did you guys ever have a Pistol Pete's? It was a pizza place, and they had nothing but uh, uh, they had animatronics or whatever the 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 robots dancing on stage. I remember that it was and like then, pre Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, it was before Chuck E. Cheese. So Joe remembers it. God damn, you we had it all the way up we there. We didn't have it. What no, we didn't have them up here. But I just know, like I remember them, but I, we didn't have them. And they were the same. You still had the fucking gorilla playing the fucking piano. You still had the the cheerleader. Doing her thing, uh, playing bass. You still had everybody, and it was just different. It was just a different uh, costume that they were wearing. But oh, that showbiz that pizza. showbiz pizza as well. Yeah, showbiz, showbiz is what inspired yes. 
uh, the whole game. And yeah, everything. showbiz maybe what I was thinking of instead of Pistol Pete's, but yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, showbiz is the one that inspired it. Yeah, you know what? It was showbiz, and I think Pistol Pete's, and then uh, Chuck E. Cheese, and Chuck E. Cheese just ran with it with that fucking scary ass and ugly looking crackhead mouse. Let's take a picture, kids. <laughs> <laughs> The mouth is a crackhead now. I mean, look at him. He's all skinny. While well, beforehand, he was a fat He's fat. a skinny mouth. Chuck E. Cheese was the female <laughs> crackhead's pussy juice you found in the ball pit as a kid. Oh. oh. No. Hey, Joe. Is that, how I, is that how I got this lunch? <laughs> is that how you got your rash, Joe? What? I was thinking, is that how you got your rash? You went to the yeah, ball pit. I got my rash from Leah. Hey, oh. Joe. I, I got a question, Joe. Yes, Bullfrog. So it's, it's spooky season. Uh, when are you going to bring back the blunt and cunt pussy juice? Well, why don't you it's bend over and find never... out? Maybe oh. I should. <laughs> I'll eat your ass a while. Yeah, man. My grundo. I should run up to a neighbor's house and just fucking fuck the pumpkin and run. Oh, oh dude. I'm not going to lie, dude. If I, if I go to a... So right now, there's a bunch of fucking hot girls right now going on. I'm over here hanging out with a bunch of dudes, but a lot of hot girls are outside partying. And there's a, fucking, there's a pumpkin that I saw, and she's sexy as fuck, and I go, is it wrong that I want to fuck a pumpkin right now? <laughs> like, seriously. It's, you can fuck the yes. pumpkin, Gargi. I want to fuck that pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Make it a plumpkin. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, but uh, dude, love Halloween. They fuck it. The, the girls dressed in they're dressing in their underwear, and you're just like, oh, dude, that's your costume. What Jesus are you a slut? Orlando. Oh my god, horror was the costume of the night. What? And he stopped talking. What? what? What are you talking about? Right? Oh my God, Panzer! <laughs> hey, Joe, I want you to shove a pumpkin up my ass. Oh my God, Bullfrog! What the fuck's wrong with you, man? You know, every time Tommy comes on, you come on right after him, like all jealous and weird, like trying to sexually advance. I, I'm, him. I'm a bit, I'm a bigger draw than Tommy. Yeah, well, well, you might be right at this point. Maybe. I mean, he's oh, pretty you're, sleepy. You're just... Call him Sleepy Tommy. Now. I mean, I'm, I'm gay for you, Joe. When he means bigger draw, he means gravity wise towards yeah, be him. Be careful, your so brother's gonna get pissed. Your, your brother's he's gonna like a find planet. Here. Tommy's a moon, and I'm a planet. So, do you just turn into Bill Clinton, Frog? Anybody <laughs> <laughs> else notice that Bullfrog sounded like Bill Clinton right there? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my saxophone. I lost my saxophone in Monica Lewinsky's pussy. I didn't have relations with that woman. Casey, you still got a room full of shit, man. You better get packing. Oh, I know. I, I don't have to move out until the ninth, so I still got plenty of time. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good. I love. Oh yeah, man, I, I just. Dead. I would if I was near you, I'd help you move just to look at all the shit. <laughs> Joe, you missed it one time. Uh, he was uh, Casey was building a shelf, and he slipped on the shelf, and he f- so he put the shelf on the floor. He slipped on it, and he fucking ate shit. And then he fucking what did you do? You you private the video, you asshole. That's my <laughs> favorite part of you. I don't remember that, but I remember when you did it because you fucking hit your head probably. But I do remember when that one shelf behind me collapsed when I was doing a video. So. And then the ne- a few days later, like three days later, you're doing a video of you fucking rebuilding it with a new shelf. Yeah. And then, and then you you step on the fucking shelf and you slip. You put the fucking wood on the floor and it slid and you fell. And that was oh, the best video. I mean, what? this wood paneling floor... It's really slick, so it doesn't shock me if it really did that. So, and the funny thing is that you private the video and then you say, "I remember it, bitch." No, I, I, I honestly, I mean, I have no problem if it made like made me look bad. 
but I don't remember it, honestly. Oh my god, he hit his head and killed his memory. That's what I'm saying. You get it, Joey. He hit his head so hard he doesn't remember shit. Nice excuse. I think it's bullshit. I think he hit his head and was like, oh, let me take that down. Now he's like, oh, I don't remember it. Bullshit, Casey. Yeah. Come on. You did take it down, and we were going to use it against you. And I I, I should have fucking recorded it. Why would you it. use it again? I mean, it's not against him. It's just funny. Well, it's not against him. It's just funny as fuck. But yeah, I like think... If I fell down, like I'd want that. Sh- I've showed me falling down. I, I would love to have that. You know, it's funny. Dude, I would have oh, loved to have the fucking shit where I wrecked on the scooter every time. I would right. love that. <laughs> I still have the, the footage of the collection going down somewhere on the channel, but I had to go look for that. I mean, Yeah, I remember that. That, that was shocking because I remember I was doing a video and then in the background went <laughs> right behind me. I'm just saying, you, you definitely knew it. <laughs> you definitely knew it. I mean, it was just a coincidence when it happened. It was a coincidence? It's a video game collection business. <laughs> it's a little weird. It just went down. I mean, it was sagging. It just went side. down, and it was sagging. It was- yeah, I was sagging to one side, and then one day it just <laughs> went down. The second plane hit. Nine <laughs> eleven was in September, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. You gotta sound like yeah, me, I believe, Casey. Uh, one of our friends. Rip. Seven one. Mm-hmm. What were you saying, Nerdy? Um, I was we saying pretty much. <laughs> uh, dude, no, I was saying um some women are uh are very cool, but uh Casey, so if you're gonna what? if you would sell everything but one game, what game would it be that you would keep? Gosh. Isn't that that one Mary Kate and Ashley game? Barbie. No. (laughs) Was that Uh, just the gayest question ever? Yeah. I probably would keep my arcade one up machine. At least I'll still have. (laughs) No, it's been modded because it has over 800 games. Oh my God. Does it it have Frogger on it? Dude, Uh, that's crazy. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yeah, that's all. Uh, when I got this one, it was already modded. So I was like, yeah, I'll uh, pick that. Wow. So, I would I mean, be busy for hours with that. That'd be crazy. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. It has a bunch of of the classic arcade games, but not everything runs great as controls. But, right. I mean, it like I said, it still has more of the most of the classic games on there. So... You can't complain about that. But I sold I my most expensive game before, so for this cabinet. And so it, I it, match with a pretty hot chick. Oh, oh. he he froze. What the hell? <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> froze him in time. Hey uh, uh Casey, real it's quick. A, uh, hey, what's up? Do you have a pretty smile. Okay, so there you go, there you go. She, you, you froze. froze. Wow, you froze for yeah, like 30 froze seconds, really nerdy, and then you just started back where exactly where you had been. That was bizarre. <laughs> How bizarre. How bizarre. So, um, so she, I, I matched with her. She sends me this message. Um, thank you. After I, I send her like three messages, she just responds, thank you. I send her back. She has a picture with her, a dog. I said, oh, how old is your pup? Uh, it's really cute. She just responds back, it's not my I was house and dog sitting. My dog is nine. Where do I respond back with that? Like I know a great Chinese place uh for when the dog when the time comes for the dog or what do I respond to that? 
Is there anything Here's else? A... Is there anything else she can say about her profile? What's that, wrong like... with what she said? She was just cor- telling you, like, oh, well, that's not my dog, but I, my dog's nine. That's what the hell's wrong with that? She just give you the information about her real life. Just that's ask good. her what kind of dog, what kind of what kind of breed her dog is. Yeah. Ask Wait, her for black, you... white, Jewish, she... something like that. Did you say that she's Asian though? Race. No, this one's not Asian. She's old. She's thirty nine though. Jesus. What I'm 39. Will you call is, me fucking old? Uh, 39 is not old. And first of all, it, it's no, second no, no, 39 no. is not 39 is a race. It's not a race. What the, I said, what race? What, is she Asian? You go, no, she's old. She's 39. What was she white? Well, when I said no, I think that implies that she's not. Uh, she's uh, she's white. She's well, no, she's no. cute, <laughs> she white. I got you. I I won't dox her. She's a MILF. Oh, she's a MILF. She's a MILF. No, she got no kids. Whoa. Oh. She's, she's ready to pop off then. Hey, a girl like that? A girl like that? Hey, did, let me let me ask you something. Have you saved a picture and Google image it? Hell yeah. To oh, see, no. see if she's real? Yeah. Because she might be fake. I think if it were an Indian dude, their grammar, their grammar would be way worse. Uh, dude, just try to Google image it, and uh, you'll find out. Does that app have any sort of verification system that's actually good? They do. They do that. Like you have to like take a yeah. certain. Yeah, no, wait. Like, he's not even on Tinder. He's like on Friendster. Yeah, he's like meetfuckmenow.com or something. He's on Wangster. I'm on transonly.com. Finder. Instead of farmers only, it's transonly.com. That's the joke. You caught on. That's very good. Very good. You ain't lonely with transonly.com. And you got fucking nerdy there. (laughs) Thumbs up. (laughs) <laughs> I will say, dude, some of my matches definitely could pass on as multiple. Well, he his ass. He's like, friends only. That- <laughs> I that's think- what you're doing, man. You're over here you fucking know, around with the shit. Nerdy, do you want some advice mm-hmm. how to get a woman? Huh. Yes, Donald Trump, please tell me. Grab. No. Just use your fingers and grab her by the pussy. That's how you got to do it. And she's yours. Trust me. And you gotta have oh, money, geez. lots of money, lots of. Like, there you go. That's. I mean, that, J- I don't know if that'll work Jennifer for him, Donald. Muppet, baby, he might go to jail if he does that. Trying to, st- dude, Trump might go to jail. That's the word on the street. I'm not going to jail. It's fake news. Don't believe everything you see on the fake internet. Fake jail. Fake jail. It's fake jail. It's <laughs> fake jail. Okay. The one that's going to prison <laughs> is court. crooked. It's a fake court. It's a phony court. It's a puppet court. Sleepy Joe and Hillary are obviously going to prison. Okay, not me. Them. Can you ma- can you imagine if instead of actually getting in trouble, Trump just did a thing on sixty days in? Oh my God! That's, <laughs> That's great. great. Oh, dude, he's over here. I'm making twenty one. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. You yeah. motherfucker! Why you keep imitating me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm working in the kitchen. It's okay. You're going to get yeah, your green. Hey, 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 being a Mexican guy. Get back in the kitchen and make me some tamales. Make me some tamales, motherfucker. You got me there, you fucker. Fuck you. Taka Caracas. <laughs> Go 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 go! Put on your sombrero and become a mariachi and sing me a song, Gaga. It's okay. Oh my like God! You know how many times I've actually done that. <laughs> yeah. So what? Hey, what, happened, what happened? What happened? I thought this was the Halloween episode. See, Joe, this yeah. is what happens when you have a Mexican on the show. They're an easy target. A very easy target, okay? I really didn't do it, it, a Halloween theme. Yeah, that's true, but I'll probably just yeah, do Halloween why on not? Halloween night. Uh, well, I, Panther, I got a very simple question, or not an uh, answer for you. And I'd say, I was going to do that, and then I just kept continuing with my life. 
I'm more asking about Joe. Why didn't Why didn't you promote that? And then Nerdy doesn't wear anything either, so I'm like, fuck. Well, he yeah. wait a minute. That means that Panzer's in his fucking panties right now. I... Jack, man. Well, Jack, did, did you, you wear a costume? No. Panzer's got no... a lingerie costume. Because no one on the show did. I was going to wear my shit, and then I was hoping everyone else was going to be dressed up, but I guess not. My costume's not ready, damn it. <laughs> and I'll tell you this much. I'm fucking broke till fucking uh, till Halloween. So I gotta you already have your fucking... costume. Gotta get you already have your costume. No, you're I'm a field a worker. So put, on, put that, on your costume. Okay? Just get that bandana. Come on, man. Field work. Another year. All right, I'll go get Jack. it. There you go. <laughs> Simple as that. Jack, you bring up a great point. We're going to do next week. I will dress up in my Halloween costume, even though it will be after. It will be a Halloween after Halloween Halloween. Well, okay. no, I mean, Tuesday night I'll have Rage, so Tuesday night Rage will be Tuesday night Halloween Rage. But a lot of people are doing things on Halloween That's, night. You're probably right, but, you know, fuck it. Because I, I will be. It's all right. I get it, though. Let's do a pre-recorded episode, Joe. <laughs> it'll show a, uh, your sex tape, Donald. Yeah, exactly. C- come on, leak the sex tape already. I've been waiting for you to leak it, Joe. He's so good. You got to grab her by the Mar-a-Lago. No, it's me and Casey of SmackDown. We're tag teaming a hot blonde. It's amazing. Trust me. Okay, so earlier in the chat, D. Welsh was saying something about the main shooter. He was saying that he uh, he had got some hearing aids or whatever, which I'd heard about. And then uh, that he uh, targeted those deaf people. Um, I cannot find any... St- online article that correlates that correlates with that story so i think yeah what i had I heard would, is that he heard that he heard people were talking about him he could hear people talking shit about him uh but i but, think i think that wow. just has to do with his, well, he, his brain he said in the chat d Walsh said in the chat i just i just want to know if this is true or not because I mean, he just makes it even more fucked up because he shot a bunch of deaf people but he made it sound like he was targeting deaf people but to me, it just sounds like he was just a crazy motherfucker. So, I no, I think he I got a hearing aid, the... and then he thought people were talking shit about him. Wow. But he, but he, everyone, yeah. not not yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, just kind of like right. I think he was going schizophrenic, crazy, and okay, you know, it just it played into it a little bit in some way. Okay, because I tried looking it up, and I can't find anything else about that. Yeah, we but don't know him, though. I like, mean, I'm just targeting. Yeah, so. I have no idea. I'm just guessing that. Because the report said that he he heard people were talking, maybe talking shit about him or something, but it's probably well, just he, comes down to he's, you know, got psycho, psychotic, uh, whatever you call it. Um, do we do we know what kind of uh, rifle he was using? Like, was it semi-auto or? It looked like some kind of AK, to be honest. It wasn't. No, quite... that's <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I... bro. This is the guy with the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. No, I mean it looked like a small no, like it, it wasn't like, an AR. It was not an AR and it That looked... was a javelin. What? <laughs> that was a javelin. No, if you even know what that is. I don't know what that I, is. I, I'm, well, I'm just curious because he was a firearms instructor. I just didn't know what kind of because I didn't know what kind of you know firepower he had access to and if he if he used that, so yeah, I, I don't know, man. I have yeah, no idea. I couldn't even that. tell. I couldn't tell, bro. I thought it was a fucking AK. I mean, I was like, oh, is that in some kind of AK? I don't know. It's, it's looked too small, though. Let, let me look it up. Yeah, I think, you know, at least if he was targeting the deaf people, I that mean, that's what I want to know. It's up. That'd be crazy. It's definitely fucked up. But it's also like. Would you prefer that he targeted people that could hear? Because maybe but, he saved lives by targeting other people I'm, that couldn't. I, I don't hear. think they were deaf people. I I don't know why that. But he he went to to two different places. I could understand if I mean I you know, but I could understand if if he was trying to do something to a certain group of people and he went to one place, but he went to two different places. So I don't understand how that. I, how that works. I, I don't. Apparently, it was people that were talking shit about him or something like that. That's what someone said. I don't even know where that comes from, and I don't even think it matters. He just, but it, it 
I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah, know. that looks more like just like some AR type rifle. Man, he had a decent scope on that bitch. Holy cow. Yeah, it's pretty Damn. weird. I mean, you would have had to come up behind him. That's why the guy who tried to knife him died, I think. But Yeah, he had a like a flashlight or something on that too. I I don't think he's wearing any body armor, so he obviously didn't care about living, so Yeah. He probably figured I'll or die did... doing this or I'll have to go kill myself. Did he catch him alive or dead? Jesus. Jesus. Trump actually has him in his basement right now. I, I don't know if you knew that, but they've already flown him all the way back to Mar a Lago and his whole team is torturing him in the basement. Isn't that right, Mr. He's Hillary? locked up in my basement. How did you why why did you leak it, Panzer? You weren't oh, supposed to God. leak it. You motherfucker. God damn it. Imagine all the sex that uh, Trump's aides are having with this guy now, like with his body. Well, Trump, what, what, how do you handle a terrorist like that? Well, was he a Democrat? I think he was because he lived in Maine, but I'm not sure. You know. Okay, if he is, then then we're gonna. Do well, it's hard to say, Donald, bitch. because he lived in Maine, um, but he had guns. So it's like I'm really stuck here on on what he could be. He was in the Army Reserve. So and he was in the Army. Out. So Blood that doesn't. Was ment mentally unstable. Right, but that does, so that. He's a Democrat, then. He, he is definitely a Democrat. I don't know. He, I'm not sure. He sounds I, like he could be Republican, maybe. But here's the thing: Maine is kind of like that independent my, my zone. Internet. Pretty much. Who Where kicked saying, Who Joe? kicked him out of the car? Where, where's sexy nerdy? Where, where did nerdy go? What were you saying, Joe? God damn it. No, I'm just saying, uh, you know, Maine's a little bit of a, like kind of independent. You know, they're kind of weird. They're like woodsy Democrats. Like they're Democrats, but like very conservative Democrats. You know, it's very different. You know, in Maine. I mean, look at Steve, look at Stephen King. He lives in Maine. He's yeah, kind of well, crazy. Well, he's nuts. Yeah, Stephen is out of his mind. I I will say that. Anytime, anytime people say like Stephen King's name now, all I can think of is like, isn't there like that one scene in the book where like pretty much like a bunch of eleven year olds have a circle jerk with a kid? Yeah, it's very weird. And they have a huge whatever. orgy. I'm a like big orgy. Anytime people say his name, I'm like, okay, that's yeah, that's the guy who wrote the book where the kids all have sex with each other. Yeah, that's a. That's he's been to the not. island, Joe. I can confirm it. Feels like it. He's been to it. It's like, bro, I love I love Stephen King's books, but yeah, it's very when you hear his like rhetoric now online about being so angry and weird, you're like, wait a minute, like this guy's like, I I, I feel like my book hero is gonna become a, a pedophile real quick. That should be all the evidence you need, Joe. I mean, remember always look at the bigger picture. Think about like a lot of people around here say great things about Stephen King, but what if I wrote a book? where I, I wrote a big scene in the book where 11 year olds have sex with each other. Like, I mean, I just, I don't know, man. I, that's, I mean, people have done it though. I mean, they wrote, I mean, we've all been kids, so we all have been there in a way, you know? And so you, you know, somebody wrote a scene between two kids and they make love or whatever. And they write a scene and nobody questions it. Cause I mean, you know, it's, Part of life, and we grew up with that. But I mean, to write a big orgy with the kids is very, you know, I don't know. They'd probably send you to jail. Probably, they'd probably look at me. Yeah, but not Stephen King. He's a hero. He looks more like a villain to me. He looks like a crumpled up cucumber. He, <laughs> yeah, he does have a concerning He's face. He's got a weird say. face. But that's okay. You know, you just, you know, you'll move in the neighborhood. He asks you to bring the kids over. Next thing you know, uh, he's gobbling their grundles, you know? They go in the whatever. basement. He's going to be going down on the anuses, and then and he'll be locked up shortly after. So, yeah, Joe, yeah, what are uh, your plans for Halloween, okay? Tell me your plans. I'm just going to go out with the kids, you know, every year. It's fun to go out with the kids, walk around. Are you going to wear... Are you gonna wear a hundred and fifty dollar clown mask and scare some people? What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna walk around like myself and say vulgar things about the candy. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna act paranoid and follow my little one around so he doesn't get a hold of some Reese's, you know. Exactly. Make sure no Stephen King's try to snag any of them, okay? Exactly. Well, big news. Any, the creepy, pretty popular. any creepy Democrats? 
I got a question for Joe. Yes, Casey. You've been a parent. You've been a parent. I got this working theory that parents will say, oh, that candy is poison, but they'll take all the good candy for themselves. Well, okay. And they leave what happens to us is even better because Finn has the peanut allergy. Every uh, Halloween we sit. Uh, every Halloween we sit in the living room and we divide up the candy, and uh, we replace about half of it with candy we have to buy, because uh, so, they can't have the Reese's and everything. So uh, then, um, then, uh, then, but then me and Leah take that stuff, and then when we're out. Uh, somewhere else we, yeah. we eat the candy and, and it's awesome and then we come in and we have you to know, wash you know, our faces you know it's weird i had a fan i had a uh a, a homie of mine oh remember the uh the party house that i used to live at yeah um his his son was allergic to peanuts and then after a while he goes he's not allergic to peanuts his fucking doctors lied to me wow and i was like yeah so I, I feel like peanut allergy is like that thing that they fucking say. Hey. They don't need to lie to me. I've seen his fucking face blow up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I remember one time he got into a box of peanuts and he was just eating them like nothing. And he was like, I got to take him to the hospital. I got to take him to the hospital. He took him to the hospital. They grow out of it nothing sometimes. Happened. They yeah. grow out of it. They grew, he grew up. And that's that's exactly what I was trying to get at. Because I did the same thing. With, I was allergic. Uh, highly allergic to fucking. I was... Um, what do you call it? Um, Dick? Uh, allergic Pussy? cats. Aller allergic cats. Aloe, what do you call it? Um, Retard. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and allergic cats. And then I fucking, I, I grew up with a lot of cats. You know, my fucking family just, ah, oh, fuck it. He's not allergic to cats. And then I got used to it. And I'm like, okay, so then there's a threshold that you have to go through to fucking get over that shit. It can go both ways. So you can, like, you can... It can go three different ways. You can literally be around it forever and then all of a sudden be allergic to it. You can literally be allergic to it and then all of a sudden it goes away. And then sometimes you can just not have reactions and then another time you could die. So you have to go to the allergist to get tested. And so like recently Finn went to the allergist again just to get retested to see if he's still allergic. And he is still very allergic. Sadly. Uh, damn. How old was he when you when you found out he was we, allergic? We were giving him uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich once, and then a second time he wouldn't eat it, and then another time he really wouldn't eat it, and he got it very he like would cry if we tried to give it to him, and then um so we're like okay he doesn't young. like that, and then something else happened another time where his like you know his eyes were all swollen and he started bubbling up in areas, and we're like what the uh, fuck does he have a peanut allergy? So Leah. Took him to the doctor and got him tested, and they're like, "Yep, he's a very allergic to peanuts. Like he could die if he has peanut. Don't let him have any peanuts. He'll probably yeah, but it's, die. it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's awful because none Dude. of us are really allergic to anything. So it's like, what the fuck? Like all of us can eat anything, but our youngest son is like, and Finn's not. Finn's like allergic to fucking a lot of things. So it's like, he's got allergies, he's got asthma, and he's got the allergy <laughs> to the peanuts." So the kid Sounds is Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, he's he's rough. So you know if you have asthma, you know, it's like so whenever he gets sick it can turn into this pneumonia real, or this like chest thing and he's always got the nebulizer and yeah, but the other kids are fine. Yeah, it, it's a pain in the ass, Joe. There's someone with asthma, it, it sucks. But when you get older, you know, you deal with it a little bit better, you know, and you know how to treat yourself, but when you know, when you're when it's a kid, it's like you're like holy shit, I'm terrified. That would oh, be yeah. too. I mean, I'm terrified for him. I don't think he's really terrified. I don't, you know, we don't have him scared or anything. And he knows, like, oh, especially candy, peanuts. Especially in this time of the year, too. It's like fucking asthma kicks your ass. I, I could confirm. <laughs> yeah, like it's cold out, and now you know you have trouble breathing. I mean, dude, I have trouble breathing yeah. in the cold, you know. So, and I don't have asthma. So, like, I imagine. Holy, asthma. holy shit! So both of you are in the north, dude. It's not even cold down here. It's like a hundred degrees, dude. It was eighty degrees here today. It's fucking crazy. That's crazy dude, was... because here, here is like in the fifties. What? Yeah, it was so live. hard today, dude. It was so humid. It, it might say that it's eighty degrees, but humidity goes up twenty five. So it's like it's a oh. hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like a thousand fucking goddamn degrees, dude. It sucks. Yeah, I, was, right. I met up with before I before I came on here. I met up with a, a homie, and, he, and uh, he used to work with me. He goes, "I don't understand how you do this because now he does uh, he does work from home." 
and it's been like a whole like I don't know two years. And he's like, I don't understand how you still do this. It's so fucking human. I go, I don't feel a shit anymore. That's so weird. Okay, so it's because you're Mexican, Gargets. Right, I'm supposed to be sweating my ass off. Exactly. Look at your back and check to see if it's wet. Are you okay? <laughs> no, we we got we got a uh, we got pads in the back of our fucking shirts now. It's like a man pod, uh, a tampon, a back pod. See, that's a great right. solution for your people. Okay. It, it cools us down and fucking keeps us going because we're sweating and it keeps going. <laughs> Like a cooler. Mm. Yeah, within the next week, it's going to be below freezing here for a couple nights. So, dude, I heard it's going to be down at twenty nine degrees in the the U.S. and and that's not even that's like north of me. I go, all right, like north of north of where I'm at, twenty nine degrees. I'm ready. Let's see what happens. The last few days here was pretty humid as fuck. Like, I barely do anything. I was sweating my ass off. But today was got really cold. Like I said, down like in the 50s. I don't even think it broke 60. Yeah. I don't even think it broke 60 degrees today. Shade, but, you will never break 60. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, uh, I had a couple of grandparents that lived until they're 90, so I didn't have a shot to break 60. Were they obese as well? And did they <laughs> fucking, did, were they balding already? Hey, don't make fun of me for being bald. Okay, no, you're, bald, you're bald by choice. A couple of them are not, uh, they're pretty skinny, and a couple of them are a little heavy set. And one of them hey, still Hey, Casey, do you want to get froggy with me? Oh, God. Your frogs don't have hair, right? Yeah, frogs don't have hair. We got warts, though. We're kind of smooth, <laughs> but also we got warts. <laughs> oh, no. I'm having flashbacks. You're going to be having flashbacks after the night, Casey. <laughs> oh, God. I'm having I'm flashbacks get... of bullfrogs in me. Uh, sexual, uh, he's, you're gonna, you too, you're yeah, gonna have to do that. Casey, you're gonna have night. a lot of tadpoles inside of you by the end of the night. Oh, I man. Time, I one time we, we started calling Casey Gacy, Gacy, <laughs> John Wayne Gacy. Gacy. <laughs> Gacy is SmackDown. <laughs> oh my god, that is. Jo- he is Casey. Oh shit! I had heard that there was supposed to be another. Um, uh, there was supposed to be a girl that wanted to do her name as a serial killer, and they said, "We already got a Gacy here. We don't need any more serial killers." I was like, "Okay, that hey, that makes sense." Hey Joe, is that you talking? No, I'm just listening. I'm having a good time. Oh, I got confused. I, I thought, oh, oh, it's Gargi. My bad. Oh God! You know, bullfrog, you gotta fucking get the cum out of your ears. Well, why God. don't you lick it all out then, Gargi? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to get froggy with me, Gargi? <laughs> he goes ribbit, ribbit. That yeah, was ribbit. Reese's job. Well, um, let's see, uh, Gacy, go do it. <laughs> I want Gacy to get froggy with me. He could hop all over me. Uh, <laughs> we could play leapfrog. Oh we could play God. frog. He probably got a, he's probably got leapfrog somewhere that can plug into the TV. How about crazy I want to play. I want to play Frogger. Oh God, Frogger! No, you want to play fucking peg her? Yes. With... <laughs> we could play battle though. <laughs> Oh my god, that's brilliant. Play toads. Yeah. Oh, you guys are toads. Like one's pimple and the other one's zits. I love it. And then you hey, got... hey, 
Hey, Gargi, uh, I'm, I'm a frog, but Casey's a toad, so that makes us the amphibian bros. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> the amphibian bro, bro, we are like the infagable bros. God damn it. I love it. What, what's your theme song? Teenage I got it. Joe, hit my theme song, Joe. I gotta have my song and get froggy to What is it? What is it? Rumble? There's, there's the song. Dude, I love there how you go, like Joe. fucking. You, you had that, that fucking thing. Well, listen, boys Where's and girls. That badass Tommy? Vagina. If you want to take the party to Garguts, uh, we can, but I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. So next week, you better get all froggy with me next week. Joe. Next week we're all dressing up you know as cum. You don't. Know... Oh, dude, wait. Can we? No, we have to do it by um Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday or Saturday. Is... Which one? Well, I'm gonna do Tuesday, what? but I mean we can do Tuesday and Saturday if you want. Okay, because fuck it. I'm busy on Tuesday. All right, we'll do it Saturday. We'll do it Saturday too. Wait, is there another what? week of fucking October? I thought this. No, no this is it. It's still Tuesday, Gargi. Even I know, and That'll I don't have November a brain 4th. or chromosome. It'll be crown jewel. <laughs> you don't got any chromosomes. How many chromosomes you got? How many chromosomes you got? got? I think How many five. Yeah, I'm no, you know what? I am, I'm going to, I am, I, if you're going to go to bed, I am going to fucking keep partying if anybody wants to go down to Gargut's. Hey, Gargut, you want to get YouTube, froggy? And I'm going to just keep going because I, I fucking, I'm just, I'm just ready to hang out. Like, I thought you were going to hang out more because it was, uh, you know, like Halloween ish kind of thing, but if not, Gar- Gargi, you want to get froggy with me? No, oh, yeah. Well, you should. Hundred dollars <laughs> to kick me off the show, Joe. All right, listen, we might have to kick Bullfrog off. Uh, I want hundred dollars. I thank. I, I want to thank Bullfrog, Tommy, Trump, uh, Luke Rojas, always nerdy. Casey is raw, returning tonight. Look how sexy he looks. I miss you, Casey. Love you. Great to see you. Thank Seriously, man. Thanks for having me on. So good to see you. I, I, I do miss you. I miss uh, everybody. Thank you to Gargots for coming on. Jag DePanzer, Mr. Pico, and Novaks. Novonics. Novaks. Novaks. Get it? Don't you get it? No, no vaccinations, Joe. That's right, RFK. That's how you got like that. That's how you got like that. All right. Good night, boys and girls. Gargut's channel party continues. And I'm going to bed. Good night. I love you guys. Good, night, Good to see you. See you, see you tomorrow. Love you. Unbelievable. I had a blast. I really did. It's blast off time. I had a blast. Good to see everybody here tonight. Um, my fucking gallbladder is starting to hurt me. I don't know why, but well, I kind of know why I kind of eat kind of shitty today. I had some pizza and it's probably part of it. Um, but other than that, keep it hard, zip it up, zip it out and shout out to the ghost from the coast. Who's going to take home the digital JCS championship crown jewels next week. Damn. And we'll uh, catch you, uh, We'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Good night. Hit the like button. If you can, feel free to hit the like button. <laughs>